The Bubba Love Sponge Show, Thursday, April 11th, 2024. Myself, Lummy, the baby face. Hard to tell which one you're going to get today. <laughs> the one, yeah, I'm just not even Always here. the best version of right. me that it's I can deliver. Always the most toothy, schmarmy, counter-programming piece of shit known to man. Oh, hey, good morning, Brian. Good I was morning, taking, Bubba. I was taking to what shirt he's wearing. What shirt? is? Now, listen, he should... He should be completely, if he really was my friend, he should be completely marking out to my shirt right now. And and the meaning of it, I re, I lean I'm waiting for the, the video to start it? here. Hold on. I Look haven't seen here. it yet. Oh, I love it. I, mean, I love it. Not a lot. Only, only Seth knows what that means. And you, I mean, like that, I took some, that's, that's pretty, I took me, took me some deep thought preparation to be able to kill my shirt message like I did today. And again, only you and Seth in the studio even appreciate. Because um, I, 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 really I really don't think to a, probably a lot of our listeners don't watch Curb. I don't know, man. I know Kenny Powers does on uh, YouTube chat. I know a few other ones on there definitely have mentioned it in the past. Hold but... on. When you said Kenny Powers, I thought that you really knew Kenny Powers and you were going to say like... Danny he's... McBride? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's the real Kenny Powers. Yeah. He's in our chat every day. He's in is, our chat is, every day. Is, but is that not also one of the best characters ever done? That developed? is maybe yes. the greatest character made and, in the history of and, television. And, and, <laughs> and pulled off like and only da- only Danny McBride could pull that off. Like, oh, the, it's so just, perfect. Just uh the deadpan, hill jack, rednecking, white triz, you know, I'm all that, Gene Lasker, all the swagger in the world, you know, believe your own hype, talk in third person. The mullet, the yeah. Mu- just everything. The, he calls his jet skis the panty droppers, you know, just, just, I could watch, I could watch Eastbound and Down. I, I, I could I don't know continue a loop. It's so funny, and I got to tell you something. He was pretty funny. I don't know if you ever caught it. Vice principals, vice principals, and uh, then the righteous gemstones. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Everything. I mean, a I didn't little bit like, less on that. I but. didn't like the righteous gemstones as well. Yeah, I, for some reason. I didn't either. Yeah. Did you watch it? Um, actually, Matt Heller sold me on it back when I was working for Hornblashers. I watched the first season trying to get into it, but it, I just I couldn't do see, it. See, I can see where a guy like Matt Heller and the way he's wired would like it, and you wouldn't. But don't worry about it, Anna, because guess what? I didn't really like it either. Yeah. So, you know, and Matt's probably a little more upper crust than we are, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Rhett, Rhett here today. Anna, of course, here today. Uh, macho Man, it, it's whether he's going to say anything or not. is Ooh, you know, yeah. Um, he's, he's, I'm already discussed the NPR coming out and saying they're uh, they're liberal bastards. Uh, he's been chomping on the bit to talk about uh, that. He's waiting for Brian all story. Yeah. Uh, last couple days. Right, so we'll far get, left. We'll get into that. So and, and of course, the, the great Seth Kushner uh, here as well. The latest addition to the to the program. Seth, how are you, my friend? I'm doing so well, Big Papa. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Great. I'm great. great. So listen, you know what? We're going to start doing something a little bit different. It's some old school radio stuff I used to do, and it was... Uh, Is it No Panties Thursday? Uh, no, oh, God. We should. We could only be as so lucky. <laughs> you see that tub of towel sitting next to Brian? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's for the cleaning towels. I like it. It's our new sponsor. <laughs> yeah. It feels to, like he's trying to... I'll tell you this, man. Those <laughs> tubby tubby oh, towels. I, I mean, tubbo towels. Don't, don't get me, you guys. Don't squirrel me on this because I'm trying to break now officially. But I'll tell you right now, Sumo turned me on to these tub of, these this brand. You can get them on Amazon or Sam's Club. It's called it's literally called Tub of Towels, and it will get it like anything off. Real like, quick, it's, real quick, like, it's Bubba, almost like it's put not, it on our Amazon link so you can make money off of yeah, it. Yeah, let me get this and put it up on our Amazon link because these things are like almost they're like uh like like the Lysol or Clorox, you know, like sanitary wipes, but they got like some kind of activating ingredient, like maybe like what a magic eraser has. You know how have you ever raves have you ever used a magic eraser and you're like, how in the hell it's does magic. this this little styrofoam feeling thing that you put once you put water on can magically take scuff marks and like just like it, it, it's, it's magic. Well, let me, I got to tell you, these tub of towels, which I didn't really want you guys to have. I kind of wanted to keep them for myself. But anyway, <laughs> it looks like they're down there. If you'd like to take an opportunity to clean your area, those things are kill. Not just that. It's great on hands. Have you used them to wipe, wash your face yeah, and stuff, Bubba? Yeah. They're, I mean, they're. <laughs> no, seriously. It says great on hands. Contains lanolin, aloe vera, yes. and vitamin E. I'm telling you, Sumo told me. But well, goddamn, I'm telling you something right now. I said to buy them stupid ass Clorox wipes. You need to get some of these call things. Call. 
I use them in the shop all the time, and I can also use them in my in, in my kitchen. They're called tub tubbo towels, and they're made in America. And I'm like, what? Sumo? He goes, hey, man. merch merch crack. Hire, uh, get two tubs of uh, tubbo tubbo towels. I'll pay for it. Nice. And, and, and and so literally, literally, we get them, and they're amazing. They're amazing. Let me put them on our Amazon, but they're amazing. Don't use them as a toilet wipe. You you, you can't. Well, if you do, you can't flush it. You got to put the wipe into the. Yeah, garbage. I mean, you could probably this is like wipe, an all-purpose you, wipe. You man. could you, you could from wipe from your ass. Oh God. To that scuff mark on your hood of your car. Yes. I mean, I mean, for, from that. That's scu- a man towel for, right there. Exactly. That is a towel made for a goddamn man. So really, for all you. Soy boys and F boys out there. This would probably make me melt if I touched it. All you little (laughs) puss boys out there, not you rugged ass men. Uh, Go ahead and use those pussy ass stare Lysol wipes or Clorox bleach willies. You need to get you a a tub of towels is what you need to get you from your the scrape on your hood to your butthole. It can it will clean everything in that order. We can't we can't recommend the use on the butthole because it's not listed as a usable product. It just says may irritate eyes. It doesn't say anything about buttholes. Well, your butthole. Listen, let's just be honest. Your butthole is way more industrial strength than your eyes. Break, 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 break. We do got a break. It's up on our Amazon. Okay, th- you know, well, let me. Uh, before I broke, I wanted to make sure you could say those very words to me. Say it again. It's up on our Amazon. And what is our Amazon address? It's amazon.bubbaarmyhq.com. Thank you, my friend. I oh. ju- I just hit. Hall of Fame's going big. Go give it five subs. I just hit to go into break one, and nothing happened. I'll, I'll, I'll guess I'll hit the next one. Well, there it is. Uh, Stand Mach- by. Macho, that's, that's on you, buddy. That one is on you. Say it. For real. For real. Say Tommy, it. Tommy. Yeah, it's on me. Say it. If you want to deep dive into the Bubba the Love Sponge show from the past, go to BubbaArmyHQ.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge show. We'll be back after these words. Dude, that's the money-making shirt for Brian. Brian, how good was the last episode? It was great. I it was the, so the fucking well done. And, and motherfucking uh, uh, Seinfeld rolls in like John Wayne and saves the day. I mean, could have gotten any better. And then they talk when they walk out, they talk about how they fucked the ending up. Yeah. I mean, God, it was so good. It was awesome. Awesome. Larry's getting his ass kicked in jail. They're bringing up every motherfucker that he's ever done anything I to. I know. That was that. That was the great. That was the best part. It was. The, and Leon, he's like, man, you motherfucker, fuck you, <laughs> Leon. Oh, Leon kept telling. Yeah, Leon's like, man, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld, man, you just fuck. Like, what are the fuck yeah, videos coming out? We, what, are the, what are the fuck tapes coming? Yeah, and, like, and didn't didn't uh, Seinfeld go? I got like thirty hours. Yeah, yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, I got him. <laughs> oh, I, and so can you imagine, so the whole thing, the whole entire time that Leon, so if you go back and you see the backfill on it, that shows you that the entire time that Leon lived with him for, when did they introduce Leon? Was he episode? Like season six or something. Oh, uh, that was five or six, something yeah. like that. So he was there for half the run, in the last half. So for the entire time he lived there, he never knew about Seinfeld. No, no. I think they talked about it once or twice, but I liked that they they didn't have a watch. Would you think the if you're the dude that you were living with that made, where he made all of his money and what his name claim to fame is, you at least check it out. Yeah, no, but Leon didn't give a fuck. Leon was too busy fucking. He wasn't about watching TV. Oh, that was so fucking well done. Ted Danson's out fucking. Uh, oh yeah, protesting. he's like, oh, the one with the handcuffs looks good. He did a good job of always kind of being that little little prick to Larry. Yeah. Not too much over... Well, the fact that he was fucking his wife was the, the biggest slot. Yeah, down. yeah. What a bitch. Phoebe's like, oh, what if they're, uh, you know, Larry, uh, they're going to get back together? Larry and Cheryl's like, I, I don't think they can jam that in the last episode. I don't think... I think it's. I think they're done done. Like, I think it's like Seinfeld. They're no, done. no, it's done. It's yeah. done. I just, didn't, I just said as far as, like, Larry and Cheryl getting back together. Right. What up, storage daddy, grouper lips? 
I thought it would have been funny this season if they had Ted Danson running as a third party candidate for president. <laughs> yeah, but it's almost too too much. It almost emulates life too much. Well, I mean, the show's kind of about that at times, but it would be a tough one because Cheryl. I just think on the I, hot seat. I just think that um, Gary. I just think that um, Larry's getting old and he's just over it. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Well, yeah, when he goes, I'm 76 years old and I've never learned a lesson in my life, I think to me... <laughs> he told the kid that. Yeah, to me, to me, I was like, it's over. He's just, he never talked about how old he was ever. Right. It's sad, though, because, you know, you, you're just going to miss it. I'm, you... I'm sad. <laughs> I love fucking gemstones, by the way. I, a lot of people did. No, it's still a shit. They're still filming it. Oh, is it still going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What season are they in? They're shooting season four, I think. Maybe I'll go back and give it a chance. You think I should? I don't know, man. I thought, I, to me, like, the, the, the girl that is on the show, the sister, Judy, um, she's, that was on Vice Principal, she's fucking brilliant. John Goodman's awesome. Uh, obviously, Goggins is on it. Uh, uh, Uncle Baby, Baby Billy. Uncle, Uncle Baby Billy is probably the second best character I've yeah. created in the history. Who's, who's the vice... Who's the vice principal? Goggins. The, the guy that's kind of feminine and Goggins. Oh, he's the best. Yeah, no, he's on the Wait, other Is that show. Uncle Baby Billy? Yeah. Is that his real name? Is it the no, guy? no, it's Wal Walter Goggins. But what, where does Wal Uncle Baby Billy come from? He's uh, from Gemstones. Oh, he, he's that's his that's his name on the show. He's like, oh, okay. So Goggins a, stayed with him on Gemstones. Yeah, he's a huckster. He's like a real huckster. But, but the fucking the role he plays on Vice Principal, that little oh, kind yeah. of feminine, yeah, fuck you, yeah. Oh, you know. The stages are thirty seconds ahead of us. So I have some Phil shit. Just to and you're gonna have to admit that that was your fault. That was definitely. Well, no, I didn't, the yeah, band no, was, no, no. The, okay. the band was still playing. I'll fix that. But we gotta we gotta tell it to enter delay after the second. Break. What up, so we, so, so, so so just don't after add. zero, I'll zero I'll zero so, my clock out, and we start at thirty. I, fi I fixed it in extra. Just let it, just let it run. Okay. Just let you but know. hold on. I just want to let you know that I'm going to throw it over to you and blame that like, you have to take this L. All right. Okay, all right. I don't want him above thinking he can't take L's. What, you know, what up, Nick? People, you know, people around here take L's. Damn right, uh, Ron. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you fucking, if you fucked up, you're going to get an L. What up, Danny G? Right on me? Of course. Fuck yeah, thank you, Danny. Dutch Duke. The Love Sponge Show. Miss part of the show? We got you covered at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Now back to Bubba Live Worldwide. I didn't even get into the. We're going to start breaking early so that I stop running late. The affiliates are mad as hell about it. It's responsible, it's just not, it's not, you know, big time syndicated radio show host uh, acceptable. I need to run a tighter ship with regards to my board or my, or my, or my clock, my clock so that affiliates can, be, you know, better time their commercials and, and not short space them and do a, oh my God, break seven and it's, it's 952. We have one more. We have two breaks to do, and we have two breaks to do in ten minutes. We'll give you some minute forty of content, and gives you, you know, nine minutes of commercial straight. I'd be mad as hell. I'd be like, screw you, Bubba Love Sponge, fat ass. I'll listen to you no more. 
I'm only going to listen to you till 9.50 because after that, there ain't nothing. And then see, you're not, at that point, you're not doing your midday guy any justice at all. And I can see where the, see, see, Seth, maybe I just figured out why all the midday people over the years hated me. I, ne- I never could figure it out. Lindsay from uh, down in, in Fort Myers, uh, she, she was the midday girl. I'm talking about when I was syndicated. She hated me. And uh, like, I f- forget who the midday people were, you know, at 98, I just all my different affiliates. But the, the, the common thread was most mid, when I go to the radio station, uh, you know, for a meet and greet, and I had like 16 affiliates and we would go like to each station twice a year and do like a little sales, you know, like the sales people and you know, clients and things like that. It was a big thing when we came to town. And then we try to book a gig that night at like a, a gentleman's club. You know what I'm saying? In order, you know, so or do a meet and greet or something like that. And let me over the years, I've, I've now that I it just kind of clicked in my head that most midday people hated me. Oh, well, <laughs> and the reason why is because I think like. For the first 10 minutes of their show, they would have to uh, listen to my... Because I would sometimes go to like 10-10, like talking to 10-10. Then you hit eight minutes of commercials, and you're, you know, you, you're know you not literally saying your first word on the air till 10-30. And that's because of me. And if I was that guy, I'd be like, man, I'd be flipping off the, the rate. Screw you. Your show sucks. I hate being the... And they usually were the board op. Usually the midday, the, so she, let me, that was all, after listening to us for four hours and 15 minutes, ramble on and on, then cut into their show. No wonder we were hated. I need to be better. Well, you know, the gonna, great Don Miller will appreciate it. Well, I'm just going to, just going to be better, let me. I'm going to try to actually, I'm going to try to actually clear, like hit our commercials uh, at like 53 or 54. Oh, Wow. Nice. Like, like boom, be done. Like and after that, you know, come back from our last break, like let's say forty five, forty six, so that we can, you know, have a good four or five minutes to, to wrap it up if we needed to. I think I'd be far more responsible. The great Jay O'Connor, I got into it momentarily. He was like, Burn that first break early, like we just did today. And we're gonna start burning that first break a little bit early now. Which gives us it gives us more of an opportunity to be on time because Lummy, I've been burning my first break. Nor I think you guys have brought to my attention that my first break average is about about six forty five. Yeah, that, about that's that. That's about where it averages. Yeah, yep. And it just puts the whole thing. <laughs> just do you not have a cough mic? I used it. Your coughs are that obnoxious and powerful. Are you he's, that? He's a big guy. Listen, that, man. Are you, you, are you <laughs> sick? Are you sick? When you're a real man, you cough loud. I don't are know what si- you do you up a- there, beta boy. Oh wow, poking you in the chest already. Oh dear. And here's the thing. Six nineteen. I, I, here's the thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. Like I wouldn't have a problem. I I would take that. Good. It, just if, take it. If it was, <laughs> just lay there and take it. Neil Malpazier, twenty five on the Venmo. <laughs> I would I would sit there and take it if it came from a man that I know could either one beat my ass like me or t- no or two like if I did beat him up it would be if I if I did if I was physically victorious in conquering them and beating them up it would be a real like we're on the same level or you know three just you have a really hot <laughs> wife like Brian Tom Bean just texted me he said just lay there and take it Bubba. That's a guy. Yep, that, that right would, there. That's there a guy go. that I might take it from. There you go. Just take it. I don't want to get physical, with Tom Bean. We know how that goes. But no, because I mean, really, I, I I do not want to get physical with him. He didn't whip my ass, but he made me look like a fool one time. So I, I know my I know my role with Tom Bean physically. I do. Now, now with you, on the other hand, I I would I would beat your ass. I believe that Babyface is very rugged, and I think that you know I think that people underestimate him. But I do know that. You know, his mother-in-law did give him a good challenge, so I don't uh, know. Listen, how- I back down to her like uh, like Bubba back down to Tom Beam. I'm just saying, like, you know, you don't got to sit there and come out with, you know, re- in your facers like that to me unless you're a little bit more of a man. thought it would be funny, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Hmm. Yeah, you guessed wrong. Look at, look at his little pencil arms. Look at, I mean, look at his little flowered they shirt. They look smaller on the screen, but they in do. real life, I mean, it's just, there's just my arms for that thing. Yeah, they, yeah, there's some pythons. I got, I got one eighty five on the Smith <laughs> machine out there. You, you think you want to, you want to go up there and pre, you, you want to press it? Sure. You want to go, you want to go out there? And pre, I got, I got one eighty five on the Smith machine, right? Loaded right now. You think the what Smiths, you, the the band? No, I got a, oh. you, you know, I got a Smith. You know, I have a Smith. You, you know, I have a Smith machine. 
in my gym, and I got it loaded right now with 185. I was doing <laughs> that's Texas, I was No, that's not my warm-up. No, I mean for, for Brian. But I was going to say, you know, Brian, we'll put like 95 pounds on there, let you get a little pumped up. I already and, did my and, four sets of 300 today. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, 300 <laughs> thumb wrestling skills. Little bitch boy. Oh, no. So anyway, I'm just going to move right along from your stupid comment trying to get me squirrel. I need to talk to Macho Man. And I don't, I don't want Macho Man, like, not at the mic, or he's out back wiring up, or he's checking the oil on his Shelby 350 or 550, whatever the hell he's got. 500. <clears throat> yeah, GT500. Cobra. Th- Cobra, 1,000 horsepower. Yep. Um, he's as hypochondriac <laughs> of that as he is of, of himself. If that thing's got, like, just, you know, like... If, one pound of air pressure was out on the left hand, left front. He would just he's just freaked out like. Scout like, big gulp, uh, twenty five dollars. <laughs> baby face Thursday. Thank yeah, you, girls. Right. You know what? I think I got be a, safe out there. I think I got a PayPal uh, this morning too from Scout and Big Gulp. Uh, uh, it's our Thursday baby face twenty five. Oh, love bucks. you, ladies. Thank you so much. I mean, they're worth fifty to you. I mean, you bring it. And, and five subs, you, but who's yeah. counting? You, you who's bring, counting? <laughs> you bring. I mean, seven one seven. JLR. I'm not. I'm not like Dr. Dan over here keeping score. Seven, no, I, I don't have time for that. In seven one seven. Jlr nine ninety nine. Super chat. Nice shirt. Baby face. Thank you. Baby Speaking face. of which, how about Dan crying <laughs> like a little baby because his picture wasn't on the show Twitter? What a bitch. <laughs> When did he? When was he oh crying about Oh my goodness! Oh. It was Tuesday. Oh no! It was Tuesday. You remember, remember, Bubba? It was a. We had a little dust up, and it was, you, a, it was a picture of Brian. <laughs> oh, the only picture you put of me on Instagram was not flattering. Oh, oh my God! What a bitch. Okay. Wow, we can't. What? I mean, could you imagine your ego being so fragile that somebody else's and some picture big, and so big? I mean, fragile and big. Fragile same. and big. I mean, yeah, it's it's the it's like a gigantic Fabergé egg. His e- his ego. Right. It's big, but it could it could it could break at any oh, moment. And that you get upset because somebody else has a picture posted, and then and it gets likes. And probably, probably the most likes uh, anything's gotten posted on Twitter in a while. But who's again? No, who's keeping score? You're not even close. I'm not a scorekeeper. No, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. Let's look uh, at the numbers. No, well, listen, me, Rhett, and Lummy will tell you we've had you know some hit you know twenty five, thirty, forty thousand views the last, yeah. last views. Week I'm or talking so. about likes. Views is oh, just passing. Okay. I, you know, know. whatever. You okay. hit the right tag. Whatever. Uh, I'm talking about likes. I'm All not. Right. I'm well, talking about we'll people have, taking the time we'll have, to we'll press have, a heart. We'll have Lummy. <laughs> yeah, we'll check it out. We'll have, no, I'm gonna have Lummy give me that. Be looking for that information, and you being boastful about how many likes. No, you, I'm, you, I don't no, keep no, score. I, mean, no, I, I mean, don't you keep did. score. You, you, you pretty much. <laughs> no, I don't. I really <laughs> don't. You pretty much called us out and said that it's got the most likes of anything we've posted in a while. So that means you've had to kind of mathematically look at your number, then scroll down and look at others. That's that's statistics, and so we. We are going to just, you know, verify your claim. You know, while while we are doing the show, Lummy will go to our Twitter and look at the little little bitch boy. It was it was kind of a feminine looking picture. I mean, you got it wasn't your most flattering picture. I, I don't I, I don't have first point. of all I don't have flattering pictures. I know that I know my limitations. But Dana Diaco getting on here and crying like a little bitch wow. uh, is not a good look either. Dana Diaco. All right, so uh, let me. It may take a second. We, it, we've, we all right, have just, a couple just, posts. Okay, do it right. Yep. And I, I, I don't quite remember Tuesday, maybe as well as the other people that were in the studio. So everybody, please chime in. Oh, good. Was it a big deal? I mean, when we what did Dan make it a big deal? Was it a big deal? Was it a big? It was, talk? There was an uncomfortable three to four minutes. How, I mean, and how did it go? Dan denying how he didn't <laughs> uh, ask you not to bring Seth back and how he's really not upset about it. And this is the other thing about Dan. Oh. It's like cutting into his time. Like, like, like it's the Dan Diaco and Friends morning show. It, it's, or, or, so any addition that could potentially take a little bit of his verbal real estate, he, he takes that personally. Like, it's, like, like he, it's his show. <laughs> and that's, you know, like you don't even listen. It's my show, and if you think about this, it's my show, and the more people that I add to my show, the less I'm going to talk. I mean, just even if they only get a sentence or two in, that's probably one or two that I was I was having to talk, and so I'm constantly trying to develop new real estate at my real estate expense. You know what I'm saying? Like I I think I'm secure enough in my own broadcasting skin that giving Anna a couple minutes or Seth on a on a on a meltdown or Lummy on a some kind of stupid something or Rat or or Macho Man, I, I'm constantly I'm begging for. 
positive, uh, you know, uh, talk back or co-hosting. I'm, you know, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. But, but Dan, any addition to the, you know, verbal real estate, Dan takes it as it's a slight because he's not going to be able to, that, that one person might either one, say something funny, two, the fans like him, or three, get a pop. And, and that, that, you know, makes you – know, Dan thinks this is a big competition. That's why he gets so many morning zookeeper deals because he tries too hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 know, I know exactly what you're saying, Tom. And the whole thing Did about it – call me Tom? Yeah. <laughs> that's, and that's funnier than most people even know how inside that is. Because that's all – if you have a meeting with Tom, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You, I, yeah, you follow me? You got I, me? But I was trying, just yeah. trying, to, you're trying to get my point across. No, I get For it. those that aren't enthralled to the show as, you know, the daily – the person that – like just the daily casual listener probably wouldn't have picked that up on Dan. Right. But you got to really know the show to know that Dan is very uh, just very narcissistic, uh, very boisterous, uh, very braggadocious, um, very smart, brilliant. I mean, he's, hap- he's, oh, at, I he's, mean, he's a brilliant I guy. I, I think, I think even he's a nice you, guy deep down. I think even you, him being your arch nemesis, deep down, you know the guy is the salt of the earth. He, I mean, you know, deep down, if you called him at 12.05 and said, hey, Dan, listen, my little daughter just tripped and fell and she's got a big gash above her eyes. Is I don't want to take her to the emergency room because I know the type of care and stitching they get. I saw Lummy's face. Yeah. Is there any way, Dan, that you can – you know you know, Dan would be like, you know, Brian, meet me down there at the office in 45 minutes. Absolutely. And if Dan ever needed anything from me, if he was stuck on the side of the road or got a, a speeding ticket, uh, you know, I would be there for him. And and it's it's a, it's just that way, and it'll it's always kinda, be it's that It's kind of the Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner. You guys are running around trying to, you know, kill each other and swerve each other and drop Acme Dynamite on each other. But at the end of the day, remember with the Coyote, the run run, Road Runner, after they were adversarial all day, they would show the end of the show, and those two were clunching, punching out a time clock, saying, "See you tomorrow." Okay, buddy. Like, did you guys ever see that? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, the Looney Tunes. Yeah, the, yeah, from the the Looney Coyote, Tunes. the Coyote and the Road Runner. It was a, it was a cartoon during. Or wasn't my, it during, the, the Hound and and uh, and the Chicken for the, Foghorn well, Leghorn? Yes, it was that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But more the Coyote and the Road Runner. Like the Road Runner would be running around five thousand miles an hour all day, and the Coyote would always be thinking the Coyote couldn't catch him, so he always had had to either try to blow him up or smash him, or so he would always be having these acme, you know. Uh, acme dynamite uh, chicken killers or whatever and remember he he would end up having to get he would end up getting hurt the coyote would the coyote would end up getting hurt and the roadrunner would go after the coyote is at his lowest level the, the remember do you remember what the roadrunner would say beep beep yeah so the coyote would completely blow himself up trying to catch the roadrunner and the coyote was laying there on the side of the road and the roadrunner would walk right up to him and just go Beep, beep, and then take off like almost a F you. And so, but then they would show episodes sometimes of like at the end of the episode, the coyote and the roadrunner punching out, like, you know, the old school punch out clocks. You had a time card time and, cards, you had a yeah. and they both were punching out and said, I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Like as if it was a job, like, you know, bad, bad cop, good cop really isn't a D it's, it's actually, it's a, it's a work at the end of the so day. So that's Dan and Brian. Yeah. Okay. It's a work. Deep, but sometimes, deep, like deep, no, CM on, Punk, it, the work becomes a shoot. Now, listen, it's <laughs> you and Dan have some very, very, very shoot-like qualities. Like, you guys shoot half the time. Half the time you're shooting, but you try to shoot in a ribbing or funny or humorous type way to make the shoot less of a shoot and more of a rib. If if you if you make your shoot funny, then it ribs it up a little bit. Yeah. So and that's where you guys yeah, are constantly. Did, did, what I just said was totally a shoot on Dan, but but with a little ribbon in there. You know, it's the all da- a rib. It's all, listen, it's all a rib. Well, you know, Dan does act a certain ways, and a lot of what we say about Dan is the truth. But we love him, and we know you love him, and he, contri- and he contributes to the show, and he's locked himself in on a three day appearance, Willie, and it is what he is. Dan's very polarizing, and that's what I want Dan to be. I really do. I want Dan to be polarizing because he is. And then on the other hand, if you think about my programming brilliance, I bring you in. I mean, this isn't all just doesn't happen by, by, by circumstance. This has all been planned and orchestrated by me. As I get a feeling of the show going one way or another, I sometimes make adjustments to the lineup. And so that's why I brought Seth in. 
I thought maybe, you know, Dan's three days might be a little too much. Just uh, douchebag, you know, kind of deal. I need to bring in some, some a, a guy that's got some radio experience and can bring some humor to the table to make it a little less... Uh, it's a little, dec- and, and, decades and, and, of radio and a, experience. And a little, yeah, and a little bit more, and a little bit more funny. And then I bring you in on Thursdays because I want everybody. Because most of the Bubba Army hates you because you're just a schmarmy, toothy, knowledgeable. They hate you know, me because they know, hate me because you're a know it, <laughs> just a know it all prick, just a know it all. You know what? What's the version? Of, what's Karen? What's the male version of Kyle? Karen? Kyle, kind of a souped up Kyle. You're the head of the H. You're the head of your homeowners association. You're the president of your homeowners association, and you'll bust and you'll bust <laughs> and you'll bust that guy if he's got a big oil drain stain on his driveway, and you'll give him a notice and say, <laughs> Our, "Under section five four eight six two, I know that your car's leaking oil and you have a big puddle on your driveway, but you must get that professionally clean within thirty days, or there'll be a five hundred dollar a day fine payable to the Brian's HOA, Willie." I forgot he was the president of oh, the. Yeah. HOA. Well, anytime you're the president of your HOA. I'm yeah. not only a that, president, I'm also a client. Though, hold on, though, but know. hold on. No, if you meet a person. No flags and, in his neighborhood. Listen, if you, listen, this is automatically guy code. Like, this, this, just listen to me. I Everybody, agree. This is listen to me. Doesn't matter where you live. Doesn't matter what type of guy you're dealing with. Doesn't matter what neighborhood you live. Doesn't matter where you live. If you're hanging out with a dude who... Who, at That's, the end of the day, oh, either brags about or what wants you to know that he drives a Lamborghini that, and a Ferrari. That he. Oh, sorry. That, that's one in the side. <laughs> that's yes. That's my Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. <laughs> that, if if the guy that you're talking to wants you to know that he's a doctor, a lawyer, drives a Lamborghini and a Ferrari, and he got needs everything to be gold, and he's got a big penis, and he's the best in everything, and he's a doctor and a lawyer. Then those are those days would be that that guy that guy is Monday, Tuesday, Fridays. But if you want that guy who's a, just an overall smartass, schmarmy, borderline Gen Z, just you know, t- complete t- toothy, just. Beta, 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 beta so, straight, soy yeah. boy, soy snowflake. boy, snowy, snowflake, beta boy, who, who, blue boy, hold on, who, as you're talking to this guy, here's the kicker, here's the kicker, he's the president of his HOA, and he's proud to tell you that, that guy is on Thursday, and you know that guy ain't cool. I'm getting that on my business if cards. If I'm, if I'm HOA sitting there, president. me and Seth are sitting at, you know, Wing House or Hooters, and we're watching a ball game. Just being real men like we Just are. Just being real dudes, yeah. you know? Got some wings, a couple Miller Lights. Getting you, a couple you, calendars. I, mean, I really don't like beer, but I'll drink a beer around a, around the guys to kind of fit in sometimes, and I always choose Miller Lite. Like, Miller Lite is, Miller Lite is my beer if I drink beer. I might drink three or four beers all year and that's just usually in a social setting where i feel as if i need to you know fit just in blend. fit in but you know so you're at me and me and seth real men's seth do you drink beer no but i would have a sprite <laughs> i normally just drink water but yeah so you're you're, you're being beer, real Bubba. men drinking drink beer there beer. hold on i don't need and seltzers hold on yeah. seltzer. hold i drink I, everything I, got, I gotta stop like i love i all gotta stop <laughs> It's not a good I gotta thing. stop. I can't even. I can't even set the scenario because I wanted Seth to be my friend and be there at the bar with me, and he's drinking Sprite. No, I'm there with you, man. It's okay, you, Bubba. So Brett Seth, and I would... are at the other table watching you sit with uh, Seth drinking Sprite while we're watching Babyface drinking seltzer. But what so. I'm saying is, seltzers are yummy. I'm, 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 I don't know why. I'm, I'm at a real. I'm at a real like man them. establishment, <laughs> hanging out with real men like like like. Uh, I'm lummy. staring like at big country and, and, and lummy. lummy. And 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 I and why is Seth the there guy, again? And the guy <laughs> I'm ogling and, women. I'm being a man. And one of the guys announces that he's the president of his HOA. He's officially like. I mean, we all hate you. Like it's just like it's <laughs> even just, though you're not a part of the HOA. I, I may never. And you don't know how I run my ship. You just hate me. But but you mean I mean it doesn't. Everybody associate the head of the HOA as some just walking around the neighborhood you know, with a little with a notepad trying to find people's you know the bushes are too high or real you know, quick got, real what? quick you what? know who was the head of his HOA before me? Who? The spitting cobra. 
He's not. He's not a guy we're talking about right I now. I know, but I'm letting you know. You're saying that this this is the type of guy. I'm just saying, Jay. I believe if my memory serves me, and it usually does. Stop, the st- stop trying to his HOA. Stop trying to divert Brian, to he. The two people in question right now are you and Dan. Do you, Brian, do you okay. allow flags in your neighborhood? American I, flags. I have no say over anything. The rules and our management company Listen handle the, the violations. Mm. And that's a I violation. I do not. I do not. Yeah. Yeah. Flags are a violation. I mean, you're allowed to have the American. American flag, Lewis and the state Litt. flag. That Lewis Lit over here. That's who you are. Dan is Harvey Specter, and you're Lewis Lit in the in suits. God, everybody's have from you, suits have, now. Have, have you have you watched? <laughs> My wife watched it. I didn't L- watch it. Let me yes. show. Give me an example of Harvey Specter, and give me a, uh, an example of Lewis Lit. Lewis Lit is that 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 balding guy. Just don't. Hey, listen. Don't thwart oh, my setup. I know what you I got you're a doing. phone call right now, and then I'm going to break here momentarily, so I'm super on time. Hi, who's this? Hey, Bob, it's Dave West Palm. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Good. Two things. First of all, listen to Operation Pigmentation uh, yesterday. Man, yeah. that, that's a home run. That, I mean, that is, is a, a home run that, show. I'm going to tell you, if people don't know about this, you've got to listen to this. This is all on Seth. I'm not trying to blow a spot up too much, but he nailed it with this. He's been hanging out with these African-American barbers at a barbershop called Latin Sons in South St. Pete and Seth just kind of organically stumbled upon it as a nerd white boy one day and he's become friends with these dudes uh and now they're doing and they have they do po- they do a podcast with Seth now called Operation Pigmentation they're just a couple two sometimes two sometimes three black black guys that are that are barbers in South St. Pete and it it's Right now in our podcasting world, the hottest new thing we got going, Operation Pigmentation. Any place that you get podcasting, you know, Apple, iTunes, uh, Spotify, iHeart, uh, even Bubba Army HQ. Just uh, search The Bubba Army at any any podcast. Are you thing. intrigued to ever listen, Bubba? Uh, I've listened to quite a bit of it. Have you really? Yeah. I okay. mean, not, I probably listened to a total of 30 minutes right. between the one that I was on, you know, whatever. Um, okay. <laughs> no, when I, I don't quiz him. The one don't that I, the, I, I listened to the one that I when I met the guys. Okay, yeah, the first one. Yeah, and I listened to about fifteen minutes of that. Okay, and then I listened to fifteen minutes of number two. Okay, I've, I haven't heard three yet, but I heard three was the best so far. All of them. I like three a lot. Three's a banger. Yeah. So, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Th- uh, we're we're building yeah. this whole podcasting world up too. Yeah, it, it, it was amazing. And the other thing that I learned yesterday, uh, listening to the midweek wrap up show, ask Red about his new girl. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Is that it? Are you are you done? Checked out. I'm done. Appreciate it. Thank you. I love a guy that knows when to leave. That's a good call right there. That's a good call. Let's Dave from West Palm. Best call of the month. So before that, I was going to say I have a lot of respect for Dave from West Palm. He constantly calls in and asks the tough questions. Well, he, I mean, he asks questions um, and he wants answers, too, because he's a super fan and he knows everything about the show. So any questions that he may ask are very relative and we need to get out. That means other Bubba Army people probably have those same very questions. And he listened to the midweek show. And he so listened, thank you. Now, I let me I saw the title of the midweek yes. show said big changes at the BRN. Um, I, I, well, I what, what's, what are we changing? I don't know. You got to listen. <laughs> well, Rhett's got a girlfriend. Wow, That's a change right there. Off. Can't do that. Can we talk about Rhett's girlfriend next? No. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Mach, Macho Man, are you there? I think I got squirreled on this one. You are, did, yeah. are you there? Because I got to go. I got to go into words. Don't forget, Macho's got a thing for baby face. Forget, but okay. Macho, yeah. would you admit, would you take a loss or admit that you weren't prepared when we even talked about it in our meeting, I wasn't we were, co- co-piloting very well. Sorry. I mean, you dropped the ball. Yeah, it wasn't long. You got to take an L. Yeah. Because you knew we were going to break early, and I had you just, you know, completely whatever. You messed it up. Well, the pilot sure saw the bed was still playing, but. <laughs> 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 but I'll, I'll take it. Just the <laughs> turbulence. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Mach. Macho is no. I'll take uh, it. Listen, Macho. I should I should help him out. Macho is suffering from something right now and we need to all just take a step back when when dealing with macho is the flat lats hemorrhoids no he's got a situation and he's not on top of his game right now he's just absolute losing mass quantities of sleep over this he's uh, him, he, him and a significant other aren't doing well they're fighting over this uh it's just not it's just not good he's just really tore up and it's affecting his, his home life over this NPR situation. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> he is so tore up. There was a story that came out this week that said NPR, you know, the ratings are declining and they're not doing very good and they're down on the ropes. Well, it goes and then another one comes out. Another follow up says NPR is so liberal. It's you wouldn't believe how liberal. He's like out bought of, by George Soros nine, or something. Nine, 97 the, out of the 98 people that work there, there are 98 Democrats and zero Republicans. They went into did that. And so, like, and so it just tore Macho Man up. He's just completely tore up about it. So, Macho Man, would you like to talk about it a little bit? Like, you know, air it out, maybe get some well, therapy going think, on, to, talking to I, talking to other people here that are familiar with radio? I sent you the link that he sent me. For I just don't think taxpayer dollars should go to, a, you know, a Democratic arm. It's just not, not right. Yeah. Was, as a station operator myself, I'd like some funding, you know? I believe he also was, uh, Brian brought up that NPR wasn't. I, I believe it was more in the context of PBS and a specific interview that Bubba was playing. I'm just. I know, I know, but I'm saying NPR. I didn't touch because I, I, I believe, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Macho you don't know can find the audio. About, you don't know anything about NPR. I mean, I, I know that it leans liberal, and I know that it's leans. become, they, they, it's they, become they, greater. It's a joke. Well, if you read, if you read the whistleblower's article, he said that uh, straight up until 2016, it was pretty balanced. And then the Trump the victory yeah. changed everything, yeah. and and that was true. And I, but I also think the so the Trump hatred changed NPR, which by the way is National Public Radio, and it's heard in every city in America. And you're paying for it as and, a taxpayer. Yeah, you don't understand. Like they're 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 a nonprofit, for profit. Uh, radio, you know, full blown syndicated radio station with hosts and all kinds of things, and uh, the attack, you know, the United States taxpayers pay for it. It's funded by the government. We need some taxpayers to pay our paychecks. Yeah, you know. Here we go. Now, this Meanwhile, is- listen to this: a 25 year NPR National Public Radio veteran taking on his own employer, award winning editor Yuri Berliner, exposing the political bias and what he says. And why he says NPR has lost America's trust. Well, I've never known America really to care about anything on NPR. Is there anybody that really listens to NPR? I used to almost every day. Oh, they got God. some decent numbers in Tampa. Point, I got I so like frustrated sure. with what I saw was the sort of the lack of different perspectives in our coverage that I decided to. I've been in radio for 40 years and I think NPR is a joke. Yeah, you have it. to. You can't have a personality, Look right? It. Right. You got to be Johnny Card. Right. You got to be Johnny to Cardboard. It whispery. It's like uh, Johnny it's like Cardboard. The, sh- the sweaty family balls skit on yeah. Saturday Night Live. Is straight out of NPR. You know, among our staff, and what I found was eighty-seven registered Democrats on our editorial staff. Zero Republicans. I pre- so eighty-seven registered Democrats on their editorial staff and zero Republicans. I mean, that's not. That's not. That's not straightened down the middle. No. Oh. Then mm-hmm. this at. Uh, at a all hands or a large news meeting, and I said, "Hey, look, something's gone wrong here." What went wrong? Our next guest says it's one of the reasons he stopped listening to NPR. All right, everybody stopped listening to NPR. So, uh, Mach, do you feel a little better? I mean, do you? Yeah, do as long get, as we, we pull their funding, or or just you know, we get that all out. Fair, a fairness. Should, we, should we all get NPR? a hold of our congressman, or yeah, what should exactly. we do? All right, thank you. Everybody get a hold of your congressman or congressperson, please. Do the due diligence as to who represents you in the Congress or the Senate. And write to your senator and to your congressperson that you do not want uh, uh, the funding of NPR to be done by the government anymore. It should be a private entity and not funded by the government. If they can't be fair and balanced. Like, like Fox News. Like you need to be no, as my, rep- as, as 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 my representative. And you know the thing about it is your representative, you know, is either 50-50 you like them or not. Either they are for what you're for or not. It's like You know, everything's so polarizing nowadays. I think we're pretty fair and balanced here, though. Hello? Oh, morning, I, Bubba, morning, I, show. I love living here, man. You know, you got Grady Judd on one side of the deal. You know, you got St. Pete that's a little liberal down there. I like, I think you got kind of the, I think you that's got the, the best I, mix. I living in a blue city in a yeah. red state is my favorite. I think, I think you got, I think you, I don't think we're a blue city. I mean, <laughs> Tampa, see, Tampa, it's, Tampa, it's hold on, blue, but it's Tampa's blue, St. Pete's red. No. What? I mean, Pinellas. St. Pete's I mean, Pinellas. Yeah, I was Pinellas. in St. Pete for seven years. It's... I meant Pinellas. But so. if you look at the voting, Pinellas, it's act- Pinellas is actually more Republican mm-hmm. because of the retirees. Right. Sure, the Dunedin area. Right. Yeah. So but, a lot of times St. they break it down. Yeah, St. Petersburg. Is, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But a lot of times, county wise, when they break it down, they make Hillsboro blue and they make Pinellas red. Right. Usually. That's kind of the blend that we got going on here. Uh, hello. Hey, morning, Bubba. It's Gene Ruskin. Gene from Ruskin? 
Yes, sir. Hello, Gene. Doing this I'm I'm doing great, my friend. I'm on time. I'm starting a new clock now, or I. I stop at different times. Uh, I got a lot of things to talk about today. I got Brian the Babyface Matroni in here. We've pretty much waited through that he's going to try to be as good as he can today without pissing me off. Pissed me off last week. I even uh, wrote, a, wrote. I even put it on Twitter. And that went well. Uh, and, and then and then, he, and then he he's talk, and then that was horrible. So what can, <laughs> so what can I do for you, buddy? I was just commenting on the NPR. They've been a liberal Democrat rag as far as you can remember. You tune in for a minute and hear that. Every time they go, they, they start talking crap about the conservatives and the Republicans. Well, buddy, you out there that's out there uh, gear jamming and, and up and down the road is an FTE that I think you I are. I am. I'm on 75. Yeah, I, li- I used to listen to Rush. I listened to you since 98 Rock Days. Uh, and how do you get us now? How do you, how do you listen to us now? By what means? 8.20 a.m. and also YouTube and Facebook. Perfect. That's exactly what I need, my friend. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, AM 820. It's a, it's, a, it's a crock pot, my friend, a bubbinness. Since you're ta- on the politics and everything, I was listening to the replay yesterday afternoon about 22 weeks. And that, that's just that's the cost that, cost to make a new Democratic voter these days, Bubba, is with, you know, if it's incest, no, big, no biggie. Hope Bob's fan was just that's a new Democratic voter right there. All right, my they're man. Gonna be, they're going to be deaf from the beginning. Appreciate your insight, my friend. Getting a little deep for me. Got to go, okay? Be deep, See you up. later. I mean, I, I listen, you know what? Here's the thing. As a host, I got to go to words. But as a host, like, I got to try to I got to try to play it down the middle. But I don't, you know, I mean, or if not, man, we just get killed. But I, I have some liberal, I have some liberal, I have some liberal views that a lot of people get mad about me, uh, to, uh, at me about. And one of which is I think abortion should be 22 weeks. But I also think you should have be, be able to have a handgun. And I think we need to stop immigration. So there's so many, you know, Republican things. You think that you I should be able in. to do a line of coke, right? No, I don't think you should oh. be able to do a line of coke. Why not? It's Why your not? body, your choice. Yeah, your body, your choice, uh, I man. Mean, it, what, it, why would you care? You said you were all about shooting guns, smoking weed, and abortions, yeah, Bubba. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah what's I, your drug policy? What's your drug policy, I, buddy? I don't, I don't think cocaine should. I mean, that's a drug. What drug should be legal? The, just the ones, the ones you I use? like? No, one, <laughs> the ones I use. The one, and only those. Sleeping the one, pills. The one. <laughs> Is that illegal? The That's only not. drugs that can be legal are ones that can be indigent. You you can grow and harvest and ingest uh, naturally, and it's indigenous, like it indigenously grows to where you live. Where's the, the, ambi- where where's the Ambien plant that you cut the leaf off of? <laughs> Those are uh, legal, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Well, I mean, I'm just like, saying. Oh, you're, you're, hold on. You're, you're going to try to tell me that you're not on any prescri- prescri- by a doc- You're not on any doctor's prescriptions at all. Zero. None. Nothing. Zero. Damn. You take zero. Zero. All right. Let's just go through the room. This will show you how much of a nerd F you are. Because <laughs> I'm not on pills. For real. We, are, <laughs> we did, we did, we did no, this. for real. Please don't ask no, me. No, no, no. Please. For real. <laughs> we did this. Like, please. For real. This just shows you that we're cool because we're on pills. <laughs> And you're a nerd boy, little bitch soy boy, because your job, I bet you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't take any pills. Yeah, you're so lame, you and your natural sleep. Yeah. Love me, young pills? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Rat, young pills? No. He's on weed. I'm not on anything, but okay. I just smoke and that's okay. it. Okay, hold on. You're on Medicinal, weed. Medicinal, though? You're on weed. Of course, okay. Brian. It's not doctor prescribed. It's pills <laughs> or weed. It, that's I your I thought option. we were talking about doctor prescribed. When I say pills, that includes weed. Okay. <laughs> when I say pills, <laughs> when I say pills, that inclu- includes weed. Yeah, okay? but it's not accurate to I, say I'm on pills. I don't care. Just it's for the for for the for the show in my Just category a- that I in the in the in the conversation that I'm having with my co-hosts. I, I'm telling you right. that if you do weed, then that counts as pills. All right. Just to put Brian down, I'm taking 25 pills a day. <laughs> All right, so Lummy, you on pills? Yes. Bubba, you on pills? Yes. Seth, you on pills? Many. Rhett, you on pills? You just asked me. Yes, sir. I'm asking you again. Oh, yes. Macho Man, you on pills? I'm all about chemical enhancements. Uh, Anna, you on pills? Uh, no pills, just powder. You're going to try to tell me no, I don't. That, you've, that you've never done cocaine or you've never done Molly or you've what? never done uh, an Ambien? Well, you're or, asking on it, like, does she use it regularly? You said prescription. And I thought we were talking no about No doctors ever prescribed me cocaine. Although I they wish they had. Back in the day, man. <laughs> All right, good. Back in was great. That only validate, you know what? Her honest <laughs> saying no, which I thought was going to be a yes because I thought she was going to be part of the cool club. Her saying no <laughs> just, just validates what the problem is. Her... And nerd boy over there. 
Everybody else is cool as hell. Yep. Everybody and the other two, the ones that we're always having trouble with. Look, <laughs> they're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> There no pills, no weed. Should no I take nothing. some right now, Bubba? Yeah, take, take them right now. Take all of what you have right now. <laughs> you're already you won't. It's I've already man. taken all you my pills. You can handle every pill that you have in a bottle. Me? Yep. Please. I could take what 20 if, Xanax. Get out of here. What if Do I'm the all, overdose challenge. Re- no. <laughs> See how many TikTok? you can take and survive. <laughs> it's the new thing. This is getting dark, Bubba. All the kids are doing it. He wants me to die. You do it to a fun song, though, and it baby, makes it cool. Baby face. Shut up Sorry. before literally I come over there and just go. Cr- so I feel like stabbing him. Oh, oh he'll, yeah. he'll do it. It's very on specific. God. Let's finally get some use out of that That's show dagger. That is it. <laughs> it's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Want to listen to the show on demand and on the go? Enlist today at BubbaArmyHQ.com and sign up and start listening. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. We got to let Burke just go at him today. Oh, I, I, what did I do? Nothing. I'm just. <laughs> oh, I, asked, I asked Bubba what types of drugs he thinks would be, should be legal, and it's only the stuff he does. <laughs> you should know that's how it goes. I just wanted to confirm that you guys. There's some both of them. I'm gonna go take all my also, pills. <laughs> I was joking. Yeah. Be a real man. I can't kill myself. I don't know. I can't kill myself. Right 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. The one you sent? Yeah. Because the one that I sent is the split screen of the punk interview, and it's got the fight on the bottom. But for whatever reason, I can't see it. It's right here. Right, that's what I'm saying. But if for whatever reason we can't use it or he can't see that, then there's this, another. Just because it looks like this, it, it, it's just a mess. Of right. It's in it multiple times. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if he literally cannot see that with his eyeballs and he needs it to be blown up and bigger, I can teach um, you another version of that fight video. But there's a specific one that we have to use because of copyright. <coughs> hey, AE. Bubba, I sent you the video of the AEW backstage thing. Will you click on it? Make sure you can the see it. The green them? What's that? Yeah, 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 that's fine. We'll check now. Just as long as it's good. I just want to make sure he can make out it's what's happening. It's sensitive. It can treat the alcohol withdrawal symptoms and tremors. Yeah. Okay, hold on here. So, All right, so the se- you're talking about the second one you sent me? Oh. Yep. Okay, here just we go. It's a can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. All right, All right. cool. We just wanted to make sure, because we have to use that certain angle of the fight. Cause well, plus we got, we, got, we got CK Punk explaining it. Yeah, CK. <clears throat> right, so I, this is, I don't need the other one, right? No, not yet. No, no, I know, not, not, not yet. I mean, do I need to know that, do I need, do I know? No, you don't need that. No, you don't. Okay, so I can get rid of this. Yeah, you can. Because the, the one, the other one handles it. Yep, perfect. Yep, that's the whole clip, and then that's basically his side of the story from the interview that okay. came out like a week and a half ago. Perfect. I'm going to get to him, uh, I'm going to get to it and have you explain it. Yeah, I'll go take my pills. Go <laughs> smoke your pills. Yeah. It used to be a pretty, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Big MPR Mark. I went to a live taping of a show once. Well, yeah, it's Anonymous outside. Small town bourbon, 24 buds. <laughs> What's Anonymous? Om- ominous? Yeah. That's the word. It's like uh, eerie. Outside? Yeah. I think there's a storm coming, but I don't watch the news that much. Yeah, there's a cold front coming. Oh, that's right. We were talking about yesterday. Well, I mean, when we were talking about peeing by the potted plants, were you saying that I pee there or you pee there? You pee there. Oh, I, I go <laughs> past the potted plants, but today I peed right by them because yep. I, I never saw them. Because they look like they're dying now, and I'm like, so it's got to water these. No, I go, I, go, I go past them. I go a little further back. I was just talking where I pee outside. Oh, Lummy and I try not to not. You guys like to pee outside, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan loves it. Yeah, oh, it's great. Yeah, it's Dan used to. You should try it. Well, I know that you said that we could get arrested if a kid walked like by. Like a kid walks by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a registered sex offender. There's no schools back here, so I don't know what to tell if the kid's homeless back here. Homeless kid comes yeah. back here. Those are the ones that'll rattle. Homeless kids have no rights. They have no homes, but they do have rights. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 
And it's not homeless. It's like what housing challenged or um, um, what's the? What's I don't the know. We found out sign yesterday. You could be homeless and still stream. Uh, like, it's something stupid. It's something stupid. It's a, it's it's a a, a uh, victimless word as they put it. Like, house misplaced. Like house. died by suicide. <laughs> oh oh. Committed suicide. It's house ha housing. Uh, housing uh, challenge. <laughs> that's what I said, but that's not it. <laughs> It's a really, really stupid fucking um, saying. Unhoused in general? The unhoused. <laughs> it makes them sound like they, you know, you can't bring them in. They haven't been potty housing trained. Insuffic in housing insecurity. The housing... The, Instead the, of homelessness. Yeah. I had a dream that I was sharing a room, a bedroom with four dudes from Key West. What? <laughs> That sounds pretty, pretty damn. And then gay. the one, one guy took his pants off while we were trading cards. Wow. And I was like, "Dude, you want a blanket or some shorts?" He's like, "No, I'm good." Fuck, man, it was weird. I don't pretty know if I want to do opens step. with you any more breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I do need to hear that. There's a lot going on there to unravel. It was a, it was a, it was a tough dream. Specifically, Key West too, which is not exactly uh, where Bubba you would find Bubba on a weekend. You know what I'm saying? He's a real man. No, he would do uh, what was that fancy fest fantasy down there or something? Fest? Yeah, I don't know, man. Or just but walk would, around. Would you, would you rather donate to an organization that helps the housing insecure or the homeless? I mean, I'm, I'm just like the word, like the housing whole... insecure, because they're more cutting edge. That's where I want to get my. Sounds money. Te temporary. It's it, it, the it, it, Yeah. Or homeless. Sounds homeless like is homeless. is temporary too, because no, we're talking about home. Oh man. It sounds like in my head. Insecure just sounds Woo. like it's like. Oh, yeah, like like, like you're like you're not. It, it's it's that yeah. You're you're not sure. Maybe maybe you'll have a home tomorrow. Yeah. You just don't really know. Yeah. You're homeless. Right now, it's I'm homeless. Binary. It's very definite. It's very... Definitive. Yeah. Like, um... By the way, I'm not donating to anybody. No, I get that. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, For choice, language yeah. matters. Absolutely. And, and I'm less likely to donate to help the housing insecure than I am the homeless. Wow. I'm more likely to donate to the homeless. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Bubba Army HQ. Otherwise, Bubba will have to take action. And there's a lot of power behind those short arms. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Now back to the BRN. We often uh, think of living a more heart-healthy lifestyle is what you need to do, but that's going to require all types of unsustainable changes in your life and really got to think about it and try hard. When realistically, you don't need anything, anything at all except Super Beat Heart Shoes. They're going to help you be mindful of your heart health. Uh, and the bottom line is they are the number one doctor, pharmaceutic, pharma, pharmacists, and cardiologists recommended beat brand for our, all cardiovascular health support. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, the antioxidants in Super Beat are clinically shown to be more, nearly two times more effective at promoting normal blood pressure than a healthy lifestyle. Uh, alone. Double your potential with Super Beat Heart Shoes and get a free month supply of turmeric. That's right. That's valued at $25. But you all got to go to right now as you as we speak. Go. It's very simple. BubbaLovesBeats.com Again, get this exclusive offer only at, you got to go here. This is where you got to go. BubbaLovesBeats.com Thanks. Uh, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, that's uh, how, how you can contribute if you like, if you like the program. And if not, just uh, be a casual listener. And uh, But in any indication, in the, in the smallest amount, you should at least go follow us somewhere, like YouTube or Facebook or X Twitter or Twitch or Instagram or TikTok. Uh, let me really, really, really pushing people to uh, X and to uh YouTube. Yes. Right now, what I'm really trying to do. Please, please. Please go to, at least go to YouTube. In fact, when we do our our uh, Cash Cube gimmick, it's all going to be based on pushing people to our social media. You're not going to even get to spin the prize wheel, which, by the way, Lummy, I've put you in charge of putting together the new prize wheel. Yep. And I think it's now you're on your third day. 
Yeah, I brought my. Uh, you, my but you are on your third day. Yep, I have one bolt to put in, and I right. had to bring my little. I have tool one. Set. <laughs> if, if those scoring at home could uh, could hear this again, I have one bolt to put in, and it's, I'm on my third day. Mike Thurman, $50 for Wait, baby isn't that what, cute top. Isn't that what, isn't, <laughs> Thank you, Mike. But doesn't, I mean, it, but isn't there are that. flowers, by the way. But isn't that what it says? I have one bolt. Lummy, how you yes. doing? I'm putting it together. Good. I'm almost done. Well, Lummy, what, what do you got left to do? I got this one bolt. One bolt. It's taking it me together. three days. Yes. Is that why Big Red's coming here today to help you with the prize? Yes, deal? We're, we just, had one bolt to put it all together. I need uh, Big Red to Mommy, help me. Why can't you couldn't to put you? I thought you were far more mechanical than that. I'm kidding, you know, Big, Big Red's coming for another reason. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to have it done by... Uh, I know, but like, did you just not work on this and you've just kind of blown it off? Or? No, it's just one big... And we didn't have the size uh, uh, size we needed. Uh, I had it at home and I brought it. All right. So let me, like, can tomorrow, would it be safe to say... 100%. It'll be done? Yep. And then so tomorrow I could have it behind me maybe? Yes. And maybe maybe play with it a little bit? Yes, sir. How and, many test spins do you need to give it, Bubba? Like, how many times do you want him to, to spin before you, you know, make sure it doesn't fall off? Oh, well, this oh. thing's not going to fall well, off. This, I, but, Bubba, then, Bubba bought now a here's very the thing. good More, one. Here's the thing. We, we have this whole plan, this cash cube deal. And we're going to, we got a brand new tent. We got, of course, tables. We got a generator. We got, we got a cash cube. And and we may or may not have the cream machine there, Lummy. And we're going to be live. We're going to be live from the Kenny Chesney concert uh, Saturday the twentieth. Correct. Yes. Yes. Now, what we're doing there is just good old fashioned grassroots promotion. And what we we got the Diaco Law ten thousand dollar cash cube. There's going to be ten thousand dollars. In this swirling ash cash cube that you get in, and let me, I think we need to probably talk about the time on there because I've we I've been watching other cash cube yep, stuff, and thirty is a little heavy. Like it is the, that's very like, heavy. Yeah, like most cash cubes, like I've seen it as low as five, and I've seen it as high as thirty, and we're the thirty guys. Now, what do you think? And and I, I probably should go all throughout the room. Because, I mean, like, we did a couple test gimmicks on it, and Rhett, bankrupt Rhett, us. Rhett, bankrupt, Rhett got $1,100. Woo. And now we, if we can't do that, like, we can't financially do that. Dan will be there, though, right? He can cover you. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but, so, Lummy, we got to figure out when you spent, so here's, here's how it, it's going to be. We're going to have, like, koozies there and, like, air fresheners and some Bubble Army T-shirts and some hats and some ducks and some bumper stickers and I think oh let me I think she ordered a thousand of Bubba Army sunglasses. Nice. Um, she I think she ordered a thousand Bubba Army koozies, things that you could take into the game, yep. you know, or into the concert. You know, we're not giving you, you know, a goldfish or anything like that. You know, like something. That, <laughs> That'd be I mean, but, I mean, hey, listen, I've won a goldfish before, and what do you, and, and you know, and, and what do you do with it? You got to go home. Uh, you you got to dump it on the side of the Day's road. Day's over. <laughs> Sorry, goldfish. So, sorry, goldfish. I was, I wanted the big stuffed bear for old girl, and I got the goldfish. Maybe you could live in this creek here or not. I don't know. Thought I was getting crackers. So, uh, let me. We uh, wait, wait, then. So you you go up. You you you. I'm I'm, a th- I'm assuming that. A cash cube at a country concert is going to really draw a lot of attention. Yes. Most people, as they're walking to the stadium, they'll see different, you know, different people. People have different tailgates, like, you know, like uh, different radio, even different radio stations will have little knickknacks and hangouts and stuff like that. You know, AT&T might have a booth and Miller Lite might have, like, you know, there's different There's different people that are doing different promotions at you know, ga- either ball games or public gatherings. So we are going to do a, a promotion to get people up to speed that we're back. A lot of people in Tampa don't know that. And so what they're going to do is you're going to form a lot. You're going to see this big ass cash cube and it's going to draw you like you're going to if me and Brian and uh, Lummy, well, Brian probably wouldn't be going to the Kenny Chesney concert. No, I, I like a tailgate. I I'm just having so, no interest in the music. Lummy, me, I like the you, music. probably me, you, and Rat. Yeah. yeah, we're going. We're going to the Kenny Chesney concert because there's a lot of, you know, a milf milf cowboy boy, a lot of, hot a lot of milf cowgirls. <laughs> so as we're walking down the street, we see this big ass cash cube, and Bubba Army was like. 
Hey, I wonder if that's that Bubba the Love Sponge guy from back in the day, Night of Your Rock. I heard he lost it all, and I heard, I mean, is that, you think that's him? I don't know. That seems, since Bubba Army, I think that's him. Well, what's that? Ca- he must be doing so damn good. He just got cash. That's right. What is he? Where is he? How do you listen? I don't even know that he. What channel he's on? Is he? Was he in? Is he on the air? I don't know. Let's go over there. And then you walk up to the table, and you're going to be allowed to spin the wheel. But before you spin the wheel, we're going to ask you. The entrance into spinning the wheel is to open up your phone. Everybody's got a phone, and follow and. Either we're going to suggest that you go to YouTube and follow us on YouTube. You uh, and you know maybe and maybe you have X. We'll have all of our stuff right there. Maybe follow us on all of them, but you at least have to follow us on one and preferably YouTube. Once you've shown, t- taken your phone, shown us, gone to our channel, hit subscribe notification. Boom! Now you get to spin the wheel. You spin the wheel that Lummy only has one more bolt left on. And let me, I mean, is it far more sturdier than the average cheese dick wheel? Have you seen, like, have you seen some of these non-professional wheels? Like, we have one in the pantry. Yes. I think Jabberjaw bought it for something. Yeah, and it's Her or Hurricane, and it's, like, straight. Yeah, you get it, like, Office Depot has it for giveaways. Like, Geico's giving away a a, a keychain. Like, no, like, Hunter Law was going to have a Christmas party, and they wanted, you know, to have a spinning wheel (laughs) deal, right? Something like that. Like, something that's just not, you know, you use one or two times. It's real wobbly, and it has this real rubber thing that acts as the stopper. Like, it ain't industrial at all. So I went to our Amazon page, Lummy, and I looked for, Lummy, if that if that particular, um, you know, I know you have the box and everything, if that particular prize wheel is not on our Amazon, we need to put it on our Amazon. Okay, we'll do. Because there might, because there might be some people that want a legitimate prize wheel. So on the prize wheel will be, again, Bubba Koozie, Bubba Bumper Sticker, but to, uh, Bubba Army uh, sunglasses, uh, Bubba Army black duck with red lips, uh, T-shirt. Sorry, you lost your. Sp- Let me. I think we put a need to put a. Oh no! I think at that point they're going to unfollow you. Yeah. 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 So you know whatever. The, I think I think the lowest thing you can w- win is a couple bumper stickers, which really everybody gets bumper stickers, but it, it, whatever. You'll walk away with some sunglasses or a koozie or an air freshener or something. But also, Lummy, on the, the, the prize wheel will be cash cube, a big, big red sliver. And uh, if you hit that, then you get to go inside of our cash cube and grab as much money as you can. There's $10,000 in there. And let me, we just need to now think of how, and, and everybody, I like everybody, everybody's input. L- know this, that 30 seconds is too long. Like, that's on the, I've, I've looked at other people that do Cash Cube, and 30 seconds is the longest that I've seen. And so we need to find a sweet spot here, Lummy, because we won't be able to afford to but to do two or three of these things. Kenny Chesney would break us. 10 <clears throat> seconds. All right, so you say 10. Yep. Anna? 20 seconds on 420. For, for, what? Because uh, the Kenny Chesney cuts. Oh, on the 20th. 420. No, okay. okay. So is your is it just 20 seconds? Yeah. That's your answer? Yeah. Without trying to be smart ass about it? Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Rat. Trying to make a joke. It was, it was, uh, it was a zookeeper. I mean, yeah. Where, I mean tukey, tukey. she's not above a zookeeper. Yeah. No. Sure. That's, that's for Anna. Uh, that's for her. I'll take 20, that. 20 for 420. <laughs> Hey, listen. This isn't. This isn't. A, this is a. You tried and and you jumped off sides. It isn't at the end of the game. We're not going to lose the game because of it. But but you kind of. I mean, messed I was up. serious. The Z Morning Zoo on Z One Hundred. So we got twenty seconds. We got twenty seconds. Rat ten, over. He said. Oh, who said ten? I Brian. said ten. Okay, Brian had ten. Let me. We need to take write these. I'm writing these right, down. You, you yep. writing them down? Yep. All right. So hold on here. Uh, Anna, you had twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And baby had ten. Okay. Seth, what do you got? Ten. Ten. Uh, Lummy, what do you got? Ten. Ten. Rhett, what do you got? Yeah, I'll go ten. You're ten. Macho? Let's say let's say twenty with one hand tied behind their back. Twenty. Twenty. With just one hand. He wants to see those biceps flexing. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say, you know, twenty or ten. And so I think it's in, 15. I, I know, but at the end of the day, I think all of it, I think it kind of equates to 15 seconds. There you go. You know, I got three twenties and four tens. 
that's you know, I don't know statistically what that equals out to, but I think I think Lummy, we just kind of organically roughed it in that it's fifteen seconds. 15. So I know Macho Man, Macho Man has Lummy Macho Man didn't you got that countdown clock, right? Yeah, it's right here. Right. And Lummy will probably have to bring like um an air horn or you know something like that yeah, for start and stop. For them to hear it, yeah. Just so you know, ten well, seconds is still a long time. No, yeah, Bubba. fifteen yeah. seconds is a really long time. Yeah. I know you're going to be bankrupt. It's, oh, hold on, thirty seconds. You're going to be you're going to be that Joe Dirt. I'm never going to recover from this financially. Maybe. We're supposed to be talking to Joe Dirt soon. Hello, I, you're I on know, the air. That's what, I'm such a genius. Only I could do that. You wanted to bring that all together, huh? Yep. You want to tie it all in? Tie it all in. Mm, good. Joe Exotic. Uh, hello, <laughs> Joe Dirt. <laughs> Yes, Joe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Least... Hello. Hey, Bubba. I yeah. Didn't, I, did, I didn't put this on hold for a reason. You didn't? Hey. Oh, it's Charlie then. We know it's Charlie. Yep. Charlie, here's the deal. Well, let's take a call. Charlie. Let's take Char- a call. Let's Char- take a call. Let's take my call. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, let's take my call. Here we go. I'm going okay. to take. Hey, what, what are your Charlie. thoughts on Lisa Janet? Char- what are your Char- thoughts on Lisa Janet? Charlie. Let me, inter- let, me, let me introduce you. Let me introduce Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. You're what riding the? that wave. Where are you going, Bubba? Can I break down your whole cast? Let me break it down, Bubba. Yeah. Let me break down what you're dealing with. Charlie? Um, let you're me going, t- Bubba. Hey, Clem. Clem, that's your real name. Your name is Clem. What is this going Clem. on? I don't know. Hey, Charlie, do you take pills? Yeah, what are you on, yeah. Charlie? Charlie, what are you on? Because I, I want some. I might need to get some. I may need to get what you're on so I can understand you. Put me in my place, Clem. Clem, put me in my place. I, I could easily put you on your place by just hanging up on job. you. But I just, I, I don't, okay, I, I, but, I, but I'm trying to show you how you know how worldly of a radio personality I am and allow people that have adversarial, you know, views of the show and try to short space and talk over me. I'll just turn you off. Now, I haven't hung up on you. You're still there. But in order for me to get in and get the words, I got to set up every, well, who the hell you are. Most, don't, most people don't know who the hell you are. I was so I have to, 5, bits. <laughs> thank you. So listen, this is a guy named Charlie. He hates us. And when I try to put him on the air and explain to him, we're going to go point, counterpoint, you talk, I talk, you talk, I talk. We be quiet during the other shutters talk. He just goes insane. He never shuts up. He never allows me to actually introduce him properly. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Charlie. He doesn't like the show. He hates us. And uh, so I th- there you go. I, I had to try. I actually had to take him off the air to, in order to be able to say this. And, and intro him properly, which at the end of the day, that's a courtesy to him. Because if I just let him keep going on and on, everybody would have, think that he's already weirder than he already is. But I'm going to allow Charlie his, his his time to speak now. Charlie, go ahead, buddy. So I want to make this very clear. I just heard you ramble on for the last 20 or 30 seconds. I didn't say anything. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut for 15 seconds so I can prove to your audience that I'm not some sort of lunatic that goes on and on. Ask me a question, Clem. Well, first of all, <laughs> I you didn't you didn't shut your mouth. I had to take I had to take you off the air in order to assure that you would have shut your mouth because you were not on a track to shutting your mouth. Firstly, you were going on and on and on. It was my last resort to have to put you on hold. So that in itself is a lie, Charlie. But keep going on. Bubba one, Charlie, nothing right now. Let's go. Come on. Dude, you're almost 60 years old, and you're playing this one-on-one game with me. I know. I know, and I don't know if that's for more pathetic for me or you. I think we both need to take... I think we both need to take a little kind of step back and say, you're right. It's pathetic for me to be taking it, and it's, it's more pathetic for you to be making this phone call. We're both... We both suck, Charlie. We're both past our oh, prime. It's over, buddy. Bubba. Bubba. Bubba, I don't suck at all. Bubba, listen to my voice, listen to my personality, listen to the words that I put together compared to what you put together. You've got four idiots next to you. All of them make absolutely no sense. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Yeah, absolutely. I can. Okay. So, Bubba, I, I, hold on, hold on for a second. I'm, I'm looking at the chat room. You've got so many sycophants. They love you, Clem. They love you. You can do no wrong, Clem. I'm, I, I wanted to study you. You did a video the other day when you went to Sonic, right? You, you had some sort of burger or some sort of sandwich at Sonic, correct? Charlie, yes, and, th- and thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, but I was actually embarrassed for the woman that you insulted. This young girl, maybe 21 or 22 years old, she had, I don't know, like painted nails or painted hair. She very politely, kindly took your order. Then I think you called her a bitch. You basically tried to put her in her place. You're a 60-year-old man. 
You're an old, old man. You put this young child, you basically insulted her online, yes? Do you mean the one I tipped two dollars on when nobody at Sonic tips, tips nothing? No, no, no. You insulted you insulted a child. I was doing a radio I, never I, go, I was doing I, I can't I don't I, I don't know how old she was. Why she didn't look audience? like to be I don't think that like you can be I don't no, think no, you, you can her. I don't you think you can be sixteen and work at Sonic at twelve thirty in the afternoon on a school day, to be honest with you. I, yeah, I'm assuming she was an adult. And I don't Claire. remember calling her a bitch. And if I did, sorry. No, 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 no. You said something very insulting to her. Very insulting to her. When she walked away, you insulted her. I said, nice fingernails. No, you didn't. No, no, no. You said something very insulting to her. Let me really find that for me, me if you could. Bubba's can't go $100. You're an old man. You're an, you you go ahead and talk. You go ahead and talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. He was letting you talk, dude. No, nobody went, here was talking. Was, nobody was talking. No, no, no. You go ahead and talk, Clem. You go ahead and talk, Clem. No, go ahead. No. It's your call. Go ahead, buddy. Go, your call. You're the one that was describing how sick and crazy it was me describing this woman. So go ahead. I want to hear what I want to hear what what I what I did wrong, bud. Okay. From what I remember, you walk, you drove into this restaurant. You wanted to review some sort of sandwich. You took the order, and after the young girl, maybe in her mid-20s, maybe 21, 22 years old, she gave you the food. After she walked away, you said something very insulting about her. This child. You're an old man. Well, Why would you insult a child? Charlie, you a just child. said prior she was 20 or 21, and then when it comes from the big high spot, is. make me make I me look bad. I never insult you, anyone you, like you that. say that this she's a child. Now, list. is she 20, 21, hey, or is she a child? I want to go fucking back to your... Watch, I want them to watch go your back language. Her. Watch your um, language. You, you, you Charlie. Can, can you put him down for a second? Charlie. A young girl. Charlie. You insulted a young girl. All right. We'll go look into it, okay, buddy? And if I did, You're I'll turn myself in. I'll go ahead and... Seth, will you handcuff sniped. me and take me downstairs, down to the downtown, if I if I insulted a girl? Uh, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Bubba, I just want to say that he said he's very positive. He would never insult anybody trying to make a living, but he did start off by saying that uh, all of us are a bunch of idiots. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a daily telethon. We got to keep the lights on somehow. So don't forget PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. All at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Bubba the Love Sponge. We'll be back after this. Just fucked it. I just wish. I just wish he could get through without fucking like cussing and and blowing it. Well, he can't though because he's not all there. Gary learned how to do that. Gary used to drop f bombs and and curse all the time. Yeah. So if Gary can learn, why can't you yeah. learn? Fucking. Nothing. Thank you, Bubba's cankles. Bubba, you uh, you you said uh, you multicolored or you fucking slow multicolored fingernail. Okay. What's wrong with that? Because it took forever for you to get your fit. I know, but like, what's wrong with that? That's not a slur. No. I don't you think f- he said that you slurred her. I think he said you insulted you her. You fucking slow, multicolored fingernail girl. Okay. And I think I waited, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. I think that might be appropriate. And the burger sucks. I think I might have nailed it. Do you think she's the one that made the food, Bubba? I'm just teasing you, by the way. I thank you, Bubba's Kangles, for the snipe. Yeah, thank you for the snares. And 5,000 bits. And the 5,000 bits, say it, let me. And the 5,000 bits. So All right, now, now, Brian, this is where you need to step up. You need to get onto the people on YouTube, because I look at that thumb up to fucking watch ratio. I mean, that is, that's borderline embarrassing. You got, I mean, a lot of people I mean, It's worse on Rumble than it is YouTube, but I'll get on the YouTubers. You YouTubers, get to fucking thumbing. Stop being... Pussies. If you don't like this, then you essentially support Biden. Okay? If I don't get a thumbs up from you, you're essentially saying, I love Biden. There I didn't we go. say that. I didn't say, whoa, whoa, you need to burn a fucking time out. That's not what I said. No, that's what I'm saying. No. That if you don't like this show, you're essentially endorsing Joe Biden for president. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I said. He knows how to work it, though. He's a fucking dick. Break the record with the thumbs up, man. Well, yeah. I was going to say, a lot of people in the chat, they they, they try to 225, fight. 225, just like that. <laughs> They're all about, they tell really people to thumb it all the time. Yeah, thumb it. You know who doesn't thumb this show? Charlie. Charlie and the Psycho Factory. Charlie's calling fucking Steel Toe Joe. 
So yeah. I know Jim PCL, but did you give me a fucking thumb in or not? Now don't get, listen, don't get fucking, you know. No, no, it's the only way these people learn, Bubba. You gotta talk to them <laughs> stiff. Like their daddy did when they were young. <laughs> I will get them to cut me a switch. Oh, man. What a fucking idiot. Scott Erickson, stop listening to the show. You're banned. Ban him, Blummy. Scott Erickson, done. I just did my thumbs up because of Brian. There you yeah. go. Doing a thumbs up and then undoing a thumbs up means that not only do you support Biden, but you also support the trans girls in, in athletics. All right? <laughs> oh, so Jesus think about Christ. that next time, Scott Erickson, <laughs> wanting my daughter to have to play against a man in soccer. Yeah, I didn't know, Mitch. I, I just was watching the Weather Channel, actually, nationally, and it said Florida prepares for bit major storms. More weather porn. Here's the deal. We hit a thousand thumbs during this show, and I will vote for Trump in the next <laughs> one. That is it. You gonna take a picture of your ballot? That's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll break the law and I'll take a you, picture. Will of you your have, ballot. Will you actually take a picture of your ballot? More to eat more coleslaw. Yep. Don't tell anybody that Trump's gonna win the state anyway. Shh. Thousand. We gotta hit a thousand, though. I ain't joking. So you better get on your multiple accounts. Call your cousins. I'll get in the ballot booth with him and make sure it's Trump. Yep. And Rick Scott. Sure, why not? And, and I'll vote, well, I don't know. I, well, are you voting for recreational weed? Uh, yeah. Okay, you better. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, writing in recreational all other drugs. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to actually put in some little cat, little catty... Yeah, I mean, let let it ride, man. Let it run. Let it rip. Let him let him eat. If you, if you now the way you stop it is you make really draconian laws if you if you break the law while you're on said drugs. So like, you go you get hopped up on on cocaine and you go and uh, rob a bank. It's immediate execution. Oh, I think you got a PayPal from Marcy Ellen. Okay. Hey, let me. Yes. You want a drink? Somebody just oh, reported a tornado in Warsaw. Is that, that accurate, Nug? Is that the bartender? Yeah, oh yeah. Are you like uh, Woody Harrelson and uh, Cheers? Do we have any chilled champagne back there? Yeah. Is yeah, that... is that the Dom Perignon? Is that some... for the... is I got some Dom. Some likes? Yeah, you, you got a bottle of Dom? Dom? I got Dom, yeah, yeah. Let me get it. Fuck. How much is a bottle of Dom? It's about 295 oh, I got it. It's 500 It's 500 <laughs> It's like a card. It comes with a pack of cards. <laughs> <laughs> I get a value pack of uh, prism. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> I'll give you bottle service. You deserve it. I'm actually very excited for UFC 300 this week. Oh, that's right. He's going to fucking going Vegas, Bubba. Where in your orange? What airline? It wasn't yeah. what airline, uh, Brian? Breeze, baby. Breeze. He's going on Breeze. When? This I weekend. Leave, I leave tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. He's going on Breeze. Have you even? Did you even know that was an airline? Breeze. Great Breeze. prices. Yeah, it's a it's a wind powered airline. He's, he's flying. <laughs> all the like, uh, this is your captain. There's no breeze today, so we're, we're, we're off. We're gonna we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna uh, You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. After the show, make sure to check out BubbaArmyHQ.com. It's all things Bubba 24-7. And now back to the BRN. Operation Pigmentation. Uh, the latest of our podcasts to go up in our in our podcasting world. Anywhere you get your podcast. Go to iHeart. I don't care. Go to iTunes, Apple, Spotify. Direct, direct on the main source, if you like. Go to Bubba Army HQ. That's got everything. It also has, like, levels that you can also subscribe and get our entire archive. Everything we've ever done from 98 Rock to yesterday. You can download it. You can stream it. There's all types of different situations. Like, let me, I don't think it would be physically, like, cape. I don't think you, I don't think you could, I think you could listen to the show every morning or every afternoon or download it however and then try to get a couple more shows in if you're truly like 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 maybe joe the supermarket or something like that somebody that's just absolutely insane over the program 
you have to would be you have to be a member of Bubba Army HQ, be a lieutenant. But I don't think you could live. I mean, like I mean, we have what. 10,000 shows up. I don't know. There's a ton. It, it, I don't think you could live. I don't think you could live. No. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think, think you have enough time in life to be able to hear all of our stuff. How about that as a marketing ploy? There's that you'll die before you get to the end of our catalog. I think Netflix is just, just going to steal that from you. No, you'll die before you get to the end of our catalog. I mean, that's strong actually. It really is. There's just no way for you to humanly listen. Unless you like, you would play it while you're sleeping through your earphones and count that, but you can't. You have to be conscious. That's right. Hello, who's this? Hello. Yes, you're on the air. By the way, hey, Shannon Bob, Shannon Burke nine fifteen today, and Babyface just threw out a very very shocking revelation about voting for Donald Trump. We'll get to that momentarily. Uh, prior to this beautiful phone call, hello, who's this? Hey, my name's Tom. I'm um, out of Orlando. Are you on? Are you listening to us on the Big Flame Throwing One Hundred Three One? I'm listening on the One Hundred Three One, and I'm headed to Ocala, so it cuts out. So I've got you on the app as soon as it cuts off terrestrial. Or listen, right on where, oh, hold on. Or when you get into Ocala, as you're as, as we're getting fuzzy on One Hundred Three One, flip over to One Hundred One One, and that's they, and they that, both go fuzzy where I'm at. It sucks. One Hundred One One. I have the app. Okay. All right. So then just go right to the app. That's fine. 101, so, uh, 101.1 is it does kind of suck. I will I will tell you it's kind of a weak signal. Sorry. But with your cash wheel, boss man, why don't you throw like a three second, a five second, a ten second, and then a fifteen second max on Ooh. there? And when they spin the wheel, they get to pick the time they're in there. So it's not they can't say, well, you only limited me. No, you spun the wheel. That's your call. So you're saying have a separate wheel, like I proposed, that once you got you in the cash cube, you spun as to how many seconds you get. Yep, with yeah. a maximum of 15. I like that, Bubba. We might go with that, buddy. We might go with that. Just to All truly right, be hey, fair. Y'all have a great day, man. Thank you. Well, I mean, I mean he, that, he, that, he's, he's saying like, you know, a guy that got 15 seconds, because that's what you just naturally win, that's the prize, he would bitch. Man, he should be happy as hell that he gets to be in for 15 seconds. Because if you further water it down, that now you're you're looking at a 5 and a 10, you know, I'm saying, like, I think we just stick with 15. I don't think 15 will kill us. Yeah, and if after the, and, 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 it does, we just move it down. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to stick with 15 right now because I don't want to have another another uh, element of the, uh, the, okay, you spin the wheel. Okay, now, now you got to spin another wheel. Just going to get a log jam. You know, there's going to be, I mean, listen, let me, I expect there's going to be lines of people trying to do this. Oh, that's yeah. why we need you there for security. Well, in case that people guy, gets unruly, what, I, and I got to have all this cash on me. Is the boob what, job going to be in there? What that I, guy, I, I still not have got a ruling on that, and I got I got to get a ruling on that because that's a big. Oh yeah, that is a big, it's big, dead. big deal. Not only is there ten thousand dollars cash in there, you know, but there's a you know an eight thousand dollar boob job. What's the ruling? I, I, I Dan's. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to prod Dan. As Dan's like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I guess it's legally. It has to be worded a certain way. I guess what that guy was uh, trying to say was on the wheel in the slivers. You put three second, five second, ten second, fifteen seconds on that. the main wheel. Yeah. So there, there wouldn't a be a separate wheel. wheel. Yeah, yeah. Screw that. Let's just go fifteen, please. Yeah. Most people are going to be drunk. They're not going to know what they're doing anyway. <laughs> Spencer, Spencer, $20. And we're going to say, there's a couple rules. One, you cannot touch the ground because a lot of dollars gather down there. So you got to yep. just grab what's in the air. And then two, you can't trap money against the wall. So that's it. I mean, you know, that, that that's, you know, you can't. And you know what, Lummy? We might allow them to do that. Or you think, or they might the, be able to get a big haul on us. The so other way you can. Remember, Rhett? Jesus. Bubba, the other way you can get them is to get a Bubba Army sack. And it's they have to actually get the money into the sack in order for it to count. So it's whatever they get into the sack. And then that's, you stop them from just catching it and grabbing it against their body because it doesn't count until it's in the bag. And then you can give them more time. Mm. It's a really good idea. See, again, should, I have to test run we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna test have to run. We're going to have to test run it again. Let me. We've already done how many test runs? Three. Yeah, three. If, yeah. if somebody walks away with fifteen bucks, they're going to be happy. Rudy, 
twenty dollars. Yeah. I, I mean, mean it's I mean, free right. money. I mean, you're right. If you get like if you let's say you'd get fifteen bucks, you get a drink in the stadium, that's, and all I had to do was I, like I, some stupid YouTube channel. That's, I'm joking. That, 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 no, but you're right. right. The, the average guy's like, listen, okay, all I got to do is follow and like some stupid YouTube channel that I may never go to uh, uh, ever again. But oh my god, I'm in the cash cube. Okay, uh, I, I you know what? I made twenty two bucks. Yeah, I uh, mean, you know what? That's pretty cool. That buys my hot dog and drink. Right? Right. Or d- does something. I made 22 bucks, and all I had to do was follow this dumbass washed-up DJ on his YouTube channel. <laughs> and realistically, if I want to be a dick, I, I I can unfollow. He doesn't know. So I mean, right? Yeah. Are you going to have I mean, like, some Miller Lite kegs out there, too, for him while they're waiting? I, they can I have could, a beer? I could. I think that's a great idea, too. <clears throat> you know? You no, ID them, and then not, you give them a beer. Not, not a keg, but instead I can get... Miller Lite, just buy like the Luma can. Like you know, it's it's a lot more manageable if you have cans and rather than a, a keg, because a keg you know gets foamy and just it's 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 a lot harder to transport. You know, but those pony kegs are you know hundred hundred pounds, and then you got to get ice buck. You know, you got to get a you got to get, get a thing, you, you got to get the ice the, full. Yeah, yeah, then yeah you no, gotta, it's a whole thing. Then you got to get right. the, the tap. You know, the, the keg tap, and, you know, a lot of the beer spills, and it ends up being a sticky situation. Whereas if you just had, like, you know, 10 cases of Miller Lite Aluma cans on ice, and you handed a guy, that that's far more manageable. They're going to be gone fast. Yeah, Ron, on 20 that's on the That's the only Venmo. thing, is you get more, you get more, tr- more mileage <clears throat> out of a keg. Maybe, maybe you put, maybe, you're right, but we have a Miller, we have a deal from Miller that's free. So our oh. beer, our beer is free. Oh, okay. Las Vegas yeah. Mario so. twenty on the Venmo says, "Why don't we blindfold them and give them some more time?" I mean, yeah. Again, everybody, let's just no. I think everybody. You, let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody from Las Vegas Mario to the phone callers, just stop calling in and trying to refine our cash cube. Let us take it out to our first event with the rules being that they can stay in for fifteen seconds, they can grab whatever they can grab. The only two, the only really one rule there is, is you can't grab anything from your knees below, below your knees, which would be on the ground. But love you, like in fifteen seconds, they're not going to be able to really air dam. I don't think that much. No. And uh, I think the average guy might get forty, fifty bucks. And I think the average guy or girl, and and maybe Brian, you put on, do you do you put on the the wheel free a free beer on the wheel, or are you just handing out free beer in general? I just think if you have a really long line. That uh, the only way to maintain that line would be to have something for them in the line. Right. Oh, trust me. You've been to a box game? People wait for like uh, 10, 15 minutes just for uh, stupid uh, yeah, sunglasses. But, but this sounds like it's going to take. Well, I guess we, most people aren't getting into the. Correct. The right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to think, think probably, you know, you probably, probably say, Brian, say 15% get in the cube. You know, everything else is just going to be, hey, show us your phone. Okay, you're following us. Here, spin the wheel. Oh, sunglasses. Here you go. Thank you. All right, show us your following us. Okay, great. Spin the wheel. Oh, koozie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And th- then the cash cube is then, but but then again, you also have to understand, Brian. We're also streaming this live on YouTube, so we're it's creating content as well. So we're creating content. We're live on YouTube while making people follow us on YouTube. I think it's a. I think we could literally. I talked to the guy that was doing something similar at the Gator Nationals. His name's Big Joe. Big Joe Audio out of Ocala, and all he was doing was giving away like knickknacks. Like he's noted for wearing this big thick gold chain. So they were giving away fake thick gold chains and fake, and they were giving away sunglasses, koozies, and like on the sliver. Lummy, they had um, this big six thousand dollar sound system for your car. Oh. Well, if you hit that, that just gave you a ticket for the raffle of that thing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so we we have. I, I mean, we have a mother effing. No, I mean, listen, you can sit here and get and, and be a dick all you want, but not even Brian, probably the, you know, the biggest nerd here, would <laughs> probably go watch a cash cube. Like, cash cubes just gravitate people. Yeah, it's fun. I like going to Chuck E. Cheese on the weekend, just stare at the little hurricane thing that the tickets go around in. It's a good time. So, anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello. They stare at the little kids. Uh, but it's oh, not the it's, ticket thing. Oh, okay. Let me, let me, it looked like it was on hold. No, it, it was not. I'm nope. so sorry. Sorry. So, Babyface, um, he is such a, one hell of an employee. 
And he knows that he pushes me beyond my limits at times. But then he comes up with some unbelievable, phenomenal stuff uh, as well to help the product. And so he just blurts out out of nowhere because we're trying to get, listen, like, 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 like on YouTube. We'll have like a thousand people watching, but only like 250 have given us a thumbs up. Does that mean that, you know, 800, 800 people hate us? And the, and the only 200 people that are watching out of the thousand are the only ones that really appreciate us and everybody else just hates us or takes us for granted. Like we're that whore that's always going to be there. Macho made a good point. You can't even thank us. You have to log in to hit a thumbs up and some people just don't log in. Oh, okay. Well, but when you get on them, when you get on them, mm-hmm. they will participate. We're up to 377. So, we started at 190. So on YouTube specifically, youtube.com forward slash the Bubba Army. Brian said, and I did, this is completely, this is very shocking. He's like, if for some reason we could get a thousand thumbins, I would vote for Donald Trump. That's what he said. Nobody made him say it. Nobody goaded him in to say it. He just arbitrarily spit that out. Can somebody second me on that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it worked. And so, and he's like, I, even though it's illegal, I'll take a picture of my ballot. I'm, when, when I come into the show after I voted for Donald Trump, regardless if Donald win or, wins or not, I will show you my phone. I will vote for Donald Trump. Now, man, damn, Brian, I mean, we're at 400 already. Can you imagine if we got a thousand thumbings? Would you really, honest to I'm, God? I'm a man of my word. I, I will do it. I'm regretting it now because I should have made it a harder target, but I did what I did. I said what I said, and I will eat, wow. eat it. I will eat it. I mean, and is that, I mean, does that not really, really go against every fiber of your body? I'm physically ill thinking about it, but... Uh, <laughs> no, for real. Good. Like, I mean, because you're the kind of guy... You're the kind of guy... I'm the kind of guy be like, I ain't going to vote because my vote don't count. You're the kind of guy be like, I'm voting because my vote election, cause my vote counts. The first election I ever participated in, I was old enough to participate in, was 2000. It absolutely counted, sort of. So, I mean, it, you know... It, yeah, you're the kind of guy that takes this real seriously. You're the kind of guy that's going to go look at all the amendments. <laughs> you're the kind of guy that's going to wade through all the at, legislation. I, so seriously that it's up I, re- <laughs> I researched mosquito control, if I can, yeah. find anything about the person. I mean, he, he researches all the school board members, all the judges as to whether they should be reelected or reassigned, uh, you know, all the amendments. Just he researched... I mean, he... You... you it, but he's research. the guy we ask. He's the guy right. we ask what to vote for because right. we're dumb. It's, it's become kind of his role for us less, you know, like, uh, we're not. I'm not going to ask him who to vote for for president. I'm just not. No, the amendments, though. I mean, but sure. Yeah, but a, boy, he is amendment Andy. I'm telling you that right now. When we need to know what, like, hey, like, what does amendment two really mean, Brian? Do you put yes or no on it? Because sometimes a no is a yes, and sometimes yes is a no on some of these state amendments or referendums that they put on. And Brian will know. He'll break it down and say, well, when you say yes, you're saying, you know, they can do this, this, and this, and this. And so, so anyway. We're up to 441, and I am definitely regretting it. There's a, you're going to vote for Donald Trump. I oh, my so. God. Maybe you'll have a like a kidney stone or something. We can end the show early, and we won't get there. I mean, let me. We're at 440. <laughs> we're at, yeah. By the way, YouTube.com forward slash The Bubba Army. Once you sign on, and if you haven't, have, and if you don't have a YouTube account, go get one. Yeah, and, hit and a then, thumbs up, and then hit, and then go follow me. It's at the Bubba Army, and then you just while you're watching this beautiful broadcast, uh, there's a little thumbs up option. I mean, you literally have to be Ray Charles in order to miss it. It's right in the middle. You can't miss it, and you hit you hit the click on that. And uh, and but we're almost at. Did you see the Did you see the hit right now? Four fifty seven. It's going up fast. I'm at four fifty eight. So Brian, I'm, I'm at four sixty seven. Brian throws out there. I'm. I'll vote for Trump uh, if we get a thousand. I didn't think we would, but I, I should have said fifteen hundred, and I regret it. Now. But you didn't, bud. But I didn't. And, and I. You're, and you know it. what? And you're. Will, and you're a, a man, man of your word. Absolutely. You're a man of your word. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Let me, I guess Dan or I guess somebody's going to be getting a hold of you in the next day or so about the parking with regards to the Kenny Chesney deal. Yeah, uh, Dr. Dan if we, If there's any way we could have it just like we had it for the, what was the Bucks Packer game? Yes. If we could have it just like that where we have, you know, up, we could bring the uh, smart car for support and then bring the cream machine over there and then have the, you know, big red making food. 
What, what's that? Big Red making food. Big, big maybe Big Red making <laughs> the food. Kidding, big red. I mean, make it all. I mean, just make it <laughs> a real big deal. Do. Yeah. And let me. We, we're going to have to get signage and stuff about. You know, we're going to have to probably. We need to probably early next week have a meeting about this. Yes. With regards to like, we need to get some signage made, which we might need Pinecrest to do that. You know, we have to kind of have With the rules of the. We, and we probably yeah. need to have like uh, some type of printed QR code. You know, or something that people can just hit that, and then once they, they get do to like the giant QR code, something like that. We have yeah. to have something like yeah, that. Yeah, if you want to hit the spin the wheel, you got to scan this, and that's on the big sign, the QR code. Right. You yep. do a new bubble head too. So we can. We need to probably have a little meeting about that. Okay. That sounds good. They're trying to distance themselves oh, from Arizona's oh, oh, Supreme oh, no, Court. Republicans across the country are rhetorically trying to distance themselves from Arizona's Supreme Court ruling that upholds a near total abortion ban. But late today, Republican state lawmakers in Arizona blocked efforts by Democrats. Good. Oh, hold on. Not good. To <laughs> overturn that civil war. See, I'm, I'm a Republican, but <clears throat> my sweet spot for abortion is 22 weeks. So what do you call me? A Republican that supports rights, individual rights. And could you, li- like, like, could you live with that, Brian? Like, let's say you and I are <laughs> we're big-time senators, and, uh, you know, half of my constituents are saying, let's lock it down to zero with no se- special circumstances and blah, blah, blah. You're saying, let's leave it wide open. I mean, women can even have kids and have a, have them and decide that they didn't want them. 60th month is fine to me. <laughs> you know, you know I'm, so, a, I'm that post-term So abortion. if we have, yeah. we, you know, you know, I, <laughs> so we, my five-year-old, you know, I, whatever. You, you, your assistant talks to my assistant and we, uh, I go over to your office and we have a little bit of lunch catered in because the people, you know, the people of America are paying our lunch and we're like, uh, I'm like, Brian, let's, let's go ahead and hammer this out. Let's, let's be able to go back to our constituents and say we can, you know, join hands and and cross uh, cross the aisle and f- what's best for Amer- for the American public and you want uh, let it eat, you know, 60th month, you can kill the baby when it's two. You know, you want that. And most of my numb nuts want zero weeks even if Uncle El Bud ra- rapes you, you just still can't do it. Could 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 you, could you could you could you go? Could you live listen, bud, could you live with 22 weeks? Could you live with that? Yeah, sure. I mean, I mean that's what they, but that's as long what, as there's an exception for the mother's uh, life. Uh, yeah, we can we can put the we can put the pork on there all we want, but I mean I'm gonna go back to my boys and say, listen, man, we've got to be we've got to be level headed about this. We can't make it zero. We can't like just say you can't have an abortion according to an 1864 draconian law. But our but but the but the liberals want to go you know full blown the kids too and you can kill them so let's just all meet at twenty two weeks because twenty two weeks is before the, the the third trimester and it's still like the size of an orange so it ain't that big a deal you know, but when it becomes the size of a Nerf bar a, a ball it's a little bit bigger you know that's a little bigger of a, of a more traumatic if you will to that poor little baby. So so Brian can I go back and tell him that I got the uh, the liberals that are saying twenty two weeks sure okay perfect. For era law. You know, Caitlin Clark, she's the hottest thing going, 22, you know? <laughs> 22. Citizen sure. Nancy Cordes has more on the political uproar. The Republicans are so stupid. Most Republicans want some type of number more than six weeks. They, most, I mean, unless they you're seem talking, to be uh, pretty happy with 15 weeks across the country. In fact, that was the law in Arizona. Right. I mean, it's better. That's better than this. Yeah. Angry. Oh. Let down. Frustrated. <laughs> Anxiety in Arizona tonight after the state supreme court upheld. Listen, a- this is to the Republicans as to what illegal immigration is to the Democrats. They both can't figure it out. And if you could figure it out, you'd instantaneously get that much more support. Why are you being so stupid? Why are the Republicans being so stupid and making this so evangelical and locking this down to just va- base? And, and listen, the states that had the trigger laws where they went to referendum, I think every every state that took this to referendum that had trigger laws that locked it down to zero if Roe v. Wade was ever overturned, I think every one of those those states were red, and every one of those states, they sent it to ballot, and every one of those states end up kicking it back saying that we're going to have something available for women to get abortions, whether it's nine weeks, 16 weeks, whatever, but it's better than zero. So, like, 
when they put it to the American public to vote, even in very red situations. Kansas, Kentucky, we've yeah. seen it. Ohio. Yeah. Louisiana. L- Louisiana. You can't get any redder than Louisiana. You can get redder, but, but <clears> that's not pretty much. red. I mean, that's pretty damn much a sunburn. And I mean, Louis- <laughs> Louisiana is more like, man, we can't, we can't have zero weeks here. We got to have at least like 12 or 13. You know, what if... The uncles, the daddy, takes us that long to figure it out. The baby need to be on. An 1864 law that bans nearly all abortions and criminalizes those who perform the procedure. It's really upsetting that our politicians who are supposed to represent us are doing this. Democrats protested on the floor. You know what? I'd be, I'd be this guy right, right, this girl right here with my head down on the table, <laughs> saying like, we are, we're, we are not going to be able to get this handled. This is New politicians are wild. They are. From the state legislature today, and with swing state Arizona up for grabs in November, some Republicans. Are so like, like I'm like Republicans. You guys got your ass kicked in Arizona last time when you had it rung in. You've always been able to ring in uh, Arizona red, always. And because you're making some real idiotic stuff, you know, laws, you're gonna. It's gonna be flippy floppy at best. Meanwhile, if you just come in, be sensible about abortion. And then you can get the Democrats and all the illegals they're letting in through Arizona. Now you got them. You got something. You got them on the ropes. But they're like, okay, fine, illegal immigration's one way, but you got uh, you know abortion locked down right down to zero. Most women hate that. And you've now you've lost your edge, idiots. They did have Slamming a bipartisan bill on too. immigration. What's that? I said they did have a bipartisan bill on immigration that the Senate shot down. Yeah, it was but including horrible. former again, bipartisan. So again, you they can't, like it, they can't but agree it was to nothing. Bipartisan. President Donald Trump, who just two days ago said abortion should be left to the states, today he said Arizona went too far. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be. I mean, I know you hate him. Uh, I know you hate him, Brian. But that's the the smart thing to say is to say, hey, um, I'm going to leave it to the states. That's insulation number one. And then two, hey, I don't. I think this is unreasonable, and they need to, you know, they need to open it up a little bit. That's saying a whole bunch with really not saying a whole bunch. Right. I mean, politically, it's the stance he has to take because it is. And, it it does, is, and I don't think it's it right. a loser for him, and so he has to stay away from it as much as he can. It is a loser for him, but I think he handles the loser is about. He takes the L about as good as he can, because if he said, "Hey, I stand behind." The zero weeks deal, they, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, then, you know, he's he's not doing himself any justice. President Biden, who has vowed to restore Roe v. Wade. Hi, this is Joe, and I want you to be able to do an abortion clear up to the kids three. That's what us liberals think. Was asked today what his message is to Arizonans. Elect me. I'm in the 20th, 20th century. 21st century. Oh, yes, oh, oh my God. Oh. Brian, nothing to do with Brian, him either. Brian, help me, help me feel sorry for the guy, Brian. Please. He's the only president who wears sunglasses. Oh, my God. This. I mean, Brian. Come on. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's, 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 let's dance, dance, dance with me, Brian, and say you, you're embarrassed for your guy. I'm embarrassed. Of course, Brian just lowered it to 750. Yeah, your guy. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed <laughs> for my guy. Of course I'm embarrassed by the candidate that I handpicked. So, <laughs> my, my, so now hold on. Did you, did I you, said did, this hold is on. my did, ideal did, person. Hold on. Dude, Trump let, won Florida let, last time. Let, let me ask you a question, Brian. Yes, sir. Did you vote for Joe Biden? Yes. Then that's your guy. I mean, I mean reluctantly. I, that was, but but that's your no, guy. It's, it's, but that's it. Wouldn't be unreasonable to say. So if I gave that's you two, your guy. if I gave you two terrible choices, <laughs> Bubba, and you chose the one that you thought was less terrible of the two, does that all of a sudden make you a fan of the, if of you the own, one that if you, you chose? If you only have two to, to choose from, and you choose one of the two, then that's your guy. You may not like his policy. You may think that he crapped the bed once he got there. You may think a bunch of different things. Okay, Bubba, but you, that's you, your guy. You got to get. Get rid of Erica or Bella, and whichever one you get rid of. Well, well then clearly why, you didn't like Bella. Why, you know what? Listen, I'm just don't, saying. No, no, it's you're just, just, it's a real just, Sophie's I'm choice. I'm just saying, like, don't try to make this in Bubba versus Erica Bella terms, dumbass. This is your guy. You voted for him. Just breaking it down for you. Bubs. Just like Trump. If, if, if two stories ago you would have gone, there's your guy making an ass out of himself. I'd have to say, yeah, well, I voted for him. Yeah, man. So this is this Brian. I know you put your head down because you're like, man, my guy is just I mean, so stupid. Biden's in the 20th he's, century. He's, 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 he he is. Is. You're That's like, the problem. You're, you're like, oh my god, my god, I feel so sorry for my guy. <laughs> Today, what his message is to Arizonans? Elect me. I'm in the 20th, 20th century, 
21st century. The controversy. <laughs> you don't even know what he said. You gotta think like CBS is liberal, <clears throat> and even they played that. Yeah. The law could go into effect in Arizona this summer, forcing patients to travel to neighboring states with less restrictive laws. At the Camelback Family Planning Clinic in Phoenix, phones were ringing off the hook today. Calls. Hello, from- Family Planning. Yeah, man. My my sister's seven and a half weeks. What's up? Is, is she going to be able to? Get- we don't want the baby because it's Uncle Elbuds. So we got to get rid of it. Nope. I'm sorry. You. We have a zero Willie here. No, we're 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 we're, sh- we're ba- if you have if you're the. Hello, camel, camel, camel toe abortion clinic. If you're clinic. camel toe abortion clinic and you can't do abortions anymore, how does camel toe stay alive? You, uh, I'm not just treating STDs, maybe. You, you get a cash cube and give away some cubes. <laughs> <laughs> and women concerned about abortion access. As long as we can pr- practice medicine here, we will. She's saying, as long as we can suck them out here, we're good. Oh, goodness. Continue to Take it easy. provide services, whether that means that people need ultrasounds to see how far along. Now, are these the, are these the instruments that they use when conducting conducting said gimmick? I think it's just That's an ultrasound wand, buddy. Yeah. How many uh, prenatal appointments did you go to with uh, <laughs> with uh, your, your 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 chick? I'm pulling them off the stage. I'm asking. All of them. He's like, is that what they mm-hmm. suck the baby out Hold with? On. You want to hear? You want to hear this? You want me to face you, bitch? I want to be faced. All of them. Okay. And did every you- one of them. I didn't go to him because I wanted to. I went him because Nancy Harris went. Bye bye. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I know you don't like this girl, and you're not gonna have. You're not gonna have to. You know. You guys aren't together even while we're fighting this battle. Even while that kid's in that belly, you're fighting a battle because she's already put you on notice. She already wants... Oh, she Jesus. Already, Can I send Coco? No, listen. She goes, so let me tell you something. When they're building a case against you, that you're not a good dad and you are the guy on the radio, because that's what they're trying to say. You know, Cliff Curry, now that guy, he'll, 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 he's going to bring up your radio stuff and everything. Well, we're going to be able to say, you're right, Your Honor. He's uh, he's pretty crazy on the radio and everything. But uh, he went to every prenatal clinic, every Lamaze. I went to every prenatal in every Lamaze class with her, knowing that I'm not going to be with her. I just got to be there for 24 hours. 24 <laughs> hours of Lamaze? Give me a break. They are to see if they do need to go to a different state. Arizona's highest court warned yesterday that doctors who perform the procedure could face between two to five years in prison, though the state's Democratic attorney general says she won't prosecute them. Yeah. Oh, d- hey, hold on, Andrew, Andrew Warren. Warren yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, Mama. I mean, because we got shady ass governors that will say that will absolutely t- remove you from office. As an elected official, if you say, I, hey, listen, I'm not going to get possibly Andrew Warren got got thrown out of his office, and he didn't even really make it that big of a hub. It was just like an email chain. It was like, you know, if this particular situation might present itself in Hillsborough County, I may not prosecute. Wait, is there, the there governor was, there, a Democrat, too? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. You are now having physicians who are scared to do their job that they did without batting an eye before the- So if the governor is... Democratic, do they have a Democratic majority in the House and the Senate? Because if they don't, then this is not going to go anywhere, right? Overturn a row. The uproar in Arizona is reigniting this issue at a national level, with Trump insisting today that if elected, he would not sign a federal abortion ban if Congress sent one to his desk. But Democrats cast major doubt on that claim, noting that he has repeatedly endorsed a ban at 20 weeks in the past, Nora. 20 weeks, we'll take it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty reasonable. I mean, as, if as there, much if as there's some exceptions built in, that's a pretty reasonable but, stance. But I mean, if they're trying to bury, bury Donald Trump right, Trump right here, I think this is, I don't think anybody gets mad at this right here. Listen. We endorsed a ban at 20 weeks in the past, Nora. Hey, so Donald Trump endorsed a, bra- uh, a ban of 20 weeks. That's, I'll take it. I mean, it's not far off from what I think most Democrats would yeah, be comfortable I think, yeah, with. Yeah, I think that that's, listen, my, my, my being comfortable with was only two weeks from that. I'll take 20. With certain, you know, for me, it's with certain exceptions built in, certain, you know. Yeah. But, you know. You can't just draw a, a line in the sand and be like, that's no, it. No, no, it has to be like, you know, if, yeah. it, if the mother is at, at risk, if. There, if she rape, uh, crime, incest, Uncle uh, Alba. Major birth issues. You hours notes. after the Arizona Supreme Court. So this what this is, is this is just like what happened at the United States Street Supreme Court. The United States Street Supreme Court got the majority, conservative majority, 
And then the first thing that they passed. How'd they get that? They got that because some bitch um, wouldn't retire fast enough when uh, when Biden, I'm sorry, when Barack Obama told her to so that he could get a new one in there. But then who put in the ones that, I don't, that did it? Trump, I'm just asking Trump, for a friend. Trump put in two, oh. and that's what two or three. He and, got three in, and that and was now, that was the flip. Exactly. And yeah. so, so when you, but I hold mean, on, it was all based on um, Barack Obama told that old Ginsburg bitch or something like this. So you're going to blame Barack Obama for Donald Trump putting in three justices Let that me ask you a overturned question. Roe v. Hold Wade? On, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Is it not been documented that that Barack Obama went to one of these old bags and said, you need to retire out because your health is failing, and if we don't do it while I'm the president, then the conservatives, then when you die on the conservative watch, we're not going to have well, the leisure of being able to handpick who I want in there, which is Democrat, and she refused to, re- she refused to quit. Then she died, and Barack Obama was 100% right. Am well, no, I right? Because if, if she had quit, McConnell was blocking them from getting any uh, confirmation hearing anyways, because there was a seat available, and it was blocked by McConnell because he said it's an election year, which is ridiculous. And then as soon as it was an election year on the other side, all of a sudden it was okay because it was his guy in power. So if she had resigned then it would have been two seats up for whoever won. great i don't and know how so it all worked out i just know. took the chance great and it worked out for the republicans i'm well, not happy and, and about it no it's where we're at you i'm know? not this happy is what, about this it this is what we got i'm not happy about yes, it it's the fault it, of what I'm, we're going through i'm not happy about it and i'm telling you the first one of their first big hot shot rulings is they went right to roe v wade knowing they had the votes and they overturned it and they and realistically they may have made the right decision on it and that being, you know what, it needs to go to the state level and people can actually control it better on the state level because we have a better opportunity of replacing a congressperson or a senator or a con- yeah, rather than we do the pre- the president the president and and the supreme court do not need to have this on their plate. This needs to be on the state level. Because I, we can't control the president and the and the United States Supreme Court as easily as we can control our local constituents. Am I right? So you find out what your local constituents that are that are how they feel about the matter, your congressman and your senator, and you have an opportunity to make that change based on what they're you know how they feel, and so you can make an it's easier to make a change on the local level than it is on the federal level. Correct. Hello? Correct. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, absolutely. It's, you know, federal so, laws are impossible. I think the federal government needs to get out of the abortion business. Look, I've blamed the Democrats for a long time. They never tried to pass and codify Roe with any with any real sense of effort um, nationally to make it the law of the land rather than to rely on a court case that could always be overturned. I, I've blamed the Democrats for that. I've, I've publicly stated that they were using the issue to fundraise constantly. And that's the that's the that's the game we're playing. We're being played by both sides of the aisle constantly. Yeah, with I the agree. immigration issue, we're being played by both sides of the aisle. Still with the abortion issue, we're being played by both sides of the aisle. And we're just you know happy. It's like the W. Politics is like the WWE. <laughs> Have we gone thirty, Lummy? Yes, sir. Okay, you want to wrap it up? Politics just like the WWE. Roman Reigns finally gets defeated. Yeah, baby face takes your chair to the face. It's good to go. Baby face gets juiced the hard way. Yes, please. <laughs> if you want 24 7 on demand, Bubba and the crew, go to BubbaArmyHQ.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. I was like waiting for your comment. Yeah. Well, me had to fill in with a yes, of course. We're at 690, Brian. Yeah, take it easy. I don't need to talk about that. Brian. You're going to vote for Donald Trump, anyways. Brian. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. But he's making it a a show gimmick, and we appreciate it, Brian. Glad your vote's over, too. We're in the entertainment business. Mm hmm. So you excited for UFC 300, Bubba? You're not a big UFC guy, huh? Is it too late for you? 
No, is it is it going on this Saturday? Yeah, I'll watch it. Well, it's on pay per view. Mm. Mm. Don't know about that then. Uh -huh. I'll watch it. Eighty dollars a copy. And you sit at ringside. No, I got a really awesome deal on. I've got a uh, private table for four at the top of the first concourse nice. with waiter service and all you can eat and drink. Where do they put those at now? At T-Mobile Arena, it's at oh, the top. Okay. They've they've got like twelve of these tables at the top of the main concourse, at the first level. So I'm right over the first section of seats. Well, there's four, then there's the first section, and I'm actually like right here, on like the third to last row. But we have our own little like roped off yeah. area with a table with a TV, so we can get instant replays at our table of the fights, and like we can watch. Uh, What's that? No, I just reached out to the ticket rep, the premium ticket sales person at T-Mobile Arena. And I got them before they even went on sale to the general public. No ticket fees. It was, just, it was a $50 processing fee for the table. What? What are you laughing? People just going at me? No. It's Charlie again? No, I'm not staying at the Aria this time. I couldn't get a free room there. Morning, Brian. Um, I've got the Park MGM this time, which nice. you get $150 dining credit. Yeah, man, that's not bad, man. You get $150 dining credit, $150 gaming credit, and a room for free for uh, three nights, and then uh, and no resort fee because I'm MGM Gold. So I used to go to a lot of things. I would say there's little condos there back there. Yeah, we got a tornado yeah. watch behind the MGM. Excuse me, story of the oh, yeah, townhouse yeah. and yeah. condos. I mean, the casino. Yeah. So, no, you're right, it's right there. there. You're on the yeah. property. You want me to talk to him? You want me to talk to him? Yeah, I think you're funny. But... All right, go ahead. What's up, Uncle Eric? Love the show. Hello. Who? Hello? Yes, what, what would you like to discuss that's pertinent to what was just discussed or what we're about to discuss? <laughs> what up, Lunger? It's a new phone screen. He, he's, he's already, he, he already owned it. Were you listening? He, he owned it. He said, yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, I probably shouldn't have uh, bitched about her and blah, blah, blah. The what? Did you call me the gay? The, did you call me the gay guy? <laughs> That's me. No, no. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just. I mean, you need to be more specific here. We're all very happy people. So. <laughs> yeah, that writer. What up, Herman Brown? Too. I'm a, am I a homosexual? No, I'm not a homosexual. Jay knows all about him. So, what up, Brian? So, Ellen Close. No, I'm sorry, man. Look, I'm sure you're a cute guy, Charlie, but I'm just not <laughs> interested. Are you hitting on me? Are you hitting on me right now? Because I'm flattered, but I don't swing your way, buddy. Dude, this guy no, I, you asked You asked if I was gay. I said no. You then asked if I was homosexual. I said no, and you sounded disappointed. I just, I, you know, look. Hopefully you just both him. Brian's slapping this guy around with his liberal cock. No, I appreciate that. I was so hoping that's what was happening. No uh, I, we, <laughs> it's happening. Clem is, uh, we're in a break still for another minute and 20 seconds. I don't know if he's going to get to you. Uh, but no, no, but we'll see. I'll let him know I'll let him know you want to revisit the Sonic thing again. <laughs> is that all you wanted, though? Was there something else other than the Sonic incident? <laughs> Well, no, improvise. I need to know what you're going to go to because it's there's like a flow to the show, you know? Joe, how it go? So, I mean, other than the Sonic thing, what else would you like to discuss? What the fuck? Well, that's sometimes how it works. Other times how it works is people call up with a specific thing they would like to discuss. Now, if it, but you already discussed the Sonic thing. All right, I'll put you on hold. Hold on. <coughs> yeah. There's our hold. Sorry, I was trying to catch on. Oh, 
Uh, Dre Days, my in-laws are from Pittsburgh. I'm from uh, Chicago. God, God, I've embraced Pittsburgh Brian a little Gilson's more. in chat again. Stop! Because they say good morning, Brian. <laughs> The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Miss part of the show? We got you covered at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Now back to Bubba Live Worldwide. Love me this show right here, the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. It's sponsored by BetterHelp. Again, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's B E T T E R H E L P.com. BetterHelp.com. You know, maybe that's what Charlie needs. Hmm. Charlie is a crazy, zany caller that always never has anything nice to say and wants to break us down and make us feel bad about ourselves. But maybe it's because he doesn't like himself. Maybe he needs to find more time to do that special thing, which is troll the show, to make himself feel better. Well, you know what? If you're still thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule, Charlie. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Like, you know, trolling my show all day and telling me how stupid I am and getting in arguments with my co-hosts when we're not even on the air. If that's the kind of kind of... You, you, might, you might want to visit BetterHelp.com. Forward slash BTLS. And guess what, Charlie? Get your 10% off your first month, my friend. Again, it all starts and stops with BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com. Forward slash BTLS. Uh, Brian, as you can see, uh, the thumbing and the like, the thumbs and likes uh, that are on our YouTube channel for those that are watching us on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash The Bubba Army. Brian, who's the snowflakiest, wokest, libertard. Can you say, is that a, is that a slur? Yeah, yeah. whatever. None of it matters. Right. Call me what you want. He would like never in a million years vote for Trump ever, Af- like ever. In fact, he says he's getting, you know, st- a stomach ache thinking that he may have just arbitrarily blew his mouth and without thinking. But he just during, I don't know, a couple hot mics ago when we were, uh, you know, taking a break, Brian just blurted out. Oh my God, you know, it sucks. We only got like 200 and we're 159 likes and there's like 850 people watching. Now we're at 930 and then Brian just arbitrarily blurts out, I'll vote for Donald Trump and and take a picture of my ballot to prove if we could get a thousand thumbins today. Now, in my knowing defense, that, and no, knowing that there's just like a, no way we've only gotten we've, like the most ever was like four hundred. I something. know. So you think it's a pretty solid bet because yeah. you're thinking, man, even if you double their best day, yeah, I'm going to be eight hundred. I'm good. I can. I don't have to suck the Donald D. You know, like I would never suck the Donald D. Never in a million years would I. You might be sucking the Donald D, buddy. We're at 700. And I, I have. I, yeah, 756. I'm ready to double down on this. How many new YouTube um, YouTube followers, subscribers have we been averaging a month lately? Oh, I don't know why. I mean, I, I mean. What else are you offering? About, about normal. About. Like three to 4,000. Yeah, three to 4,000. Okay. 3,400. Okay, because I was going to say, if we can get to 120 by May 11th. No, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> I, will, I will wear a MAGA hat no, you on should. the show. Mail. Do it. Hold on. So you, does that does that take this bet off the table then? No, no. This is still in on. addition to. So you're saying if you get a th- <laughs> if we get a thousand thumbins today, the voting for Trump's a lock in. Yep. You're gonna double down by saying, okay, not only do I honor that, but I honor if you get if we get a hundred and twenty thousand subscribers by in the when? next thirty days. So you would say by May May eleventh May eleventh. Yep. Which would be about um. 8,000 8, or so. Oh, wait. And, hold on. What are we at? It's got to be 9,000. We're at 111. What? 111. Like, like 111 and what? Like it's like 8,700. Like 8, okay. like all, right, 8, all right. That's good enough. That's if good we enough. could get to 130,000 subscribers. 120, 120, 120. Sorry, to 120,000 subscribers by May 11th, then what? I'll do a show wearing a MAGA hat. Really? Yeah. If we get to 150 by the election in November, we'll get you a big 45 jersey. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like a football jersey. <laughs> yeah. Wear that on the show. Mega Man. Are you saying that because you know we can't wear hats on the show? No. No, Jay's allowed to. Oh. Listen, Brian, you're going to Vegas for UFC 300? Yes, I'm stoked. That's exciting. You and you and wife? No, me and- uh, Hold on, your wife ain't going? No, I'm bringing, I'm bringing my British friends. I got a neighbor named Asher, and he's got we've got a friend named Kevin, and then a guy I haven't met yet named Martin's joining us out there. What is this, the hangover? You're just going- yeah, Hold on, strangers? I was just getting ready to say <laughs> that. I'm like, hold on. You gathered up, being the president of the Homeowner Association, I'm assuming these guys all want to be your friends. Of course. Only, okay, only okay. one lives in my neighborhood. He's buying votes. So- so one. hold on now. Asher you, and I are you, friends. We've been friends for a couple years. All right. And so we've now gone to, we went to the UFC fight together in Orlando when it was here all right. uh, not too long and ago. And UFC 300 it is in Vegas this week. Correct. And now what's the sleeping arrangements? So uh, I've all got one bed. I've got a two queen bedroom at uh, Park MGM and then the other two guys are staying at the Cosmo. They're they're sharing a room at the Cosmo. All right. Mm. So you who's who's with you, Asher? My buddy Asher, yeah. So you and Asher are where? At the park. At the park. Where's the event being held? Right there at the park at the at T Mobile Arena. So you're sh- you're sharing a room with with Asher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's no big now deal. No, is it a is it just a it's standard? It's Vegas. We're in our room for literally like six hours to sleep if we're lucky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do agree with you. Yeah. You don't. You're the room. You may want to get a badass room in Vegas, but chances are, if you're spending a lot of time in your room in Vegas, you're a loser. Yes. Like, or or you got a hooker. Or you got a hooker, or you got a or you got a kidney stone like me during Ronnie's Ronnie's wedding. I barely left my room. I was on pain pills and weed the entire time, and I didn't get. I couldn't. You know, I barely made it to Ronnie's wedding. I was in so much pain. I almost went to the hospital. Jeez. So, so Brian, you're gonna. So the where your place? What's it called? Park MGM. Is, is Park MGM like hooked on to the T-Mobile Arena? It's, it's got a courtyard that walks right up to it. All right. So, you know, no big, right right to the front door? Right to the front door. Right. And then, well, how about your buddies? They're at the Cosmopolitan. That's a, that's an Uber drive away, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's not a bad walk. It's about a 10-minute, 15-minute walk. Well, 15 minutes from the Cosmo to park. It's not bad. Now, did they- And why, the weather will be nice, so- Why, did, why are they staying at the Cosmo, and you're- Why are you guys at two different hotels? They- uh, So, I originally got the room, said to Asher, hey, let's get a group together. Let's go to UFC, you know, the UFC 300 in Vegas. I can get a free room at- the park now how I can i would normally stay at the aria but i couldn't get a free room for this particular weekend now do you have like a special uh you know maitre d that you call or something like that just based on what you being uh, no just through the app what they offer me because i'm i'm uh, gold with them did you name your daughter after your favorite vegas hotel sort of not not <laughs> fully oh boy <laughs> wow because he's like, wow. I usually say it the it, aria, it and I was means, like, wait a second. That's a good it find. means air in in Italian. Wow. So that's she's, she's she gives us like the air. Or she's our life. Right. It's a it's a pretty name. Yeah. But I was just curious. Yeah. Now, I mean, Game of Thrones was popular at the time. The you, hotel. How do you? Yeah, you know, Ariana. We were considered. I love that name. And so we considered that, but mm-hmm. then we decided to pivot to Aria okay. instead so of Ariana. So how do you get? Gold status with MGM. You just have stayed there so many times that it you That's like nice. it, I don't, I don't, gambling. I, oh, it's the gambling. It's all gambling. Well, actually, I backdoor that gold status because I have diamond status with Royal Caribbean, well, and they status match you with uh, MGM. So I don't gamble enough at the MGM to get gold, but I get gold. What's your status match with Breeze you big, Airways? <laughs> now hold on. Are you a big gambler? I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were a big cruiser. Yeah, yeah. You go on I, what, what well, one or two cruises a year? Yeah, maybe three. Yeah, really. Hall of Fame cable dog, yeah. five thousand ten bits. Who's that? Hall of Fame cable dog. My buddy, Tony McCabe. So, well, here's the thing: my family has been trying to get me to go on a cruise now for like you went like my mom, she, her and her, you know, now deceased husband Eddie. They were like. They cruised like six times, like five times a year, Brian. So they were like, I don't know what kind of status on a really, 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 really fancy cruise line, like the best one that goes out at wherever. Were they High Holland? I don't know what they were, but I know that they, this, my, my mom tells me that if I go on a, if I go, and she still has that status and the points and everything like that. If, if I go on a cruise with her and she books it, that I'll have my own room and I ain't going to be down in the boiler room, but I'm going to have my own room. A, a large room with the boiler. A, room. That's how I picture myself down by the boiler room, and and with you know the hall. Just the, shoveling the coal so we can keep moving. She, she promises me that she's got the highest status known to man because I don't know how many. I think I think my 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 mom has 
like 50 cruises, something like that. Is that a lot of cruises, Brian? Uh, yeah, that's a good amount. I mean, it puts yeah, I mean, you in- it, it could go by cruise nights. So if she's you typically most cruise lines go by cruise nights. Some may do do it differently, but it's total number of nights that you're on the cruise, and that gives you status. So level. it's fifty would put you up at a pretty high status. Yeah, the, you're looking at anywhere from a hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty cruise nights. Right. So anyway, she's like, "Sweetness, if we go, you have your own suite with a balcony." And it, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, but the rooms are the size of closets. She's like, no, really, really nice room. I'm like, yeah, well, I've seen the line to get on the boat. She's like, no, 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 no. We go through this special line. There's no wait. Uh, we have like, like the, the, there's just all kinds of fringe benefits that, yeah, come, absolutely. that come with you know her, her status. Her status. Yeah. So they've been trying and trying to get me to go, but I feel as if I'll be miserable. You could have just gone <clears> on one this past week out of Port Canaveral. It looked like a lot of fun. Oh, I, I'm, I'm assuming there was oh the guy that jumped off and killed no. himself. <laughs> Stupid! You want me to kick him? No, don't. What, Let's what? just move on. Can you tell me what I missed, Anna? Please. Where do you think that Fupa picture came from, Bubba? Oh, oh okay. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, you posted it. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Army Cruise number one next year. I, I have, I have <laughs> had cruise lines call me. Like one fairly recently ago and said, hey, you want to do a Bubba Army cruise and you can make this amount of money and this and this and this. But I'm, but I'm thinking, I don't think that the listeners would want. Oh, my God. Your listeners would be all about it. Uh, you have no idea. idea. <clears throat> but we, here we go. So, they would take over the boat like a bunch so of pirates. <laughs> in lieu of, hold on, in lieu of BARP, would we have the, the Clem cruise? You know, additional, like ad- 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 additional, the, 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 Clem, Clem the Clem cruise. Like, do you do that like in, you know, September, October? Well, that's her. Peak the, yeah, season. Peak season. <laughs> season. No, Probably okay. not. Okay. So, I, th- I think more like, like June, July. Fe- February is a really good month. That's hard because well, it's right after BARP. It was Brian. Brian. But no, he yeah. said in lieu of BARP. Oh, in make, lieu of yeah. or in addition No, to. I mean, I don't know that you do. I mean, in lieu of. <laughs> I mean, I I, I don't do a barf at sea. You could do a November, um, a November. I want to do like both. I want barf. I want yeah. barp to stay sacred, and barp never moves. Now, how do you build a cruise around the rest of the the rest of the year? And I need some feedback. Let me. Everybody needs to be monitoring all the chat right now, and, and let me know. You know, like, would you do a Klim cruise? Let's say, like in June or July. June or July, or you could do like the first week in November. It's out of hurricane season, and it's more affordable. He's trying to the, keep it halfway between Barb. Yeah. The cruise line. Oh, I get why. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to distance. I'm trying to. The cost yeah, is going to be an issue. All right. In what about June, May? Well, June or July, you may be able to get away with a, a cheap three nighter. Yeah. See, right there. And would they? And would they want to do that? Well, they have. I'll tell you which one to do, Bubba. Is to team up with the Margaritaville that's launching their new cruise line out of Tampa. And they're doing short cruises. That out sounds of like a job. It's like a jobber boat, though. The boat's just a little boat. I mean, it's not I mean, a I huge. Need, job. No, I mean, like if we do it, cruise? well, I mean, if we do it, man, I want to be on a badass boat. You know, I don't want to be on some jobber boat that was built in '82. No, I mean, no. <clears throat> well, these are redone boats, but but they are older boats. But, yeah, but they're redone. And, and what do, what would I, like? What would a three night and a three nighter cost? You know, and do you and do seven hundred a head? I mean, yeah, but that's that's just to get on the boat. That's, right? Yeah, that doesn't include drinks, but that's all your food, all your entertainment on the boat. I don't know. It's I not mean, terrible value. It's good value. I mean, you, you're, you yeah, can't, but you got you got airfare getting down here, right? You might have a hotel stay in Tampa, or I, we may you may do it out of Fort Lauderdale. I mean, right, right. It's, it's well, going to be do the done. Margarita one. I sent you uh, what the boat looks like. It's actually, it actually looks like a nice boat. I mean, it's it, it's adult oriented, so you're not you don't need water slides and stuff like that, right? So oh, that's why the, Mar- I the, do. the the Bub Army wants some water slides, Brian. Yeah, I want to see Buck going down. I want to see super fat Bubba Light going yeah. down. So let me here it is fifty percent off cruises. Uh, so let me. This is the. Uh, That's the two boats they have. These are the two boats they have. Yeah. Well, that doesn't. This one back here doesn't look like that bad of a job or no. boat. Do they? It's okay, got so cool ex- paint job. So ex- ex- maybe put a Bob Army sticker on the outside. So it says explore our ships, uh, yeah. Islander and Paradise. It looks like they got a lot. Okay, which one? Which one should we explore? I say the Paradise one. Paradise. Okay. Yeah. Deck plan. This is. Hey. Hello. Oh. Okay. Well, that, well, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. That's called a deck plan. So I, it shows you what's on each level of the ship. Yeah. 
Let me see. Things to do, a combination. Yeah, go to things to do. Let's things, see that. Things yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things to do. They show you the ass end of the boat. That's no, it. That's, that's a front. <laughs> no, is, that for you, is that for you supposed to jump off? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it keeps going down. All right. They got a Radio, Margar- Radio Margar- Ra- Margaritaville. Oh, sassy. Oh, yeah. oh, tune in to Radio Margaritaville. Well, they got some stupid radio guys in here doing some some kind of deal. Caribbean sure heat, Bubba, wine over. testing, sun deck activities, sail away party, mixology, game shows, patriot photos, photos. Bingo. Uh, bingo, karaoke. No, they could be blasting Jimmy Buffett <clears throat> the whole time. Yeah, please. Uh, let me. I don't know. I, I just I, if 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 the if the bubble like like what would be a good number, Brian? Two hundred? <clears throat> like what would two hundred people? Oh, if you if you got two hundred people on there, the cruise line would love you, right? On on an off peak cruise, a hundred percent. If you're bringing that, they're they're giving you time like, for private events and meet and greets and to do your what you want to do uh, on the ship. Yeah, if you're bringing that l- large of a two hundred, yeah, yeah, casinos would be packed. I mean, that's a I'd good lose time. all my money. I'm just telling you. I, I'm just telling you. I don't know. I have to think about Everything's it. Everything's over Seth, by 4 o'clock. <laughs> Seth, like, would you and bed. Phoebe want to do it? Uh, I mean, honestly, no. But yeah, that's if what you, I'm saying. But if you, if, but if it was something that you decided you wanted to do, I, I would go. But I, I, I despise cruises. Okay, Anna. I'd be on one. I've never, I've never been one before. I don't, I don't think it's my thing. But I, I definitely want to go on one. I mean, especially if they comped all of our rooms, oh, which I'm no sure doubt. they would. Yeah. Like I wouldn't go if my, like Brian, I wouldn't go and book if my, if my people didn't get their rooms comped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There. I mean, you work Lummy, all that out with them, right? Yeah. Well, <coughs> Lummy's there all day. Lummy. Well, Lummy and Ashley. Whatever you me, want to do, Bob. Me and the crack. <laughs> um, me, and, me and Steph would be there. You, you and your, you and your wife. You would. Yeah. I don't think Tom and Gina would go. How about, Hell all, no. how about all the Diacos? Oh, oh Dan, yeah, I, think Dan, I think Dan. Jay Dan, would never step foot on it. Yeah, Jay, There's not no. a chance in Hades. Dan, Dan would probably, you know, Dan would buy out a floor. <clears throat> yeah, Dan would be by himself. Dan would have his own yacht and Dan go would look like, the boat. Dan would look like Thurston <laughs> Howell on Gilligan's Island. He'd yes. have the best of everything. Um, you know, uh, Rhett, would you would you want to go? I'm in Macho's chair. Uh, yes, I've never been on a cruise. What about his girlfriend? Now, hold on. What about this? <laughs> what about this new girlfriend you got? I don't know what Lummy's talking about. This happened on yesterday. He heard this Good happened on yesterday. This happened on yesterday's show. Yes, he thought he said it the one place nobody would hear. By the way, 873 <laughs> thumbs. I need. <laughs> I need I need a hundred. So wow. I need to, like a hundred and sixty-seven, a hundred and sixty-seven people to thumb me on YouTube, <laughs> and Brian's voting for Donald Trump and taking a picture of his Oof, ballot. He's close. got a sick, he's got a sick stomach uh, because of just it. that's the last time we're gonna promote it. Just leave it be now. If it happens, it happens. Let's we're have, not gonna let's have Burke promote it today on his show, Bubba. And oh I yeah, mean, really put it over the top. <laughs> now Shannon, oddly enough, on full disclosure. Was the one I was remember I was talking to Shannon on Saturday night and he approached me about him doing a cruise, us doing a cruise, him and I together. You know the the Burke Clem or the Bubba like Bur- Bubba, Bubba Burke. Yeah, make it more of a him and I deal where he folds his audience into it, I fold my audience into it, and it's a combined you know Burke Bubba Bubba so, Burke. So the cruise. Bur- Burke Brigade of the Bubba <laughs> Army meet up. Oh yeah. Like it would be like a sea. Billy G video and on, on the deck. <laughs> so then, then you go out of Port Canaveral because you got a much bigger variety in, of cruise lines and cruise ships right. you can choose from. Now, you, when, when, you, when you go out of Port Canaveral, which I'm assuming you have because that's where mo- most of the real high dollar ships are, do you just drive there? Yeah. What is it, four and a half hours? No. Uh, if there's if traffic isn't bad, you're at looking at two hours and 20 minutes, two hours oh, and really? 30 minutes. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's a straight, have, as did, soon as you get off I four, it's it's just a straight. Do they shot. have? Do they literally have like long term parking and all yeah, that kind it's of like stuff? For a three night cruise, you're looking at like eighty bucks, ninety <laughs> bucks for parking. For your parking, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> and are you having to schlep your? Uh, you know, is it a large parking lot where, where you have to schlep? You your drop lug- your luggage off and then you go park. Oh, you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Air kill twenty five. Yeah, they, 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 they have porters there. You throw them five ten bucks. And especially if you're me, Bubba the Love Sponge, and I got and, and I'm part of this promotion. They better golf cart me to my into the deal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? What'd you tell Burke when he was running this idea by you, Bubba? I said I don't know. If I, I don't know. Did it, was he telling you it's fun? He was like, Hey, the promoters got a hold of us. We can make some money. You know, and that's kind of deal. And I'm like, Ah, I don't know if I like cruises or not. I feel like I'll be claustrophobic. 
And I mean, you know, they have do they have Wi Fi? <laughs> yes, they they have Starlink on most of these now. The Wi Fi is amazing. I was just on uh, I was just on the what, Icon of the Seas, and literally Netflix, no lag whatsoever. You could just now how big like how big of a room like you know like some of um, these rooms are like literally the size of my bathroom here. So the average room, if you're getting a balcony room, you're looking at like 180 square feet for the room, 50 square feet well, for the my balcony. My ass takes 180 square feet. Not really. And you're and is you're that doing, a king size bed or is yeah, that one of those twins? They're two twins that push together to a king. <laughs> no, no, no. She can have her twin. I'll stay mine. I don't you can't do that. that twin? Or you could. Or you could have two twins together and be a king. No, I don't want that. It's going to be harder to to uh, do the deed if you have. You we'll know. do the deed over on her bed. <coughs> she can stay on her you, bed. You I'll... sleep in the wet spot, and then I'm going to go over to my <laughs> bed. And I love the I love the fact that we're separated. Bubba you can't roll up have, on me. Bubba likes to have sex on the floor. That way he doesn't have to cuddle. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? What type of monster? And then get called out by uh, by the boss uh, on the whole deal. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right, so uh, you're going to to Vegas. How did, did, yeah. how did you get, what type of UFC tickets did you uh, get? So we've got a private table for four at the top of the main concourse. They call them terrace tables at uh, T-Mobile Arena. And now uh, How did you pull all that off? I just emailed the representative before the tickets went on sale because I know that there's a certain amount of holdback that the venue gets to sell on their own. Man, he knows everything. He, he, he Honest to God, he really does. He does. I mean, he, See, Dan doesn't know. Like Dan makes Jennifer do all this kind of stuff. Brian gets down and dirty. He knows where the nook and crannies and, and how to you know, get a hold of somebody and get an end around Willie here. So you got a hold of the, of the promotional. Of the, of the d- premium ticket manager for T-Mobile Arena. Um, before the event bef- went on sale. Before it went on sale. Right. And you're like, hey, I'm a big-time lawyer out of Tampa. I'm also a co-host on the Bubba the Love Sponge <laughs> Show. Of course. That's, that's the way I start off every email. <laughs> you should. Big-time host. Here's Bubba's uh, footprint uh, as to you know how many listeners he has and things like that. Uh, so can you hook me up? Over a million downloads. And and so she just says, yeah, sure. Um you, you here's to choose from this these are four options so i chose the the cheapest option because i don't need to be spending five thousand dollars a seat and it comes with waiter service uh a table a private table it's how like, far away from you from the event though? We're, we're on the the top of the first level so we're, we're they're deep, they're good seats it's not second level seats they're good seats with a good vantage point overlooking the ring um, Actually, what people don't realize, the lower you go on UFC, the worse it is because you can't see through the fencing that well. And and, and, and all the people and, and all the ca- side. All the camera yeah. and all the uh, support personnel they need to make to televise the event, you really are better to be higher because you can see over the ring and see actually see them fight. Whereas if you're in the lower bowl, sometimes I listen, I used to go to every one of them. Dana White paid me 10 grand. Wow. And I would go to, and we'd have like be fourth, fifth row. There'd be sometimes you'd be, you couldn't even see. Yeah, no, these these are great seats where they're at. And then we all of a sudden, yet uh, two days ago, they email me and they're like, not only did we do the table, but for two hundred dollars a person, you can add all all you can eat, all you can drink for the entire event, which is eight hours from from gate opening until close. For two hundred a cop. For two hundred a person. Listen to this menu. So assorted snacks. Then they do a charcuterie board. Uh, then they do uh, prawns, stone crab claws, tuna tartare, and fried wontons. Then they do a, sh- a chateau brion. Uh, with risotto and chilled asparagus, and then warm cookies for dessert. And any hamburgers or French fries? I don't like any of that. No, probably not. Mm. But uh, but for us, for sorry, not- ma'am. There's no hamburgers and French fries on here. You can take your tuna tartare and shove it up your I ass. Mean, you can go buy a hamburger and fries if you want. But but uh, so for two hundred a copy. Now let, screw the food portion of it. How about the drinking yeah, portion? That's of it? amazing. That's, that's where you're gonna. And it's like I mean, top you have, shelf if you have liquor. four Long Island iced teas, you've already paid for yourself. They're twenty dollars a drink at the. Right. Right. At the stadium there, I know. So, and we've got eight hour open bar. Uh, right, Brian, are you excited to get to know the other guy on the uh, on the on Mar- the trip? Martin, yeah, uh, I, I've gotten him to know him slightly through chat, and um, you know, I'm I'm. Do they know you're a big time lawyer? 
they, they, uh, everybody, I start co-host. every text message off with I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big time, time lawyer, lawyer mm-hmm. and I'm on the you know, I'm a co-host big time, of the syndicated I'm on a big show. time lawyer that's on a big time show. Over saying, a million downloads on a, a big million. time show. Seth would kill himself if we had a million downloads. We have nearly 7 million downloads on podcasts. Oh my goodness gracious. 150 million total views all in, buddy. Come on, know update, your stats. I need to update my emails and texts. Just picked up a brand new FM, a 50,000 watt flamethrower out of, out of Orlando called 103.1 yeah. uh, uh, Florida Man Radio. Tell Martin about that baby yeah, face, but, I mean, listen, but listen, mind. listen to this drink menu, though. It's it's impressive. It's uh, They got Long Island ICs? Well, you can make your own drinks. So, well, they'll make them for you, but Absolute Elix, Codigo Silver, Buffalo Trace Whiskey, Jameson, Botanist Gin, uh, Glenlivet, then the beers, Budweiser, Bud Light, Golden Road, Mango. Notice how Bud Light's really turned this thing around, have Goose they not? Island IPA. They've well, paid off a lot of people, have they They're pretty not? big sponsors. Yeah. I mean, no, but they had, you know, it cost them. Well, they got Kid they had Rock. To get, they, had to get kid, yeah. they had to pay Kid Rock $20 million. And Dana White. And, yeah, they, they played. You got four wines to choose from, waters, sodas, all your mixers, How many garnishes. gummies, weed, Zannies, yeah. Kalata pins? I mean, it's, it's, it's Vegas. That's all included. Right. That's a that's a So now hold on, given. let's talk about okay, so you got your accommodations handled, you got your ticket to the event handled. Yeah. Now He's this, gonna get to the, no Martin. This, this is where it starts getting a little sketch. Uh you're on Breeze Airlines. Yeah. Now you could even pick Southwest. Like you couldn't even get no, like South, so the problem with Southwest is um the flight home is like you don't get back until eleven thirty at night. Oof. And Sunday. Breeze gets back at nine PM. Sunday? Yeah. No, Monday. Monday. We're still. We're, we're, I'm not coming back Sunday right after the fight. No, you gotta, you're gonna have to lay around Vegas all day on Sunday. I'm right? gonna get an IV and a massage. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. For real? Yeah. You've gotten the IVs before? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. What do they do to you? Make you feel like they hydrate you, you and drink bring you back to hours. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, so, so if you've been, so you've just bombed and you're completely just tore up. You get yeah. an IV and just, it just kind of recenters you. They're popular. They put stuff. They put stuff in there. Like uh, they'll put Zofran in there and, stuff. and Zofran. You can get Zofran put Ooh, in. To I got on your stomach. They got a, is it like <laughs> when Dan orders uh, your protein shakes? You order an IV. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just I mean, like that. Just whey protein. Yeah. Can you put some? You know, this. Put some of that in there. A little Kenny a little pre- workout. Let me pre- put some of my own stuff in there. Some creatine. Yeah. Are there places locally, Brian, that do IVs? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a there's one right by my house I went to uh, before, but that was when I was. Are they gotta hit the vein though, man. I hate getting stuff. They, that's all they do all day. They're the best that's at true. hitting the vein. You're right on that. I hate to. I mean, I wasn't. You never. You don't want to go to somebody who. Can I get like a steak? <clears throat> I mean, can you get steak? like? Can they mix food in there? You can bring your own snacks, I guess. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, like. Like on the IV menu, what do they offer? Oh, like, you? like they don't blend up a steak and put it into your blood. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. I, I mean, I'm just saying. You said you could get anything put in. I mean, I'd within, like to have a nice Del Monaco. It's meant like electrolytes. Yeah, <laughs> there's the chef. How about just how about just how about just eating some uh, some I'm Gatorade? I'm fasting, so can you just inject this, that, that way? I can still be on so, my fast. What, so you leaving Friday and get back Monday? I'm leaving Friday, get back Monday. With Friday it, morning, early. Now, are, are both direct? Don't tell me you have layovers. So, do not tell me. Do not tell me you don't have a tell layover. Them. It's not a layover. It's they, it's a continuation, it's, but it's a stop I don't get off the first plane. one of the day. I don't get off the plane. I don't get off the plane. The plane still comes you, out of the are sky. Are you first class? I no. Am, I am. There's no first class I'm on, on the Breeze. nicer, not nicest. No, there is a first class oh, on is Breeze. There? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it the one by the pilot? It's the nicest <laughs> seats. They're like the first floor. The rows. one by the engine shroud that falls <laughs> off. Exit row. <laughs> so, so how much was your flight? Round trip, $350, including now they nick- luggage are they nick- and seat selection. So they're, they're, are they knick-knacking you on the luggage? And no, then they that's you- all in. 350 Ooh, round trip to great. Vegas. Were you able to pick your own seat? Yes. Were you able to bring a carry on? Yes. Able- and check bag. And check bag. Really? All yes. Right, for 350. Round now, trip. Are you just Ubering or are you just. We're going to. Asher car? and I will Uber from. Oh, no. From the airport, we'll take an Uber to the hotel. Right. Yeah. The worst thing to do in Vegas, honest to God, if you're staying on the strip or is you're to staying. Rent a car. Is to rent a car. Why would you do that? Why? why? Me, it- me and Erica did that and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank God well, I you did. To go to the hospital yeah. almost. Thank God so. I did almost save my life. <laughs> well, no, but you weren't but, on the but strip. She, you were but hold on. But here's what That's she. Did. But here's what she yeah. did. It's, it's the worst. Don't ever do this. Just pay the extra. Don't get one of these third party offshoot, you know, Acme rent a car companies. And I think they have like an action or something. What you do is you got to get on a bus. 
from the airport and they drive you literally like 15 or 20 minutes mm-hmm. to this to this warehouse and then they process you through this warehouse and it's all cars that have been smoked in or damaged or something like that it's better just to if you don't go off property if you're in a car stick with the Hertzes, the enterprise stick with those guys the guys that are at the airport because as soon as you do that third party stuff i told erica we'll never do this again because you got to get on a bus to get on another bus just to get your ass out there to save like you know 30 bucks you gotta just talk to brian anytime you travel I mean, when I was getting ready to go to Pittsburgh, that's when he tipped me off about Breeze Airways, and I didn't even know it was a real thing. I thought it was a joke, but the guy knows where all the deals he and steals are 24-7. How'd it go, Seth? I, uh, well, I actually took, um, where did I take? Oh, you didn't take Breeze? No, what's up? Napa it's, Mike, $100. What's the yellow one? Spirit. Spirit. I took Spirit for the first time. Oh, oh, no. He's the Greyhound of the sky. It was great. I would loved it. I loved Spirit. No fights. I, no fights. No. Didn't prob- Spirit no just? Delays. I just saw that Spirit laid off a bunch of pli- pilots or something, didn't they? So they're all oh, no. high. Oh damn. Mushrooms. No, well, it was it know. was just about forty <laughs> bucks to fly home from Pittsburgh Hell to, yeah, to man. Tampa. So, <laughs> so Brian, you got that. You got you're you're set. You're now. Well, how much are you? Are you the kind of gambler? I think you're a pretty good gambler. And you know, they really what people don't realize it's not the amount that you win or lose. It's how long and what your average hand is. Yeah, what's your average bet? As you gonna to bring how, the orange suit? As yeah, to what? Yeah, yeah. As to what they <laughs> figure the your <laughs> your gambling score is and how much to comp you. It's average bet by how long. Yep. So they'd be like, okay, he uh, he has a hundred and fifty dollar average bet at eight hours a day. You know, like the, the, they they take they keep track of all of that stuff, and, and then and pit- then they and then they kind of determine as to what they're going to comp on you. Yeah, some of those pit bosses, uh, like if you bet pretty, oh, they'll pencil whip for you. Oh yeah, if you do for Breezy, for Breezy the used to find the pit boss and he'd yeah. give him a hundred dollar chip right there, and then say, for yeah. Breezy's, you know, eight hundred dollar. Uh, an average hand would go to like fifteen hundred, even though he wasn't doing fifteen hundred, because the pit boss would pencil whip it, and then we would get free everything. Yeah, he, I was told he was I, like for Breezy's numbers were like fifteen hundred for ten hours a day. Oh yeah, I was told the first time I was there. Listen, uh, after your first big win, throw the dealer about uh, fifty bucks, and then say, "Hey, here's a hundred for the pit boss," mm-hmm. and that guy will hook and you. And they'll up, pencil and whip did. you. Yep, and they'll pad up your numbers. And you know, Brian, if you know if your numbers are. You know, fifteen hundred at ten hours a day. You you ain't paying for nothing. No, no, you're getting everything comped. You're getting shows. You're getting meals. You're getting it all. Yeah, you're yeah. getting hookers. You're getting everything. Is yep. there is there still a strong? Is there still a hooker game? Yeah, in yeah, Vegas, of course. Do you think but, Martin's into hookers? I don't know about Martin. I don't know enough about him yet. What He's, if Martin comes to you and Martin's, say, "Hey, Brian, you know, uh, I know you know you're my wife, and I know your wife, but you know, hey, where what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. How about a couple of hooks?" Martin's an interesting character because he booked STK for dinner for all of us Friday night. And then he was. What's STK? Uh, it's a steakhouse. It's like a cool, hip steakhouse. They have like DJs in it. Now, when a guy, that you, when you, when four <laughs> fellas are traveling, mm. and you guys are coming in, you know, all from different different areas, and you meet up, and you meet, and you have steak reservations for Friday night. The guy that made the reservation is he on the hook for the bill? No, no, no. We'll we'll either chop it up, or we we you know at the end of the weekend, we just you know send each other money, whatever it is. Mm. Or we'll play credit card roulette. But what, now, if, now, what if Martin doesn't want to do like a, a swing fest? What if he just wants to have a, a three way with you and get a hooker, and that's how he wants the bomb with you, bro? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not probably I'm probably not going to do that with Martin. Uh, what if you said, "Hey, you get a hook, I get a hook. Let's just you know hook, hook it, it up." up. Yeah, I don't and then know. we'll go hit that steak afterwards, and then we'll hook it up again. Uh, the dinner's at seven. I don't think I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah, hook him before seven. Hook him before seven. <laughs> so hey, hey, Brian, Brian, after we get to after we polish off those uh, the big steaks. Let's say we go back and gamble a little bit, a couple hours, and about maybe like maybe 12 or 1 it. Let's, you know, hire some hooks. Let's get to really know each other, Brian. Yeah. I'm yeah. Martin. Yeah, I'm probably not getting any hookers. Uh, you know, not my not my game. Mm. I'm just out there to anymore. have a good time. I don't think there's hookers available. Yeah, anymore. <laughs> I don't think the hook, I don't think you can just call up some chick and she sends a couple of her friends over like nah, they used to. No, they're on the street already. They're yeah. on the street. Yeah, like they're working in the dance club. Well, and here's the thing, man. Like the the, the, the hotel uh, security, like if you kind of look like a hooker, like a, like a, a girl all by herself, unaccompanied, with kind of a hot dress on and some, you know, makeup, they'll mm-hmm. stop you. 
They'll literally stop yeah, you. Yeah, you and know say, what that girl does? She tips that security guy. She's got a security guy on the inside. She tips him fifty bucks, and she's good to go. And she shows. They know how to work. And she's already been given a room key. It's a dummy key that doesn't work to yep. anything. But she shows that she has a room key. Oh, Brian, you're voting for Trump. Uh, it's looking that way. I need to unthumb it. Hold on. There we go. Nine eighty eight. Nine ninety one. Ninety one. Yeah. Ten more. It's happening. And Brian's uh, voting for Donald. Jesus. Trump. If you want a deep dive into the Bubba the Love Sponge show from the past, go to bubbaarmyhq.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge show. We'll be back after these words. Invested in Mark because you don't because you don't really know him and you're going to do all these intimate things with them and I, just, I don't know that going to a fight is intimate. You're sitting at a table with fancy drinks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fucking, it is kind you're of going like to date. STK. I mean, you're going it's a to a male date. We're going, yeah. to Hell's, we're going to Hell's Kitchen. It is. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a male bonding date. It's a male bonding date to go watch shirtless men rough each other up. I yeah. mean, and I'm gonna tell you what, Martin's gonna get drunk because he can't handle his liquor. We did it. We did it. It's a thousand. Hey! Trump! 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 Wow. Trump! 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 Wow! They said it couldn't be done, but now you fuckers have no excuse. Every other goddamn Trump, day of the Trump, week, Trump, leave Trump, it below. Trump. Trump. No, Trump. Yeah, like yeah, it yeah, every yeah, other yeah. day of the week. They have no excuse now. Yeah, I know. You're right. You have no excuse. You're right, bunch of one-way motherfuckers. Yeah. Can, I, can I go to the ballot booth with you? It's a little tight squeeze in there. <laughs> Martin's gonna be there. <laughs> I don't know if all three of us can fit. What if Martin's a real Trumpster? We can go in there like the little rascals on each other's shoulders. We Wearing a trench coat. <laughs> Fucking A. Good for you, Brian. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Oh my goodness. A thousand fucking likes. What, what's our record all time? Like 500, maybe? 450? It's a thousand now. I know but, now what uh, it is. I didn't think we would double it. I think we've had, we, I mean, for a live <laughs> show. Let me check for a live show. Yeah. Fuck. I did make it too easy. Yeah, I should have done the MAGA hat first. Yeah. Although the voting feels less dirty than the MAGA hat in a way. <laughs> Why? I get, I'm oh, wearing it, having to see it for four hours versus just one second, then forget about it, and then hope that the election isn't decided by one vote for Donald Trump yeah, in the yeah. state of Florida. <laughs> hey, um, Red, I'm going to get into the AEW stuff, okay? Okay, sounds good. So I'm, I'm going to need to throw it over to you. Yeah. To walk I am surprised okay. I just I'll, checked. Just I just throw it over to you and you walk me through it. Play the video. Not even the number. I didn't think that you would be up for sale. I'll recap you and we'll play the video and then you can talk about it. Easily thousand likes in one random day. You got me in Macho's chair. Way to go. All right, cool. Do you know what? In hindsight, we could have gotten a lot more out of that. Yeah. We could have gotten a lot more out of that. That's okay. Live and learn. There's always next election. Fucking hell. Fucking hey. It's alright. Oh. Honestly, it's probably. But to do it for a thousand likes, I feel like such a whore. Like a cheap yeah, whore. Yeah, yeah. You are. We're hitting 50 mile an hour gusts today? I was like, real storms coming through? Mm hmm. Thank God it's not tomorrow. I gotta fly out. So every time I eat, I just naturally want to talk like this. <laughs> Morning, no, Rudy. Oh no, see, that wasn't for me, I was for a goddamn Brian Gilson! Mm, it's okay, you can still say hi. People like it when you talk to them. I already said good morning to Rudy, which I thought Say it again, bitch, say they again. love it. Uh, say my name, say my name. When no one else You're right, DC 123. You. Nothing brings people together like hate. That's true. Love is enduring, hate is powerful. Love can't do what hate can do. I don't know, I wouldn't even say it's in, in Hate words. can fuck you up. Love. Love lasts longer. Hate love is like keep us together. hate is like an explosion. And no, love can, and mm -mm. people remember all the times you put them over there. Hate know. though. You being angry at somebody, being mad, but the feeling of pure hatred. Well, I mean certain nurse you know, people will hold on to that, but it's not yeah, healthy. I don't really know what's happening. Healthy. For the average person, the hate is an explosion <laughs> and then it dissipates. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. You could die out there today. Maybe the fervor, oh, but I don't, I don't think it's hate. Like, you remember. Like, oh, oh, rights like, convention. What are you talking about, NRG? Is that Charlie? Charlie, are you hating on me again? <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You're, you're, such, a, you eat that wait, you're <laughs> such a rascal, Charlie. Because <laughs> he's calling? He's, he's on hold. He's, he says I'm going to a gay rights convention. Who? Probably I think Charlie. Charlie's NRG. Did you talk to him? No. Oh, he's on hold. He's, he's on the phone. He'll just sit there the whole day. So. No, that's fine. He can sit. But is he in I don't want him targeting me. So I'm going to get out of the Charlie business completely. Mm. He's targeting you? Um, You're homosexual. No. You're homosexual. Maybe he's the one who pisses him off and catches a bullet. Yeah, he did. He's not that crazy. What's up, Marcelo? <laughs> he sat on hold for three hours. <laughs> he's not that crazy. It's every day. You're, every day? <laughs> You're not making your case, Lobby. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, Listen, just because you're home for Trump doesn't mean that. No, nobody tell my wife. She doesn't have to know. Would she even care? Probably. Right. All right, if somebody wires me 500 bucks, I'll vote for Trump right now. Okay, easy, guys. What? What? Well, that actually may be criminal. What? You can't sell your votes. What? I kind of like just did. Months. But there's no monetary <laughs> value on the likes, so... Uh... Lomo's the worst says, uh, thank you for uh, making America great again, Brian. <laughs> wow, this is a big, I mean, this is a very... This is a red letter day at the Bubba Army. I mean, literally Brian, and figuratively. Yeah, yeah. Brian, <laughs> is lo- Brian is locked into voting for Donald You know why, Bubba? I think this was part of his plan because I think that I think that his wife's leaning Trump, and I think that he want, he needs to be lockstep with that. Yes, no, I think it's a part of my plan because there's so many listeners that will absolutely not do anything to agree with me <laughs> that I just actually got five and 20 more votes. What? <laughs> 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 All the times Hulk Hogan or Tucker Carlson called in. We have it all for you on BubbaArmyHQ.com. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Lummy, they are located in Mary Esther, Florida. Do you know who I'm talking about? Of course. Gus, Tractor, and Supply. That's right. Uh, The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is powered by Big Gus Tractor and Equipment. It's in Mary Esther. The one-stop shop for all your heavy, heavy machinery needs. From tractors to trailers to zero-turn lawnmowers to side-by-sides, uh, Gus. Tra- again, you can go to Gus G U S Tractor dot com. Let me also learned learned yesterday they are a Skag, an official Skag dealer. That's the best. So, and uh, Maria the glue, I call her the glue because she keeps everything all together there at Skag. She sent me a list of Florida affiliates, so now I have a complete list of Skag Florida affiliates as well. Uh, I think there might be one in Wesley Chapel. Let me I need to look. Ooh. Anyway, Gus, go to Gus Big Big Gus Tractor dot com. They're on 1490 US Highway 98 in Mary Esther. Again, Big Gus Tractor dot com. Home of Skag uh, as well. Uh Rhett. The guy with the new girlfriend. The guy with the new girlfriend. Oh, Rhett, can you Big can, can we get into that Big at jokes? all? No. Yeah. No, thank you. No, well, why not, buddy? Really? For, well, is she listening? D- d- does she listen? Uh, I don't think so. Not okay. regularly. If she oh, doesn't no. listen, then let's get it. I mean, like, why are you, Johnny? Uh, I can, I don't have, you know, I can have a significant other, and like we all know about each other's significant other. <laughs> yeah, I would say that you have to because you mentioned it on the Wednesday show. I mean, I I love you, Rhett. You know, I always. I didn't you. mention it. Lummy pried it out of me. Mike Thurman, twenty nine ninety nine. So uh, wait, you got outsmarted by Lummy? Then you okay, definitely listen, have Brian, to talk. about You know, your insults are getting a little thin here, buddy. Okay, you insult the Wednesday show. You now you're insulting my intelligence, Brian. Just simmer down, please. I'm just saying, you drawing that out of somebody. Well, I mean, we have well, good chemistry. Like how how did how did how did Lummy draw that out of you? Oh, we were talking about strip club reviews, and he was talking <laughs> oh, about sending dear. me to do strip club reviews, and I'm like, eh. He's like, why? Why are you worried about it? You got a girlfriend? And I played the fifth. Five. Wow. So, <laughs> love the love so, sponge. Now, hold on now. So let's just, we, we can vaguely get into this. By the way, Brian Trump, I'm sorry, Brian Matroni will be, <laughs> well, we might as well might call as well, him Brian yeah. Trump. Well. He's voting for it's Trump. Biggest mark. I mean, like, literally, if 
and and Brian, you have to you can't lie about it. Like if I'm somebody if somebody to. if somebody She's asks you, integrity. like if if Gina comes back to your office today and go, what do I hear about you voting for uh, Donald Trump? Yeah, I freaking made a stupid deal, <laughs> and I'm gonna care. Unlike Trump, I'm gonna honor the deal. Mike Thurman, thirty dollars. I the needed to read the art of the deal. Extra small maga polo shirt. If I had read the. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, so, Rhett, like, Rhett, who, like, we can vaguely, we don't even have to give her a first name out if you don't want to, or you can give her a fake first name. Let's, can we give her, can we give her a fake first name so that we have something to identify with? Sure. Can we, can we call her, uh, you know, uh, well, let's not go Rachel. Let's go Sally. Rhonda. <laughs> let's go Sally. Sally. Swinging Sally. Mustang Sally. Yeah. So, where did you meet Sally? Uh, Am I assuming, like, on a, on, like, on, like, a uh, app? We had mutual friends in school, so I always knew about her. Sally. Sally. Hierarchy 65, $150. Baby face or Trump? <laughs> 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 My vote's on the table as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you had always been somewhat familiar with Sally. You guys, you guys went to high school together. Uh, she went to another high school, but I we had like the same friend group. Okay, so you known about her for a while. Yeah. All right, and then how do you guys finally, you know, for lack of a better term, reconnect or connect or we reconnected like two years ago on a dating app. So it was like kind of easy to catch up because you know we were able to talk. <laughs> did, you, did you already have her? Ooh. Did you already have her phone number? From the original time you guys, uh, you know, crossed paths on the dating app? Yeah. So just what, one day you decided, like, let me, like, hey, I got, I got uh, Sally's number here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, me, who reached out to whom? Uh, I'm pretty sure I reached out to her. We had talked a couple of times when we first met, and then uh, it just didn't work out for whatever reason. So, right. you know, some time went by, and we started talking again. I think it was me who reached out. Double X right. Gaming, 499, Rats Girlfriend. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> the way Lummy just gets it in real fast, like you know, and then even with the Ric Flair tra- trailer, <laughs> his timing is impeccable. He's learned to cut in like nobody else. Uh, I missed, uh, I missed a hundred dollar uh, Michael Thomas Randall. I don't know who that is. R.C. Hellman. That's R.C. Hellman. I, I missed, I missed a hundred. I think it was a, for sniping uh, our buddy, our yes. buddy, and I missed it. So I'm so sorry. But Rob Phillips. Uh, also, a hundred bucks. The PayPal doing well today. PayPal, has, Venmo, Cash App, app the Bubba Army. Quick c- question, Bubba, because I know you keep score on this. Um, I has, keep scoring everything. Have thir- well, not as much as some people, but has <laughs> have Thursdays been better financially? Like, um, is Thursday- it starting to start to become a strong day? <laughs> no, oh, Thursdays just pretty much the way it's it, it's a uh, usually better than average day. All right, you know it, just it just, it's what really it's really it's really tough oh. to 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 gauge the days because you know sometimes some people go crazy on super chat and then that make the video make more money than you, you know, organically would have naturally uh, or you know you know John Costica got a bonus and he's going crazy on PayPal Venmo and Cash App all three of them together. Uh, with an erection in Valparaiso, Indiana. So it's it, like it, there's really no rhyme to reason, and I thir- <clears throat> Thursdays don't seem to pop out at me as a better than usual day. They used to be terrible when I was on. They, just... I will tell you this: it's they've they've gotten better. Okay, they used to be terrible. It used to be literally like we wouldn't get any money, like none. Now we're doing pretty good. So all right, good. I, good. I, I just wanted to make sure we're trending but, in the right direction. We and, are. And, and we are trending. We're know, not. We're not trending in the hottest of directions, but we're trending upward. Which you used to be. A, you used to be a. You know, you're a flatline Willie. You're well, I'm, dead. I'm MAGA now, and I know how much MAGA likes to support people like Trump and you know help out the cause. So I mean, just think about this. I mean, you legitimately have to say you're MAGA. I'm MAGA. I mean, you really do. I'm MAGA. What do you think Dr. Dan's going to do to try to oh, Dan's trump gonna, him? Oh, tomorrow? I don't know. I think Dan trump will say. Trump pun intended? <laughs> Mike Creeman, I don't know what. Mike, Michelle Creeman said Maybe dollars. Maybe we go to Dan and say, hey, Babyface was able to get 1,000 likes. I'm sorry, 1,000 thumbins set an all-time record on YouTube. We've never got that many, ever. What are you, now that how, cha- are you now, how, it, are you, how are you How are you going to do it, His buddy? His clothes are coming off for 15, sure. 1,500, Dan will get a, t- a Trump tattoo. How about that? No, Tram I stamp. mean Trump stamp. Trump no, stamp. I mean <laughs> he's. I, we're gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna let him propose. I don't want to give him a bunch of you know like options. I want to see you brilliantly came up with this on your own, right? 
Uh, it, it, yeah, some but he, are didn't saying, think, he didn't think it was going to happen, Bubba. Some I know. Saying, I, I, didn't, so, I didn't think what, it's what the I'm problem, saying. Seth. <laughs> so it wasn't so brilliant. It was stupid. You haphaz- haphazardly, or however you would say it, just you know, threw this out there knowing that you've never seen any more than 450 thumbs ever, yeah. ever. And honestly, and that's like, after you yelling at him for two hours, and the most you've ever seen is 450. So you're like, you know what? There's no way that these schleps are going to be able to cobble together a thousand thumbs. I'll think of the most outrageous thing in the world. I'll vote for Trump. Boom. They had a thousand. Now you're MAGA, bitch. About to get mine. Yeah. And Anna was like shocked. And she, she was like, actually looked at me disappointedly during the break. And she's like, I can't believe you gave it away for a thousand likes. She's like, <laughs> and I'm like, in hindsight. Or that you would give it away at, for, at all. Like, yeah, I mean, like that's up, like, you know, sale. of, of all, that it was. Of all got things. I mean, by, by of saying all give things, it away, you imply of, that there's some value sure, to yeah. it, yeah, but but, all, which but, I don't place a high value on. Though, it, but, but of all people that would just cut you to the bone to have to vote for a certain person, you are that guy and Trump is that candidate. It cuts you to the bone. Like, it hurts. After he saw Biden do the, the 20th century thing, I think that's when he just realized there was no turning back. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, Rhett, uh, congratulations on Sally. Uh, have you and Sally, you know, con- fornicated? Con- 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 consummated. Consummated the uh, relationship? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. Is she, uh, you know, is she good? Yeah. How many times have you guys, I mean, how long, first of all, how long has this been going on that we haven't known about it? <laughs> Uh, we started talking in November. Oh, wow. <gasps> so this what? has been a while. You kept it secret for six months? Well, Smart. why would you bring it up if you don't know if it's going to work out for because the first of month or two? What because all of us, because we wasted. all, we all put our guard down and, and get and, and are transparent. Every one of us are vulnerable. Look how vulnerable Brian is today. He's, he's, he's MAGA. I'm Let's out here making America great again. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Paul Balls are on a 25 you know, the cash Let me talk about you know, some of his stuff that's not necessarily so yeah. flattering and pegging and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> He can't stop Anna, talking Anna, about that. Anna talks about stuff that's not so flattering, you know, that she's weird and <laughs> insecure and checks the door handle 46 times before she leaves during the day. Yes. She's OCD. Mm-hmm. She's all kinds of different germaphobe, things. Germaphobe, big germaphobe. <clears throat> right. No, annoying everything. Seth, Seth talked about having a ground last week and, you know, or two, yeah, two yeah. weeks ago yeah. and, and what he goes through. Seth has a whole routine. He'll melt down. He'll melt down on a moment's notice. You don't have a, with, with, with a side order of an anxiety attack. You don't understand, like, everything going through that little fishbowl up there. He's got a million things going on, constantly trying to find a shakedown here and there, just nonstop. I've hit a wall lately. Bubba yeah. shares everything. I pretty much share everything to my detriment. Especially with his best friend. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) That was a good morning. I've been having such a good day, Brian. (laughs) I had to get one in. It was good. It was good. good, I'll take it. I'll take it, buddy. I'll take it. So wait, I when get, you get a ding, when you, ding, ding, when, ding when, instead? When you, you go out, yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah. There you go. You, you, you and Anna collectively, I don't know if you guys got, got together before the show, but you guys are doing, like, it's really, really noticeable. Oh, we didn't need to it's coordinate. Better. I got the text messages from you on Thursday, Bubba. I knew what was up. And I listened to the podcast, the right yeah. one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Message received. <laughs> exactly. But, but hold on. Doesn't Loud that, and clear. But hold on. Doesn't this show, you guys feel just as, just as good and as funny as last week's show, uh, the money is better. The likes are better. We- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean you're gonna, game, wait, Brian. you're gonna take credit for the likes because I wasn't just, a dick. I mean, I'm just saying, like you know, <laughs> Anna right. being less of a stab-in, condescending bitch, and you being less dickish, it, it, it just puts me in an overall better mood. You know I, what I'm I saying? can and appreciate that. At the end of the day, it's about me. What if you had a paralegal or an assistant that worked for you and she just really bummed you out? She was always taking a hack at you. You wouldn't have her around long, would you? You'd get another one, wouldn't you? No, that's true. So, you know, I'm just saying. I, you don't have to be here S and my D. Even voting for Trump, that was I didn't I didn't demand that. That was on you. No, but just dancing with me. me a little bit better and not just shoving it up my ass every opportunity you got. If, you know what? feels good. I, I got you, my buddy. back. My backside, it doesn't hurt nearly as bad. I'm just saying, did. we both clearly got the messages that you sent out to Thank us. you. <laughs> through your various communication platforms. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, Rhett, 
you, we we uh, you know we we clickbaited today. AEW airs backstage footage footage of CM Punk. Now I thought CM Punk was at with WWE. No, he is. This fight happened back in August of uh, twenty three. Right, so right now, as of now, because CM Punk wrestled for WrestleMania, I think he got a strap. Did he not? No, he didn't wrestle. He uh, he got injured. I think at a house show. He only had a couple of matches back in WWE, but he should be cleared eventually. He's got so, some real heat with like uh, Drew McIntyre. They're building that up right now. So, but like, isn't all the heat that he gets real for the most part? Like, he's one of the very few wrestlers that gets real heat like it, whatever character he's playing with whatever person he's feuding against it's usually real well he's such a huge draw that everyone always latches on to what he says like people want to pay attention to it he was away from the industry for so long like i think eight nine almost ten years uh he didn't wrestle he got fired from wwe and then i, I think went to aew it was like summer of 21 Maybe that October, if I remember correctly, but right. it was a big Chicago show. He was at AEW for a little while. Um, but yeah, he's just he's a very divisive guy for sure. And so, is he currently employed by WWE? Yeah, he came and back. He did to, a few house shows, got hurt, and couldn't wrestle for WrestleMania. Did he do anything on camera? Correct. Yeah, I. Um, he did a high yes, spot or something, didn't he? Yes, I think he had a couple of matches on camera before he got hurt. I think he he came back at Survivor Series last year after the show was over, which was pretty cool. And um, now this footage we're getting ready to watch is when he was on the AEW roster. Now, again, walking you non-wrestling fans through this, there's only two major federations. It's WWE and AEW. AEW started about, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. 2019? Yeah, it's seven years ago through a guy, the son of the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, his name's Shaka Khan. Uh, I like to call him Shaka Khan. But uh, this his his son's name's Tony, and Tony Khan is the Vince. Well, Vince Mc not the the Vince McMahon of AEW prior to Vince McMahon getting thrown out. Yeah, God forbid. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks helped start AEW as well. Yeah, and it seems like everybody that was that helped start AEW and make it maybe maybe kind of cool is now back over at WWE. The Young Bucks are still over there. They rebranded and they're taking on like I think on TV a more managerial role, leaning into you know being up in management. Does AEW have any big big time superstars like big like John Cena, The Rock, Brock Lesnar, Curtis? Anybody like that? Uh, no, they got some old guys. I think they got the Big Show. Chris Jericho's over there. Um, so is it kind of like what TNA was, where it was like a graveyard? It was like it's where you went to once you once you were not relevant with WWE. Some people would argue no, but kind of. That's the overall impression. But on a larger scale, I think it's produced better than TNA was. I think they got better venues. They actually go on the road, even out of the country, and do pay per views, just because they're so well funded by Tony Khan. You know, Tony Khan, right? I mean, it's. Yeah, their pay-per-views usually do well. Uh, they can sell out a crowd, but their weekly shows like Dynamite, they struggle to fill out an arena sometimes, well, so do, they have a hard cam do they, side. Now, do they travel with Dynamite, or is it just always filmed in Jacksonville? Or? No, they, they travel. They travel. Yeah. But to have a hard camera side, so they'll only have half the arena you know, full? Right. Right. That way for TV, it, you know, it, it's a, it looks like a bigger crowd than it so, is. So what am I watching here? John so this fight Naples happened. 20, cash up. What's that, Lemmy? Uh, John from Naples, 20, uh, cash up. All right, so uh, go ahead, Ray. Sorry. This fight happened at, uh, they're all in London, I believe. It was back in August, and um, it was heat between Jack Perry and CM Punk. And this had stemmed from an incident a couple of weeks prior where these guys were planning out a match with each other. And uh, I guess Jack Perry had wanted to use a spot that involved real glass. And CM By the Punk way, John Costica said Brian has turned the corner. Here's 50 bucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, C- Thanks, up. John. CM Punk did not want to use real glass, so I, I don't think they ended up going through with it. There was a little bit of friction between the two of them. Well, at this event, uh, Jack Perry's match is first. CM Punk had a match against Samoa Joe. Jack Perry had a match earlier in the show. Samoa Joe's been in the studio a few times. Yes. AEW world champion right now. Uh, he actually splits this fight up, but Jack Perry has his match earlier. They do a spot with a car with glass, someone going through the windshield. And when he does that spot, he looks at the camera and he says, it's real glass, cry me a river. So after his match, this is CM Punk confronting him backstage because it was a, it was a shot at Punk. Uh, and along with this clip of the fight, there is uh, 
The reason this got released is because April 1st, CM Punk was on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani, and he said a lot of bad stuff about AEW, and he talked about this fight, and this is the first time this footage has been released. AEW released this earlier this week, and they were kind of hoping to get a ratings boost, and they did, but not in the way that they had hoped. So it this, was, it was, this it was a response so we're looking at, to AE, uh, we're, we're, CM Punk on the we're, podcast. We're looking at... What we're looking at is CM Punk on a podcast describing a fight between him and another guy backstage. The bottom screen is that fight. The top screen is CM Punk describing that fight on a podcast. AEW owned this footage and they broadcasted it for the first time this past week, hoping to get a ratings bump, and they really didn't get much out of it. They got a little bit of a bump, but they got you know a lot of bad reactions, a lot of people supporting Punk. So AEW has gone out of their way to take it off of their social media. Uh, they're starting to you know come down on people who are posting the full fight, the full video. It, is they're, they're really is, trying is, to scrub is, is, this thing. A, is AEW, are they scrambling right now to stay relevant, much like Ted Turner did with WCW when it was the when the wheels were falling off and then Vince came in and absorbed them? I don't know if I don't know if Tony Khan is absorbable. Uh, I don't know. He probably didn't have as much money as Ted Turner did. But at the end of the day, is AEW in trouble? Uh, I don't know if they're in trouble, but it's starting to feel like you know it's starting to feel like things are going downhill. Um, and then, you know, and then, the, and then, the ultimate and then, question is like, why release this now? Because all it well, really did was help qu- punk. But the ultimate, the ultimate question is, could anybody ever replicate the production value and the superstarness of WWE? I mean, like they are, they are so slickly produced, and so it's just so visually, it looks so good. And the they develop their characters, and they have a NXT program, and they actually have a farmer and a feeder league that's ran by Shawn Michaels and some very other, you know, very very other well respected. I don't know that AEW could ever be on the level. Whereas back Not- in the back in the day, WCW gave for eighty three weeks. That's that's uh, also happens to be Eric Bischoff's uh, podcast. Yeah. But for eighty three week for eighty three weeks, Eric Bischoff and the WCW beat Vince McMahon on Monday nights for eighty three weeks. So you know a year and a half. That's being competitive, having a better product, visually looking as uh, looking as good. And really, really, really giving them a run for their money. I don't think I watched a little bit of WrestleMania and seen various excerpts. I mean, uh, Seth, I think you watched the whole damn thing. Yes, it is so. They, they are so slick, and it's everything is so well done that I could never see anybody coming in and giving them a competition with regards to talent development and or the visual of what they produce. Yeah, and Eric Bischoff uh, thinks Tony Khan is a clown. And when you talk about being as slick as WWE, I mean, Tony Khan has all the money in the world to put on, you know, the slickest product he can. I mean, he's he has so many wrestlers on his roster that he doesn't even use them. They just, he just signs wrestlers. So, uh, I, I mean, he has the money. He just probably does have it, have the ability. Right, you got you to gotta have the money and the ability. That, I think the WWE has a pattern. They have a, they have a, a template. Well, they're you an know, entity. They've been around for 60, 70 right. years. But money usually prevails. Why couldn't he hire a couple of their production guys? Yeah, I, I mean, they can put on a good show. They can draw a crowd. You know, this particular show, they were in London. It was a crowd of 81,000 people. So, for AEW? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right. they've, they've had 70 plus thousand. You know, they Jack- for their pay-per-views, they usually do really well. But it's the weekly show, and yeah. uh, it's I, the misallocation of talent as well. That just back from his match. Not I was the next match. I'm sitting there. Here's CM Punk describing. I got... I got people with me. I'm not going to say who they are, you know, because I got a lot of friends who work there and I, I, I wish them all well and I don't, don't want them to be punished because they're friends with me, you know, and I walk up to them and I'm just like, Jack, why do you now is it are these two right here? Are yeah, these CM punks in the triple X jacket? All right. And this is the other dude. Yes. All right. And they're discussing why he used real glass on this high spot and then said it was real glass, kind of throwing an F you to CM Punk who wouldn't do the high spot with real glass. Correct. Okay. Insist on doing this dumb internet like on, on TV, you know? And he's just like, well, if you got a problem about it, do something about it. And I was just like, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I'll f- kill you. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know? And let's not forget, I think CM Punk is mildly trained in jujitsu. Yeah, UFC legend. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think he's a black belt, <laughs> but I think that he is, you know, like maybe Lana, what's what's maybe like below a like a brown belt maybe? 
Yeah, brown or purple, maybe. He might be a brown. Either way, or pr- that's yeah, a, you're I mean, a weapon. Yeah, at that yeah point. no, no, yeah, he is. He was good yeah. enough to. He competed. Oh, cool. But he's a he's some type of belt. And it just you know. And you take a guy that's a brown belt or like that over just a regular big l- lunk giant he- lunk headed dude yeah. who doesn't have any of this skill set. You'll kill him. A brown belt will kill a guy that just thinks he's a weightlifter wrestler. P- period. It's like Chael says. Sometimes he just can't let you get close. You know. I thought I was doing a responsible thing. You know, I didn't punch anybody. I just choked somebody a little bit. <laughs> Samoa Joe was there. He's a blue belt. Told me to stop, and then I quit. I turned to Tony and I said, "This place is a f- joke, man. You're a clown. I quit." By the way, that's kind of isn't that kind of CM Punk's deal? He quits everywhere. Like I, right? Like he quit yeah. WWE a hundred times. Well, no, he got fired from WWE. I think it was 2013. It was on his wedding day, actually. And uh, he stayed out of wrestling for a very long time. But when he was in AEW, there was constant friction. There was a lot of reports about backstage heat with him and other guys. He kind of has taken on a little bit of a crybaby persona at times, especially because when he you, left. Man, I need to have Brian call uh, Tony Khan and say, hey, you want to revive this business? I got uh, Awesome Kong and Bubba the Love Sponge in a... In loser a, in leaves a, in a, town in a, in a, match. In a gender bender match. You know what I'm saying? Real glass high Loo- spot. Loser has to le- live in Haiti match. <clears throat> oh, or yeah. vote for Trump. <laughs> or vote for Trump. <laughs> loser lives in Haiti. Oh, Man, I just saw... I actually, speaking of Haiti, well, on our Twitter, I was looking at you know, various... Uh, feeds from twi- uh, from Haiti, and the guy that's running Haiti is like some guerrilla, like uh, sleeper cell militia kind of deal. He's a, he's an African American, and he writes rap songs about being in charge and killing people. Did you see that? Yeah, the cannibal. Yeah, the guy, the cannibal who's yeah. in charge of Haiti right now, writes rap songs. About how he's going to kill you and how what's it like to live in Haiti? I sent you a picture, Bubba. Is like, that where is that where most in. of our illegals are coming from? Haiti right now. A lot of them are all over the place, but yeah. What do you, What did you Sorry. send me? Let me a picture of uh, what's there. You go, MAGA. In. Make America great again, baby face there you approved. Go, baby. MAGA. Baby I mean, face. hopefully we could make the clip art. I mean, we could make it a little bit. I mean, that looks That's like the first literally. That, that looks like literally Walker did it. Yeah, hopefully that people uh, the better ones start coming in now. Yeah, let's get the better ones instead of the Walker ones, if we could, please, okay? I think Walker could do better. When I come back, we're going to talk about, uh, everybody's all flipped out about these people in Dearborn, Michigan, which I've, I've been, you live there, I've been told that, like, Dearborn, that Michigan, hummus. that's kind of a big, big sleeper cell of... It's the largest <clears throat> Arab population outside of the Middle East. It's yeah. Giant. It's the largest. Great hummus. And, and, and don't love Jews. I the Palestinian out of, chicken's good. I stayed out of Dearborn. But. So uh, <laughs> they were having a protest and they were saying, you know, death to America, death to Israel. <laughs> you oh, know. These Muslim protesters. Well, you know what? You, I mean, it's listen, as much, as much as that sucks, <laughs> that's 100% in bounds. You should, be, you should be able, you can't shut them down. Death to America, death to Israel. <laughs> That's their opinion. It's not a it's not a favorable one. It's not one that most people feel. But it's your right to scream that. Yep. You can say that. Say it all you want. Uh, I'm going to get into that next. Hold on. It's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Want to listen to the show on demand and on the go? Enlist today at BubbaArmyHQ.com and sign up and start listening. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. I just actually just got one of those. Um, they're pretty good, man. I mean, yeah, we hook it up, Shannon. I don't, I don't know anything. Yeah, about we should be good. I mean, I know a lot about the fighters and yeah. stuff, so um, yeah, it's, it's like, a little bit more my wheelhouse. But, but the, the, card, the cards, the cards are good. Like the cards are. Like, I almost bought one for sixty dollars last week, and I held, I put it back. I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah. Just because I, I was looking at the autos, and I'm like, it's just there's too many fighters in their roster. Like, you're most likely getting a ten dollar card, right? And you know. The, and even the good guys, like Patty and stuff, their cards are only selling for like seventy bucks online. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're all because they they made a lot of autos. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got to make a lot of autos if you're putting one in every mega. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever. So I, that that made me balk at it. I'm gonna get my good daughter some Pokemon cards if I'm getting. I got a uh, in the mega. I got the auto and I got a number card. I got a blue to one fifty, and then you get a bunch of like you know refractors and stuff like that. So um, again, I like opening it. I like Topps Chrome stuff, but. 
Bubba, what? you should be able to talk to him to check his levels. I mean, I like, no, I know Holly Holm. Have you gotten into Lorcana at all? No. There's some money in that. No, no, what's That's that? That's the Disney cards. And those people are fucking freaks about it. Well, I, yeah, I know, the, I know the Disney card people are. They're fucking freaks. Shannon, can you hear me, buddy? If you hit a big one on that, you're selling it for a premium. I saw, I saw something or somebody got like a Mickey Mouse. Shannon, you there? They were going yeah. crazy, and I was like, yeah, it's out, it's, it? it's out of Lord Thomas. So I can, I mean, if you, I can grab some if you want to open Shannon? them. Shannon? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll open, I just don't know. I don't know what the fuck we'll be looking at. But that's cool. I mean. Shannon, you there? I think they code them similar to, see, these are starter decks, so they're not like the packs. I think we could do a UFC break by, uh, by weight class, if we wanted to, if there was an appetite. Shannon, let me know when you're in. Yeah, Bantam. I mean, the hobby's not much, is it? On the use, it's like 180. Yeah, well, it's it's like 100, 190, and you get two autographs in that. Right. So it's like Connor Vega, and you get a mega for six. But are there better autographs in the hobby? Because I can do two megas, and we could, you know, do a break on those. Um, I have two megas. Yeah, no, like no, no, no. Yeah. total for two megas, and we have two two, two, two hits. Yeah, yeah. And you get two numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and like a lot of refactors, hypers that they have. So, um, I mean, I like I said, I don't know much about okay, it. I like the cards. Yeah, I can you know, see you're so sending, but I don't see him to receive. Yeah, my favorite. He's calling him right now. Okay. Should I do one or two? Do you want to do it as a break? Or let's. let's, let's We'll we can put it out there, and if we don't try get that, then, yeah, then yeah, we just do it as an yeah. open. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bunch of cards that for you to try and sell if you want. Okay, I forgot to bring them today. Yeah, let me. I have actually haven't. I've actually slowed down my eBay, so it would be good to put some stuff this is hard. Watch out. Yeah, I've got I've got some stuff that some decent stuff. Got I got a, there we go. I had other mega. Got you. We got you. That I had because it wasn't enough to gotcha. do a sample and video on and. Uh, I got a, a decent rookie that was like twenty dollars. Never can Christmas you believe? Christmas, never heard back from John Cracciola. Never from this year. Yeah. Um, okay. See. Did you tell him how I was mad? Um, no, 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 this year. This year. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll send you a photo when I get home. Um, what, what, what did you, I told Shane that too. I know. He, he, he told me he was pissed about it. Yeah, I'm like, uh, no, I'm not giving it to you, and uh, you know, you, you wouldn't, you guys wouldn't return me and Shannon's text, so you're not too very, you're not too really worried about it. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to get my dog food and other things in the dorm building. Cards are. Broadcasting goes in next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I uh, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, I uh, sort of like I sent him the guy's <laughs> contact for like, Rachel. Yeah. Should we send him away? Because that would be exciting for her to open it. But I'm still I'm upset that, that they did not. Get her into it. There's a special company. You know, that does, even uh, acknowledges. Yeah. Do yeah. they charge a lot, or is it like 15 bucks? I was going to say it has to be cheaper because I've seen what the cards sell for, and I'm like, what's the difference? That's very cheap. I have one Pokemon. After the world's longest vacation, that I mean, like, I don't understand how much. How many vac? Does he get 22 weeks? Yeah. Yeah. 22 weeks. One minute, 40 seconds. Go, 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 go. Just go. It's going to take me two minutes to bump in. Let's party. What up, Mr. Costica? Thank you for listening to the podcast yesterday. Best ever. What up? Don't panic. It's organic. Berto. Oh shit, Macho Man looks good on camera. I saw him on a delay with a little pop and fixing things. Major striations, major tan. Yeah, Seth did a Ross Wrestling podcast with Gary Cantrell. It comes out today. Morning, Jay Bowler. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. We're on top of shit. What's up, I L I L I L I L I L L O? J Bowler. What up, Snizzuk? I'm a snake, baby.
You're listening to the man that is best friends with Deion Sanders, Tony Stort, and not Hulk Hogan anymore. Now, back to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Loving, I think we got the man, the myth, one of my good friends, the Shannon Burke standing by. He needed to get some coffee, but I told him it. I think he had plenty of time. Hopefully he's there. You got to tell about the good news with Babyface. Yeah, he's going to really, really, really appreciate <laughs> the, the good news. What's the good news? You, you didn't hear? Uh, no. It hasn't hit Orlando yet? No, it hasn't. Yeah, <laughs> it hasn't the, the, so, you know, we uh, one, one, one of our various platforms that were seen or heard on, not only on the great 1031 out of Fort Walton Beach, the great 1011 out of, of JVC's very own Ocala, and now the big the big bad the big bad 1031 out of Orlando, Florida, from Daytona Beach to to Lakeland and everything in between. Uh, Shannon gets thousands of calls a week from people saying, "I didn't know that Florida Man Radio or a oh, or, you did, 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 did you did you hear the sixty year old African American woman on my show a couple of days ago? No, what she's a new listener. Yeah, sixty years old African American. Joy. She did, her name she, is Joy. Her name is Joy. <laughs> she didn't know it. Like she didn't even know anything about me. Like as far as my you know my shady ass reputation, but she <laughs> liked the show. She's somewhat liberal, and she likes how we go back and forth here and there. And she was, you know, 60 years old, African-American, brand new listener out of Orlando, 1031. Just nice. stumbled upon us uh, organically. That's awesome. So, we have an outdoor campaign here just started, so maybe people to get the word out. But, uh, yeah, get I get those, calls maybe all get those, the time. Maybe get those fans wrapped up a little bit. Yeah, you, know? you think? Yeah, maybe do that. <clears throat> That would be nice. Uh, so the the big news is, you know, uh, YouTube is one of our you know major distributors of our right. of our contract of, of our content visually, and you know we'll we'll do uh, eleven hundred, twelve hundred on that. We'll do like two thousand on Rumble. We'll do like a thousand on Twitter. So we you know we, whatever. And so, but on on YouTube, we never get you know. There's an option for you to thumb or like, you know, right. what, whatever you're watching, you know. Right. And we, for the most part, have about a 30% to 70% ratio. 70% of the people watch it, and only 30% actually spend the time to, to, to bend us over and give us a good thumb. And, and so to, today we were kind of you know harping about, you know, God, we got uh, uh, 850 people in here. This is earlier on. And we only got like 154 thumbings, you lazy bastards. I mean, how hard is it to thumb this and that? And then Brian... The baby face, Matroni, uh, out of nowhere says, if we could get a thousand thumbs, I'll vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard the Now, meanwhile, <laughs> Shannon, we've never gotten more than like 400, ever. 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 That shows you how passionate people are. Right. Uh, see, maybe indeed, uh, uh, Brian, this is what you needed to see. People are more passionate about Trump than they are they, uh, about Sleepy Joe. Oh, oh. And oh. Now, of course they are. And now <laughs> you are. And, and, oh, and, and, I, I was totally unaware until today's experiment. <laughs> and, and, to, and now you're locked in as pure MAGA, buddy. I'm MAGA. Pure, I mean, you have to. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, Brian. Vote for Donald I'll Trump. I'll to that. Donald, this Yay. might this might change your life, Brian. Looking at things a little bit differently, knowing that you're going to vote for him. The air's cleaner. <laughs> the air's cleaner without any gu- uh, environmental now what regulations. You, now, what do you what do you what do you what do you think your wife is going to like? You know, because she's wife, not going to care. Oh, she really I think isn't. she really is. I, listen, well, I, I think, your, wife I think may, your, my, your wife may think that you've you know uh, ch- t- turned the page. Now you're a whole real whole man. Yeah, she might. She might, you know, she might actually kick it out wide tonight yeah. we, on, a, on, a, on a regular <laughs> session where she just thinks she's dealing with some beta soy boy bitch. She doesn't kick it out wide. But now that my man is a real man and he's straight MAGA, I might kick this out wide and grab each big toe. He's, he's throwing, telling you. throwing away the Ryobi, grabbing a scab. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna he's, he's gonna blast her wearing the MAGA hat. I mean. Do you and your wife discuss politics? No, she's she has no interest in it. And I, I mean, like, I love she, that about her. She's completely does she, out of does it. Does she vote? Yeah, she'll ask me how should I vote. Looks I like you got two votes for Trump. <laughs> no, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll give away my wife's vote on a, for something else. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm not just giving it away for a thousand measly likes. Now that we know that that's easy to do, but I mean, just think you're locked into Trump. You're yep. locked into Trump, man. Yep. I'm making wow. America great again. So wow. One vote at a time. So, bro, so uh, Shannon, what do you got going over there in Orlando? Oh, you know, it's going to be a rainy day today, you know. 
you guys gonna get hit? Are you? Is it raining there yet? I no. don't know. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. windy. I mean, like it's weather porn. It's yeah. like you know whatever. I like it. It's supposed to be nice. I'm just. Uh, you, you can't know. ride your chopper on on when no. it's raining though. No, I'm very upset about that. I haven't driven my car in two weeks, but I got to drive it now. So do you usually drive your chopper? Now, do you, how many motorcycles do you have, Shannon? Three. Uh, yeah, three. Why do you need three? Well, you, you need one for each mood. All right, so you, what, you got one, ra- like a big raked out chop for when yeah. you're like feeling like a bad boy and you want to yeah. go to bike week? That's right. Right. And, uh, and bar the- hopper. And then uh, you got, you know, the uh, you have the uh, gr- grocery getter. You know? With the saddlebags. <laughs> right. Right. And, and then, then mama, and then mama's got one. Yeah, she's a uh, 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 ape hanger Jones with a, uh, a four, sixteen inch ape. <laughs> yeah, now see Shannon's wife; she doesn't ride on the back like the bitch. She rides like she rides her own chopper. So, yeah. But somebody she was telling me that she was kind of over driving it because you really yeah. listen when you got a chopper with ape hangers, you really got to pay attention because right. that, that front end is heavy; it wants to lay down on you. So you got to really, really have your. I mean, it's it's a it is a. It's a it's a chore to drive a chopper from Tampa to Orlando. It's it, work. It it's is. a workout. Yeah. You know, you get a big road glide, bitch, where you know you got the you can pretty much just almost let go of the handlebars, and you're not gonna you know it's so big and heavy and so forgiving. But those big ape hangers, raked out choppers, you could get killed on one of those fast. Right. And the main reason is that uh, I prefer she ride on the back of my motorcycle because if, when she's riding her own deal. Uh, I have to constantly wait and look at my rearview mirror, like where is she? Where's she, she at? Doing? Where's she's she taking at? the time. She didn't let the haul ass. And then and once she's on the back of my bike, she's just. She, I could be going a hundred, and she doesn't care. Yeah, you got those big. You got those big. You got those big. You got those big pillows to lean against. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh yeah. She might probably reaches around and grabs the wiener a little bit Whoa. every once in a while. Yeah, she gives him a haircut be. and trims his beard while he's on the road. That's- <laughs> <laughs> I did get this story out of out of Michigan, and I think I think Michigan got it right. And I think that we should make this a federal law because I think we could all agree, uh, no matter what side of the fence politically you are, that if your son or your daughter is a school shooter, that you've 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 pretty much messed up the parenting on the deal. Like right. you you you've not been present. You've let the internet you know run your uh, raise your child your child's probably hopped up on a rather than to have some tough love and not put your kid on ritalin and make them try to pay attention you just hop them up on ritalin and every other drug known to man cuz you cuz 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 you're a lazy parent and you don't want a parent but is the but is uh were they charged because of the they made the gun available? Did it secure it right, or they because they were just bad parents and let their Both. son become they were an neglectful. idiot? Yeah. He was writing like drawing pictures of murdering people, and they just ignored it. They provided him with the murder weapon. Both Michigan were aware school. of it. The father failed to lock it and secure it. And uh, the day of the shooting, they were told to co- ask to come to the school to please get him because he was being uh, disruptive. Well, no, not he had made threats. Drawing was drawing pictures to. Murder had said that he was going to harm himself. The the parents said, "No, we can't. He, he, he's just got to, you know, if we get him, he, we're just going to bring him home and leave him alone there." And the school did not feel like it was the responsible move to send him home because they were afraid he was going to harm himself. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to them, he had a gun and decided to harm. So a anyway, a kids. judge gave the parents this in a very this yeah. has never happened before, but the judge gave the parents ten each years. ten years in prison, and I think that that should go right along every school shoot because the parent, especially when the Brian, they can break it down to all the checks and balances that failed here, but, and the parents were involved in every one of those. Here's the problem. I see is that now uh, they, they hey he had bad parents allegedly before but now he's going to have zero parents for ten years. What good is that? Well, he's in, he's prison, in prison the rest too. of his okay, life. I think, I think so he's going to He's going to die in prison, son of a bitch. He'll have a new daddy. His in jail. new daddy is uh, he's holding his pocket right now. His oh. new daddy looks like Tyro Ty J Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new daddy. He farts like this. But 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 I do oh. li- I do like that we're you know throwing some throwing th- yeah. some 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 sentencing to these parents. Accountability. Because you know? at the end of the day, man, there's not there. I just don't think that the probability of a of a kid turning into a school shooter just is something that a school, a kid does overnight from having a bad day. I think it's a long, long laundry list of lack of parenting, putting a kid in a room for hours on end, and playing Fortnite and and Grand Theft Auto, and taking the, I mean, like killing somebody and shooting somebody now. 
I think life has turned more into a video game for this generation than ever before. Life is a video game. You can just beat up people. You can just shoot people. You can talk back. You can be a real dick because of 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 the behavior you've you've learned on video games. Do you think this is a direct cause of video games or just 100% bad parenting? I, I think almost all school shootings are somewhat internet video game related. I do. Hmm. I think the video game is a little bit of a reach, personally. Really? Yeah. I think it has been for 20 years. You don't think that, that when a kid plays an unbelievable amount of shoot 'em up kill games that it desensitizes him or her from killing? I guess to a degree, but doesn't anything else? Like, don't TV shows, action shows, action movies? Yeah, you, I mean, I'm sure there's some blowback on those type of shows, but usually the blowback isn't killing people. There is, uh, you know, I, I got a, a letter. We do a, a mail-in question thing. I got one the other day about a 27-year-old dude who was addicted to playing uh, shooter games, and he said it had he had to at age 27. He's a married guy with kids. He still felt he needed to play four to six hours a day, and that it was some type of addiction for him to play, you know, uh, shooter games with other people online. Even, Twenty-seven, even as an adult. Yeah. Well, I think I, I, I think if you've if you've become addicted to them as a kid, you're going to continue as adult, which makes you even more weirder that at age twenty-seven, rather than going to the bar and trying to get some ass, yeah. or rather than that, you know, you're still playing shoot 'em up games with you know another twenty-seven year old in Missouri. You guys or, are both or a twelve year old in, in in Tokyo. You saying, know, saying anti-Semitic and racially insensitive things on uh, on chat. This is such a cesspool. Well, I mean, you, I mean, I mean, in any 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 aspect of the internet has some type of Discord or chat where you can get. No, I get. But there's twelve engage. year olds calling each other the N word and saying anti-Semitic thing. It, it's very disturbing. The whole scene is not. Brian, do you play games online? No, I'm not a gamer. You don't game. Nope, at okay. all. Zero. You know last last system I owned was a PlayStation Three, and the only reason I bought that was because it was cheaper than a Blu-ray player, <laughs> <laughs> so I could play Blu-rays. Oh, oh there you go. Yep. So. So, th- did you see the list of these new? There's 13 slang words from Gen Zers that they have used, and none of us really probably, I guess, know what they really mean. Maybe Anna or Rhett, who are closest to the Gen Z world, I think would know. Rhett's full on Gen Z. I'm, I'm certainly not that. So. She's um, in the group with me. Are you, <laughs> Rhett, are, you <laughs> are you familiar with? Are you familiar with bussin? Yeah. What? What's bussin? Never heard that. Before. Means something tastes good. Bussin. Bussin? Like yeah, taking bussin. a bus? B-U-S-S-I-N. Yeah, B- yeah that's bussin. This hey, meal is bussin. These wings are bussin. Man, this girl's vagina is bussin. Right. <laughs> is that how you would do it? Yeah, you could, yeah. And then mid... Like what? What is mid? Mid mean? means it's like average. average like eh, I saw that. I saw that big summer movie and it was mid. Wasn't as good as everyone said it was. Really? I thought it was mid. I thought okay. it was that, average. That to, uh, with regs, well, like you smoke mids, so then you can smoke regs, so they're the y- same. Y- yeah. 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 You know, to be honest, like a lot of this stems from like TikTok, but not only that, you know, I hate to be that guy, but like a lot of this is like black culture, you know, black language that oh, the I internet be black. just found I be black. a couple of years later. You know, black people have been saying bussin' and uh, mid and stuff like that for so 10 years, 15 years. It's just a bunch of cool white guy copy, copycat yeah, yeah, this stuff. This is 17-year-old it, white guy trying to be a black guy. Yeah, the extreme, internet and young kids just kind of latched onto it. So, be, yeah. so it became like, now this is the perception that this is where it all came from. Man, if my kid turned me on, man, it, those, dad, that steak was bussin'. I'd be like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, me too. I, was, yeah, yeah, I would not know what, what, what that means. Kim, wow, Kim. gnarly was a, a made-up word, too. How about though, right? YOLO? Is anybody yolo. familiar with YOLO? YOLO. That one's kind of old. It's, that's uh, old. It's a Drake song, so that we can claim that one as millennials. It's an acronym for you only live once. So a lot of, yeah. back in the day, people used to say YOLO before they do oh, something yeah, really but, stupid. But that, that, it was bringing it up that those words are dead now, like da bomb. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I, I'm yeah. not going to be caught saying da bomb. That's what he was saying. It was saying those words were dead. Bubba, you're giving me FOMO because I missed out on the other words. Right. And that was the bomb. Don't worry about it. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm really, words, to be yeah. honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about this next generation. I mean, like, they want to be, they want to trans, like trans, illegal immigrant, free handout. I saw another article where Gen Zs, they can actually get hired for a job and then they don't show up. They ghost their employer and don't show up after being hired. Like I this this next generation to me seems almost mildly slow learner type deal. Like like almost like oh, they're on the spectrum. I don't know if it's slow learner. I think they just don't want to. I know there so, is no desire to so you work got for a gener- stuff. So you got a generation 
of people that don't want, care or want to work hard for anything that's worthwhile. Right. If it's too hard, then I'm just not going to do it. Right. I'll find right. another way. Are you going to live with your mom and dad until you're 40? That's like what how they're I doing. mean, is that, yeah. is that how it goes? Look, man, the 40 hour work week sus, and at best is mid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> now, Shannon, uh, as you've had older daughters and, and, and kids, right. what's, your, what's your spectrum of children as far as ages? Uh, 24 is the youngest, 27 is the oldest. All right. And so, what are they? Are, what did they go to college? They're so all of them are out of college. They all my my daughter's a, a UT about to graduate with her master's. She got a job with a big NIL company there. She's got she's set nice. ready to go. We got a, uh, two boys here. One works at a record store. He's a little underachiever. The other one. Uh, how old? How old is he? Twenty seven. He's the oldest. All right. And then uh, hold on. 20, the old the oldest is the biggest underachiever. Yes. Okay. But he's a great kid. Great great kid. We love him to death. He's does just trying from, to find his does way. Does it come from Kim's side? Yes. Okay. And then, and then, uh, and then the middle kid is working. Uh, graduated, has a degree, uh, and they, he's working for a, a real estate giant real estate company, editing their drone videos and shooting videos for their for their uh, website. So probably, very he, but he's probably making a pretty good living. Oh on that. yeah, doing very well. He, is he now? Do any of them live up back at the house? Hell no, no. Hell no. <clears throat> now, they you, come over on Sundays. We cook them dinner, and then we send them home with some uh, some oh, to go box. Any uh, no, any, they do their own any oh, grandkids yet? <laughs> No, what are you? What's wrong with you? No, I'm, no, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't want any grandkids either. I can't yeah. even get my kid to talk to me. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> you may have one now. You don't even know. I'm, I, I could very oh, well. Jesus. I could. Oh my God! Don't make me sick to my stomach. Yes. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. God. I feel for you, brother. That, he, that he got, rips me got, up every time he I hear got an ace in the hole. Oh, did you for real? Oh. Wow! Wow! Damn! What did you think about Trump rocks <laughs> uh, up in uh, up in Atlanta, Chick Fil A headquarters? That's I think awesome. it's great. I, I love it. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian loves it Brian, too. What do, you, what do you think about that, buddy? It's awesome. I'm 30, so glad. Thirty milkshakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and thir some chicken. So oh, thir thirty milkshakes and, 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 and some chicken. And with some thirty milkshakes, and, and uh, you don't see Biden doing this now, do you? <laughs> I told yeah. you I had plenty of money. I got not plenty worried money. about any judgments. I have thirty <laughs> milkshakes. Money. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about the hundred and fifty six million dollar bond uh, that I'm on the hook for. Make those, I can't dig that out. It's all make, nonsense. It's make all made those, up. Make those smalls, please. <laughs> <laughs> make them make them pup cups if you could. Hold on here. And also some chicken. Also some chicken. Just chicken. Not how much or what. Just yeah. Not yeah, how much he chicken. Doesn't know. Not I mean, twenty <laughs> chicken sandwiches. Just it's not like some, the some chicken. Right. Oh. Some yeah. chicken. Give me some. That's a reasonable request. It's not like he's a fast food connoisseur, yeah. which he, at least he knows. Knows he, is. he at least knows that he's not at a at a hamburger joint. That chicken is what they're. Yeah, he's, he knows that. That guy. You and know, I just want to let he, you know, uh, I got this real snowflake of a guy from Tampa that's now mega. Yeah. Uh, so we are really confident. Uh, uh, give yeah. him a chicken. Hold on a second. I need you to scan my membership rewards card. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I've the got points. Free. I've got points to use. Um, I mean, I th I, I love to see him I, walk into a place and order food for people, and, and the way they react to him. You know, that's just one of his things. Like, and, yeah, can you I remember can another president that does to, that? He needs to do all of that he can. He needs to get a hold of Kenny Chesney. Can he be the guy that, like Tucker? You know how Tucker introduced introduced Cud, uh, Kid Rock a few nights yes. ago. Awesome. Well, Tuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Trump needs to be with all these country. You know, because they that's their P ones. Country, country music. Music people is, is absolutely Trump's P1s. Right. So, you know, at the Kenny Chesney concert, which is going to be in Tampa on July 20th, he should, you know, open, he should bring on Kenny Chesney. The place would go, I mean, you're going to have 80,000 people there that are going to go right. absolutely crazy. It's like when he walks into the UFC, they go crazy. Yeah. Every pay per view. Right. I mean, and the, and the country music uh, artists they like him. You know, they would do that for him. People have and, said, I should have been a country music <clears throat> star. But I you didn't. People say, I may have been the greatest of all time. <laughs> I'll probably see him Saturday night. Willie Bubba. Nelson asked me to join his group. I told him no. I just, I'm just like, <laughs> what he and, needs to get uh, is uh, Lenny Kravitz. You see Lenny Kravitz lately? All oh ripped and God. shredded. I my, watched a video yesterday. I saw a video uh, last week of him going to a Bucky's off of his tour bus. Yeah, and they just walking around. And, and everyone's looking, looking at him like, oh my God, is that Lenny he, Kravitz? No, you know, and you know what he looks He's like? 60. He looks yeah, like looks Antonio great. Brown. He's yeah. in such good shape. More ripped. And then, and then yesterday I see a video of him working out, uh, you know, doing mad weights, and he's still wearing the leather pants. Yeah, leather well, pants in the gym. I need to see this. I will tell you this. And a mesh. And a mesh. Who will tell you that? Concert. 
tank top. Yeah, I will like he left t- his concert and went to the gym. I will tell you this. He doesn't believe in showering. Seriously. He I does hear not. That, yeah. and that I, is disgusting. I did meet Lenny Kravitz one time at the Bobby Poe Pop Music Convention. Uh, in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. What? I did. That and sounds like, like a made-up thing. No, Bo- <laughs> look it up. Bobby Poe's Pop Music Convention. It was a big, big deal. All the record labels got all these program directors and stuff like that. Out. <clears throat> and, and I had an opportunity with Tom Steele and B.J. Harris and Mark Chase and all those guys to meet Lenny Kravitz through the because the record label they would you know they would have some of their artists there and right, things like right. that and okay. And we met Lenny Kravitz, and he had the worst body odor of any human being <laughs> I've ever met in my entire life. Look at I'm, his trainer, though. It is now. Hold on. Hold on. Is that his we're, song? We're, what? We're, we're, we're watching would that turn you off, or was he so hot that you don't matter? You don't care what he smells like? Honey, if a guy is so hot, but he has bad BO, hey, what do you do as a chick? Oh, me? Oh, no, that's a, that's a no-go. You can't be with a stinky guy. I mean, would you suggest, hey, maybe go uh, no, wash you your balls? Away. Or, no, you just, you know. you just, you just stand You there. couldn't <laughs> walk away from him, on a Come on. He's oh, got a shirt off, mesh T-shirt. Oh, because I'm really what? into mesh. Ripped, but what, just what if chiseled. Nipples. What, if he's only, <laughs> hey, what if he's only a shower away from getting some ass? <laughs> I mean, How one shower? smell himself? Yeah, I mean, you could That's always, a red flag. You could, uh, uh, he's, he's laying the wrap on you, and you, you say no because of the B.O., but if you just say, hey, let's take a quick shower together, you could have had Lenny Kravitz. It's such like a visceral disgust thing that you your brain just is like, no, I, this is gross. I got to tell you, when I heard, when I smelled him, and I was in a group <laughs> of like four people, and he yeah. was in the middle, and I was like, oh, Bubba my. Biden over there it, sniffing on people. It was ba- it was bad. Well, that, you know that how there's was there's body odor, and then there's like you know body odor oh, where yeah. you oh that's the worst where you've not it's washed like your putrid. testicles for like yeah. a week. Plus, and, he's and got those dreadlocks, and you know those yeah. stink. Oh yeah. Got 135. He's doing decline sit-ups. Like this is like rock star. In the <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, look at this guy. I will tell you this: my mom and sister both. Ha- my mom, eight, nearly 80 years old. She's like, oh my god, Lenny Kravis. He's so hot. I go, mom, would you? Would you? She goes, I, I don't know. If I would, but Tara would. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Your mom said Tara would. Yeah. So my mom, my mom put the, my mom put the slut factor on my sister. That's she rude. goes, I don't know if I would, but my, but me and Tara have talked about it, and she definitely would. Oh, Shanda, yeah. really big news today. Bubba's in on the cruise deal. No, oh, I, I, see, I don't know. If, I don't in. know if I'm. I, t- I told everybody how you and I had talked about maybe doing a cruise, a listener right. cruise, but I don't. I just. I think I got to spend more time talking to you about it. And I've never like been that. on a cruise in my life. Me either. Me neither. Me either. And uh, would Kim go uh, with you? Yeah, she she likes she 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 goes and she's taking the the kids and gone on cruises with them and. I so just you not, and I are going to be, I think you and I would be sitting poolside with our nose, with that white stuff on our nose, yes. just mad as hell. <laughs> just drinking pina coladas like crazy. Yeah, and just being mad, like, just miserable. Yeah, and then we get up together and go hit the buffet. Let's go hit the buffet. Buddy. Yeah, and then, we, and then after we get back home, we've gained 12 pounds. And we look like a bunch of fat asses. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I mean, you you talk about gaining weight, man. You they, they are. I mean, oh, it's, it's yeah. free food, isn't it, Brian? Uh, Calta like, gained 150 pounds on that cruise. <laughs> when that I mean, he, did, he didn't have a fupa when they first started. Nope, he was skinny. He looked like me man, before did you, that cruise. Did anybody, By the end of it, did forget it, it. Did anybody see that fupa? Yeah. It was oh impressive. my god! Yeah. Does he even have a wiener? I did see that. My <laughs> god. Jesus. He I mean, doesn't that, care anymore. That, he's, he's at that point. He's just screw it. I, don't I care. think he's done. I mean, I mean, anybody who had any ounce of caring would at least know that somebody. I mean, I'm wearing something that an old sixty year old woman would wear. Make my big fupa like you know. If you got that much real estate over your penis, <laughs> I mean, you've, you've given up. I mean, the last. I mean, I'm I fat, seen I'm it in fat years. but I don't. You guys have seen. I don't got that kind of fupa. Let's no, see it. Take please. down your pants. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not Stop. I want, Jesus. Wow, Brian. Easy with you. We just got you switched over to MAGA. Now you don't have to go homosexual. <laughs> On us, please. I'm going full circle. I'm going through all the Republican Party. I'm a yeah. log cabin Republican now. You are. Believe me. Right. So what else you got going on, the Shannon Burke? That's about it, buddy. You know, I'm just uh, rocking away uh, up here and uh, enjoying this signal and uh, enjoying being heard by people 
No wonder our, we when, when is our first report car? Isn't it relatively soon? Our first yeah, report but, car. You know, it's going to be a couple of weeks behind anyway. So, but let me tell you, you can hear uh, the competition uh, hearing us. You can hear the changes that they do. They could hear the. I mean, the guy that's up against me in the afternoons. He just learned how to tease because I think it's one of the masters that I have is teasing appropriately. And this guy can't tease his way out of a wet paper sack. Yesterday, his tease was, "Oh, when we get back, a restaurant in Louisiana has done something. I'll tell you what it is next." <laughs> That's, I'm not serious. That was his tease. You know what? He's given up too. He, he's given up. Well, you know that they've, they've iHeart went in there and took like three or four people out of the on air yeah. equation. Very major players, yeah. you know. And so you, here you are. You're getting some real competition for the first time in twenty some years, and, and you're and, and you're and you're shaking up both drive times, taking major talent away. I don't understand that. I love it. I, I mean, I'm adding. I'm adding people. You know, I'm. I mean, I'm adding people. They're 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 taking people away. I'm talking about major players too. Right, and so, you can you can hear the 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 pain uh, in those hosts. The, I texted. That loss. I texted Russ last week. I just said, "How you doing, buddy?" He goes, "It sucks." They took Carlos away. It's what he, I, I I saved the text. Wow. Russ, Russ and I communicate. I mean, he knows yeah. I'm coming. We coming. Just I saying. don't communicate with with Jim. At all, you, you I send him texts every once in a while, but he never responds. You want me to get get Russ to get a hold of Jim for me for you? Uh, I've got his. I, I think it's his number. I, t- I sent him a text uh, when we knew about the flip, and I said, "Beware the Ides of March, buddy." And I got nothing. Yeah, oh, well, that's, a little, that's a very welcoming. Yeah, I was. I was a little more. <laughs> I'm a little coming more to fr- stab you, bitch. I was a little more friendly with Russ Rollins. I went, "Hey, Russ, it's Bubba. I start, I start Monday. You know, I hope that doesn't affect our friendship, my friend." And he's like, "Oh, no, no, good competitions. You know, so me and Russ, yeah, and me, Russ is good. I'm me good and Russ. Russ can kind of be the ambassadors of this little race." Radio war we got going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you take the take the reins on that one. I'm, I'm not really. And you know what? I just got. Uh, I think I just got Rachel's out by the airport signed on as a client too. Nice. And nice. I'm thinking about doing. I, I will love do a remote a great, from there uh, for great you. Great steak there. Come and eat baby face. They, they, they just did a complete remodel. You and you would not, but not the one on 1792. The one out by the airport. Rachel's Airport. They just did like a four million dollar renovation, and they're, they've always had good food. But their steakhouse is unbelievable. Yep. And Shannon, you and I need to do a promotion there, like you know, on a Friday or a Saturday night. One of these, you know, one of these deals or something. I like agree. That, you know. They get I the same it. steak from uh, that they get from Charlie's. Oh, they do. Yes. Yeah. Local distributor. Uh, go to Rachel's on uh, over by the airport. I'm gonna. I'm actually trying to finalize a deal where if you say Bubba Army at the front door, you get him free. Ooh. So. Uh, you know, maybe that's uh, a good one. And so, what we need to do, I think we need to do the Burke, the Bubba Burke listener Christmas party at Rachel's. Go on, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> like we join, we join forces together. You know, Don, maybe Don sits this one out. <laughs> <laughs> I think Don would uh, draw a huge crowd no, into I'm, a place I'm, like that. I'm just kidding you. But He's it's awesome. the Florida Man Radio Listener Christmas Party, and we do it at Rachel's. And if people bring like a, a little, like a toy that has a value of twenty dollars or more, then you get in. They waive your cover charge, and then we do- take those toys and donate it to like a women's abuse shelter or something like that for the you know for like some community uh, you know some good PR. I, I think it's great. Rachel's is a perfect uh, location for it as well. Not the one on seventeen ninety two. No, the <laughs> very well, clear. Bubba doesn't want to get shot. Why don't? Why, well, seventeen ninety two is like that's a great area there. The Not one, as good as the airport location. The airport location is great. So anyway, I'm working with Billy Bullers and Keith Johnson, who own the place. And uh, if you got a chance to stop in, go see the new remodel. And I'm working on a promotion for Christmas where we have the Florida Man Radio Christmas party there. Wow, that'd be huge. Okay. Yeah, and then Shannon, you just got to help me pick out some real reputable charities that we could, you know, that needs toys for kids. All right, we could do that. All right, easily. Bud. You got it, man. I'd love right. to do it. Listen, I got to let you go, my love friend. Love you guys. Love you. And Thanks, uh, you'll be on See today. It's two o'clock See or three o'clock, Shannon? Two o'clock, two to six. Two to six. Two right to after six, Don Miller. The great, right after the great Don Miller. Yep. Uh, who can say words that me and Shannon can only can only dream of? <laughs> can only dream, dream of. of. Oh, um, says words that me and Shannon speak privately. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you wanna- yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. yeah me, no, me and Shannon, we drop all kinds of words privately. Uh, right. and, it's it's of, and quite frankly, it's none of your business. So and, Chris- and, it's, and in terms of endearment to us. They really are. I'm like, hey, buddy, what are you doing? Nothing, buddy. Nothing. Right. This, this. So that Christmas party, little Billy's getting a flashlight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, tell BTK I said hi. You got it, my brother. Right, Love man. you guys. The Shannon Burke, Florida Man Radio. Uh, two to six on 1031. That's in Fort Walton Beach, Ocala, and Orlando. <laughs> 
Yes, this is a daily telethon. We gotta keep the lights on somehow. So don't forget PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. All at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Bubba the Love Sponge. We'll be back after this. We got little Billy going into the cash queue. Let's see if he gets anything for Christmas this year. Three dollars. Good job, Billy. Crayola World's down the street. It is. It's really close to Rachel's. Florida Mall. Oh yeah. Yeah. Little Billy is housing insecure. Here's three little, five, little Billy is housing insecure. <laughs> <laughs> if he was homeless, we would have given him 30 seconds. Right, right, right. But he's just housing he's just insecure. insecure. <laughs> Stop being insecure. Toughen up, you little punk. You little fetus punk ass. Wish I could call you a name right now. I dream of proud. <laughs> Stop. They're having a little show over there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's, it's the last segment, dude. Send you a Brian, you on, you on fire today because you got those vacation vibes going through your veins? Yeah, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Feeling, running a little loose over here. No, it's good, man. You know. <laughs> I can dream about words if I can't say them tonight. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but that was just like... Brian, you've had a lot of zingers that people. I don't even like. Or just you've had a lot of deep ones. I mean, you've just had a, you've had a lot of well crafted material. What's up? <laughs> How are the fish in the pond, Bubba? I don't know. I, I can't get a straight answer from money. Oh, what do you mean? There's a ton of them. I, I, I got you. Fish in the pond. They, they just uh, they just had a shit ton of babies. For the Bubba Army. Yeah, there's also a bunch of that. At Barb, should we do like it's an algae? It's a uh, duckweed. At Barb, should we do like a, a Bubba listener fishing contest so you can you pull the biggest fish out? Ask Big Buck. Ask Big Buck. That'd be kind of cool. I need to just clean it up. Can I move them over to the bar? Yeah. I need I to. I think I, that's acceptable, but we got we got some stuff going on. I got I got to sort. I know. I got I got, I got to sort them. Yeah. So that's like a that's like something I gotta. I'll help you start. We got big right here. For a few minutes. And then I gotta go. He's freaking out. Are you guys? You guys are coming in right after the show. Yeah, big butt. Uh, Macho was already kind of. Macho was mad. I'm mad. You know, How much time do you have today, Seth? We can move into my office. You know, the conference room's open. <laughs> um. Well, I just gotta. All right, I'll get. I'll get him out of here. I'll get him out of here. And you tell Macho you can't have it done. No, no, no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke up, Brian. I'm gonna get it done. No, no, I'm gonna get it done. I didn't do anything. I'll get it I'm done. I'm offering to help. Macho wants to choke you out, so just give him a reason, okay? Tell Macho I'll get it done, boss man. There's All right, thank you so much. Thank Seth. you. I really appreciate you it. Don't need thank a you. reason to choke me out. Look at this face. You That's just want to punch it. Macho, come in here and punch it. I don't know what it is about your face, but I just want to punch it. You know what movie that's from? One of the greatest movies of all time. Yes. Step Brothers. Brian. That's uh. Um, Rob Riggle. Uh, Macho, I'll clear the cards out. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I'm just saying, it'd be funny to have like a Bubba Army fishing rodeo out there. Fishing rodeo. Yeah. 30 people around. Around the pond. Biggest fish wins. That's right. Can't wait for that rain to come through today. And just... We're going to have to weigh him with a little fucking weed, fucking. weed fucking scale because it ain't much bigger than that. They're tiny. We got some big ones. No, we got some good sized ones like six months ago, Bob. Oh, there's yeah. a video. They're dead from the from the duckweed lover. Actually, duckweed's good for the fish. Well, if it you protects them. if you had dead a bunch of dead fish out there, Bubba, you'd I smell the it. Car down they the just have babies. It, they, they're okay. literally. Uh, I, I just gotta have somewhere. I'm, I'm actually yeah. now. I just don't want to take them. There's so many of them. I don't want to take them too far. Fish. Fish. Yeah. That's what, that's what we gotta start fishing. That's what I'm saying. The duckweed's actually a. It's a positive. It's not. It's not a duckweed that actually protects the pond. Uh, Pippi, just uh, book Spirit Come Airlines. Back. I think you can get down here in like uh, for forty bucks. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, you you have to pay ten dollars extra for a seatbelt. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I, I, my my Spirit flight was half full. It took like yeah. well, I, well, I hold. I don't like when 
they go, it's a full flight. We're gonna check in your bag. So you, be, you better fly Spirit now. Don't buy gift cards because the merger didn't go through. They will be out of business within a year. <laughs> They've got debt coming due next year that they can't service. Well, I, that's a real shame because I've really taken a liking to them. There's no bullshit. There's no peanuts. There's no drinks. It's shut the fuck up and sit down. And we'll get to your destination shortly. It's all business. So long as there's not a fist fight on board, we don't have to stop and uh, make a stop in Atlanta on our way to uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> Trust me, I'm always ready to record in case something goes down. I would, fly, if I was an influencer, I would fly uh, Spirit just to catch just all day, just all, all day, day. <laughs> back and forth. Cost you 120 dollars. You never <laughs> not walk in the air for the entire day. Oh man. I love the people who don't, who are clearly flying. I feel bad for them, but they're clearly flying for the first time. They don't realize how how much of sticklers are Spirit is for, for carry-on items. Yeah. They think they can get away with it as a personal item. They put them in that bin, and they're like, yeah, that's $100 for a gate carry-on. $100. They're like, but ma'am, my flight was $22.89. <laughs> yeah, you well, your bag is 100 <laughs> What you going to do about it? You want to fly or you want clothes? <laughs> are you uh, are you putting everything in a carry on? Um, no, my guy, the guys on the trip are like, oh, you're one of those. Check bags. <laughs> it's absolutely how you do it. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Were you sleeping in and missed the first hour of the show? Don't worry. It's all at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Now back to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Uh, are we doing, is it is it 2 Live Jew today? I believe so. I think two so. Li- 2 Live Jew today. Well, with- well, it'll be out tomorrow. Yes. Because today I have a wrestling podcast, WrestleMania wrap-up I did with the Gary Cantrell. And then we'll have 2 Live Jew tomorrow. And that's a new podcast every single day this week. Wow, including the pigmentation operation pigmentation. Yep. Which the new the new shirts should be here in about a three or four weeks. They're gonna have their I think that there are a lot of people are liking this podcast. That's why I made a shirt about a shirt, a shirt about it. No, that's great. That's gonna, I really appreciate it. And I think uh I think uh Rio and, and, and Carl are gonna like it. I think they will too, Craig the Barber. Now does 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 Craig and does Rio know that I call him Rio? Uh I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Does he know that it's not a sign of disrespect that I just mess up? They have. Every, is, is it Obi or is it, is it really Rio? It's Rio and okay. Craig, and they are. They every time they come in, they talk about how many people have come down there and talk about the podcast. And for I mean, real, they're loving it. They're. Um, they did have two requests. One of them was to build a studio in St. Pete. The other was to start making money. So you know, I told them that we would work on both of those things yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah, and and it's. Did you, I hope you tell them that it takes a while. To make money yeah, on yeah, podcasting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And you know, our Juneteenth, our Juneteenth um, promotion alone is worth probably three or four thousand dollars of prom- you know of, of free promotion. Oh, I told them we're on the way. Yeah. Uh, last call of the day, then we've got to go. Well, but I just sent you a link about duckweed, which is actually really good for a pond. So I didn't know if you wanted to read that up. <laughs> I mean, let me, it's, it's, it's natural right. it's, water purification it's because the, we get all the runoff. I'm telling you, prevention of algae growth because it's not an algae. It's good for uh, small animals. And it also is a source of nutrients for uh, the fish. You got it. Okay, bud. I'm sorry for, uh, you know, us. Uh, you, you and know. Brian just teaming up on me. On whoa, the fish whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I asked about it because I had an idea for a, a, a barp fishing hi, rodeo. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead. Bubba, hey, love the show. Hey, I got two quick things for you. A quick content idea and then a merch idea. Okay. For the content, can we get a workout series with the Macho Man, Building Bigger Biceps, Thursday Five, something like a weekly workout tip thing from the Macho? Probably and not. How about some Bubba, <laughs> and how about some Bubba Army Slides? Bubba Army Slides. You know, I, 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 should, I, 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 I probably should consider that, I think. I, do do our do our listeners wear slides or is that a younger thing? No, they they do sandals with with socks, slides with socks. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. All right, buddy, I'll I'll look in look into that. Okay. All right. Don't forget my latest merch. I got let me. I got the shoes coming. Yes. The Air Bubba, the Air Bubba Gold Golden Trump inspired uh, high tops are coming. Air Bubba slides would be a big hit. Um, I got the. Bubba Army. Alpha. 
Volume 24 nice. coming. Wait, nice, nice pickup. Nice, pick up. he was right there. I got the Operation P- Pigmentation t-shirts coming. Pigmentation. Bubba, that, those slides would be really good at your uh, mom's uh, shuffleboard games, too. What, like you're saying, thing. like, Red, are you saying, like, black with uh, the red Bubba Army Dunkin' a Donut logo in the middle? Red or white, yeah. yeah white, probably. What, it matches more. Because, yeah. like, the slides I wear, you know, four days a week are black and white. No, so so white slide with black logo? No, or black, black slide with oh, white yeah, logo. Black, yeah, b- okay, so black slide with the white logo. Yeah. There you go. There you go, slides. I'll have, the, I'll have the merch crick look into that ASAP. Two Live Jew is going to be recorded today. It'll be released tomorrow. Today's podcast is a Gary Cantrell and Seth Kushner production breaking down WrestleMania. Might be some drilling during the Two Live Jew. <clears throat> there might be what? Some That's drilling fine. going on on the stage there. Oh, during the Two we Live Jew. We need to clean up that podcast table too, please. I had a talk with yeah, them. Seth, I talked with them. Seth's so, going to get it clean. Seth's going to get it clean immediately. We got deadlines. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's he's All stressed right. out. Right, we'll Eight one three ninety Bubba. Let's go, Brandon. We will. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge, co-host and show historian, Lummox, co-host, Anna Hummel, co-host, Dr. Dan Diaco, Esquire, of Council, co-host, J. Diaco, Esquire, the Spitting Cobra, of Council, Rhett, the Filthy Ginger, video editor. Yeah, back here wearing up. It's Mini Macho. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up B. And for everything else, go to thebubbaarmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. <laughs> Until next time, always remember. I repeat hello. hello.